I'm getting 404 moons in Super Mario Odyssey, and that's what you're about to see unfold here. It was a promise I made as part of a charity event that happened last year, made good on that promise, and the number 404 comes in because a lot of people were generous enough to gift out subscriptions to my Twitch channel. Twitch is a place where I do all these live shows all the time, multiple times a week, but this was a big event that I wanted people to be there for and cheer me on all along the way. So as you're watching this video, you'll hear me talk to people that were there in the live chat, and you're going to see all these effects that happen on screen, like birds flying by and people flashing on screen doing all crazy things. That's because they control those happening in real time as the video is going on. So if you want to be part of the chaos that unfolds on my live shows go to twitch.tv slash bricks o'brien i do this like three times a week or more i'll play mario odyssey mario kart minecraft all sorts of stuff and you can join me along with everyone else that was there during mario odyssey 404 without further ado let's uh get these moons i haven't played super mario odyssey in over five years on camera and what better way to get started with this and to get locked loaded and ready to go it's time to shine, baby. It's time to shine. We're back. We out here. We're meowing it out. Brand new save file. 404 moons are on the docket, and I will settle for nothing less today in Super Mario Odyssey on Nintendo Switch in the skies above Peach's Castle. In the skies. Ah! 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 Wow! Look at that suit! Man, I got chills looking at it. I want that for my wedding. Give me that all-white suit with the purple. Ooh! Give me a UCS version of this, Lego. Come on now. Come on now. Bowser got that drip. Gee! <laughs> Come on, with the, with the silver and the gold, man. Come on now. Come on now. Look at that. Hey, Mario! Eey. Look at that. Bye, Peach. See you in the movie. Such a great way to start off the game, man. It's me, Mario. Uh-oh. I like how they mix in the turtle-like sounds with the the actual English of it, too, you know? It, it, it works really well for Bowser. I'm gonna get hitched next year, Brian. You coming? Well, you know. Anyways, it's fine. Welcome to Super Luigi's Balloon World. My name is Bobby O'Brixo, Brixo Brain. That's Cappy. Uh, he's the one that helps you throughout the entire journey. He's the one that bestows the power upon you. And he's the definition of meowing it out. So what does Mario do is he's passed out on the ground. He rises from the adversities that were set before him. He doesn't let the things that challenge him get in his way. He takes a stand against the mighty Koopa King and rises to the occasion alongside us all. Uh -huh. And Polly flies across screen. Okay. Oh. All right. So the way this works, everybody, uh, I'm not stopping until I get 404 moons in Super Mario Odyssey, whatever that means, man. So I'm going all day long. I am a professional gamer. I know I know where to get a lot of these moons. Not every single one of them, but a lot of them. Uh, I'm getting them because I, I wanted to set an objective for myself. Why not, right? So there we go. So... Th uh, sh should I commentate the Cappy stuff? Is that what I do? Should I do the King Candy Cappy sound? Should I do it? Okay. Yes? Okay. So sorry for running away like that. You startled me, and I do startle easily. I saw what happened earlier. You've been through quite the ringer. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same monster that gave you such a trouncing. And to make matters worse, this fiend has kidnapped my little sister. <laughs> I've hoped to dodge and chase that monster in my ship of my own. But it's broken down, just like any time you take a jeep to the shop. 
Because Jeeps are a big pain in the butt to maintain everybody, don't forget that. Although now that I think on it, I'm fairly certain there's a function in Kip- Okay. It seems like we're all this after the same thing- I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. Cappy, bestow your powers upon thee! Ho ho. How about this? I want the original Cappy Cap. Oh yeah. Toss it. Hey, pro gamer tip. Whenever you do a, a 3D Mario game, you ever notice that there's always like a companion? Because you had in Mario 64, you had Lakitu, you had Flood in Sunshine, now you have a Cappy in this game. So anytime there's a 3D Mario game, there's always somebody to accompany Mario as he's on his journey. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I look just like I did uh, back when I first played this. Well, that's kind of the point, and that actually verifies that I'm not that old, which I'm very happy about because I feel like I'm descending. So, yeah, that's actually what happened. So... In every mainline 3D Mario game, that's what happens. So you have, and in Galaxy, you have Luma. So it's literally every single game, there's somebody, okay. There's somebody that helps you out with your abilities across the board, so that's pretty sweet. Do I try to be a pro gamer here? I'm gonna try to be a pro gamer here. Let me see if I can, uh... Ooh, I'm not too rusty. I'm not too rusty. Uh, what was there in 64? Lakitu. Lakitu was behind the camera uh, directing you as you were on your uh, on your quest. So there you go. Uh, I can't get all the way to the top. There's a lot of people that speedrun this game. I'm not speedrunning nothing, all right? I'm still old. Thanks, man. Mario just can't do anything on his own. Zach, that's how you feel with, like, AZ Pinoy and Fred. Life lesson, you can't conquer on your own. Help is so important. That's true. You always need a little bit of help along the way, man. Diana, we don't need you to do the voiceovers. That's okay. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Zach, where would your streams be without AZ Pinoy putting his uh, his two cents sound effects and uh, uh, things into the stream, you know? Where would you be? You wouldn't be as well off, you know? That's like, that's like when the moderators here are like, you know, go follow Bricks O'Brien. Make some moms happy. Where would you be without Maka Build, Zach? Come on. Come on. Where would you be? Where would you be? More of your sanity? Come on now. Who needs that? Who needs that? Give me a heart. Why not? Sure. I like that both Mario and Link have had hats that were alive at one point. Yep. Exactly. So if you're joining me for this... I'm excited to play. Hopefully you're playing alongside me, or you're doing something else that, that you thoroughly enjoy. There are no, like, objectives for the stream. Okay. There's no objective for this, like, oh, you know, get up X amount of subs or anything like that. It's literally just uh, sitting and hanging out all day, so you know. Do these have the same voice? Probably not. <laughs> the boss warned me there'd be a fellow with a widow mustache coming along. I guess we ought to introduce ourselves. We're the wedding planners for the happy couple. They call us the Brutals. We got a, that treasure we needed, so we ain't got no more business being in these parts. Of course, there was a rough and goody two-shoes meddler that was into contracts, so I guess we got a little bit of, little bit of the huddity buddity buddity to do. Cool. Um, well, Mario 64 had 120 stars, Kevin, so, uh, no. Uh, I think this will take longer. I'm not sure how much longer, actually. Now, I know relatively so exactly what I'm doing, for the most part. So, you know, I feel like I'm not going to struggle to find moons. I'm just, just going to take me a long time to do it. So, yeah. All right, Cap Kingdom, we are out for now, but that's okay. We'll be back again one day, just like Santa Claus. Everybody, it is one of my favorite games of all time. Super Duper Mario Odyssey. Yes, see. Odyssey. Yes, see. Odyssey. Yes, see. Odyssey. Odyssey. Mario 64 DS, I think, had 150. That's probably where you're confusing it. Yes. Yes. So that had all the, the bonus ones and bonus areas, actually.
That's pretty good. Might work on some Mario Kart Minecraft track you play. Nice. Work on whatever you want to do, man. It's a, a, a basically just hanging out playing games all day. Loot doot 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 doot. Look at the first power moon. The first oh everyone's first moon. It's the the first one so special. Here we go. What a ride, and we made it to the Cascade Kingdom. Sorry, I've been amped from capturing the power line. I must collect myself. I feel a little bit tingly. There should be an old airship somewhere around here. Let's see if we can't find it. You got it. All right. So you're going to be speedrunning the story or focus on power moons? I mean, the story is Mario deals with Bowser and the Brutals and stuff, right? That's, that's the story, you know? Oh, I need to go over here. Whoops. Nope. There we go. So I'm playing this from the perspective of somebody who's 100%ed it uh, twice before, but then also just wanting to get a 404 moons, as we do, everybody, as tradition, at least with the first one here. Backwards, jump into the first moon, and there it is, the first of 404! The first of 404 off the docket. There it is. It always starts with one. Uh, listen, it, it's been a second since I played this game, which is good because it's still, it, like, it's it's good for me to come back and play it, right? I don't know every single, I know every single little secret, I just don't remember it, which is fine. I'd rather it be a bit more uh, exploratory in that way, you know? So anyways, the goal obviously is to power up the Odyssey and get out of here, but I'm going to try to get more than the minimum amount of moons before I get out of here. Um, biggest thing... They just totally uh, skipped out on. Well, there's the one, just for the sake of doing it. They had Isle Delfino in the ocean right there, but they never executed on it. There you go. There's one. There's one. Nothing happened yet. There you go. They never did anything with it, which is super unfortunate. I wish they did more. But over time, who knows? Maybe in this follow-up, whatever it'll be, we'll see. So I'm not going to necessarily go for... All the purple coins, if I see them, then yes. But that's what I'll uh, aim to do at some point here, is get get enough for different outfits and stuff, you know? Get over here, you. I know there's something in here. There's at least one inside of there. Bada bang. Give me this. So, like, some secrets I know, right? Just by looking at it like that, you know, I can tell. Chomp through the rocks. And I know I can, like, go over here to get a bunch of stuff, you know? Um, I don't know what. Again, some of this I don't actually, like, I, I retained, I just don't actually know. And I'm clearly not susceptible to not dying, you know? Where was Isle Delfino? It was in the ocean to the left of the main body of water. That's where it was. So it was supposed to be over there, but then that never, uh, yeah, it just never ended up happening. Under here, you can see a little something, something. Well, actually, it's just the coins for now. I guess you can't actually get under there. Whatever. Are you going to 100% the save file later on? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead, McDuck. Rarely do I. You know? So, we will uh, see in time here. Where's the death counter? I actually didn't set up a death counter. I probably should have. Whoops. Goes to show how much uh, I'm thinking ahead here. Uh, do I take over the T-Rex? I mean, I could. I might as well, right? Look at the birds. The biggest bird. You're the biggest bird. Currently at one. Have you had a death counter before? I have not. No. No death counter that I am aware of, so I've left that off the table previously. You gonna do a Tears of the Kingdom speedrun? No. Hello. I've, I do not focus on speedruns. I'm not a speedrun kind of a guy. I am a uh, uh, enjoy it kind of a guy, you know? My name is Wyatt. I'm your number one fan. Well, thank you, Wyatt. I'm glad you enjoy what I do, and hopefully you enjoy Super Mario Odyssey today. Thank you so much for the follow to who followed earlier. I keep the follower alerts. Hi, Peach. Thank you. Not that I need that, but that's still fine. Um... I keep the follower alerts off because some people just like to follow and lurk, man. So I let that kind of be as it is. So thank you. Thank you for following. 
all to the people here. Hoto, there we go. There is a way for you to skip through this, by the way. Anonymous follows, cool. Yeah, unless you want to say something, you know, I don't want to... So, so, I saw... Uh, who did it? I think more and more did it. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of a good idea. Because some people just kind of like to be under the radar, you know? Let people kind of be what they want to be and uh, meow out from there. I know there's something over here. There we go. Was there a hint for Bowser's Fury? No. That was based off of... Um, that was based on uh, Mario 3D World. All the Cat Peach stuff. Dude, the cat suit is like 10 years old as of this game, man. The cat suit is really old. It's kind of surprising. What are we doing, you Goombas? Oh, can I grab the one that's uh, right over here, actually? Is this a... Like, so, the thing about this is some of the moons are not, not actually available yet. There's one... I thought there was one, um... Yeah, some of them aren't available because it, you're literally just starting, you know? Uh, I guess not. Mm, no, I thought there was one right there. But not right now, at least. Not right now. So that's cool. Are you doing CRC? I don't know what that means. Big mama. Nom, 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 nom. What's this? You think you need to repair every bones in there? Look at me, little pretty. Okay. Hi, big pretty. Get on over here. Nope. Smack you in the face, big mama. Big old mama. Toss it at me. Bam. It's me, Mario. It's a me. Hi, John. No, don't grab me. No. I'm running from you because you're not treating me with the kindness, courtesy, and respect I deserve, Big Mama. Look at those eyes. Those big old eyes. Big yellow eyes. That's how... That's how I look on every woman I've ever talked to. There we go. Uh, I actually am not speedrunning this uh, No Numo, so I have no idea. I'm just playing for the sake of playing. I've never been grabbed. Uh, yikes. Okay. A lot of cases, PS3 and 360 are considered retro. First three moons, or first triple moon setup situation here. Meow, meow, meow. The multi moon atop the falls. Always love the, uh, the name of the moons and all the things in Mario Odyssey. Very cool. Trying to take that energy when I'm naming videos and doing stuff, you know? It's pretty snazzy. Pretty cool. You've got it, and now we can get on out of here. So I grabbed the bare minimum amount of moons, which is kind of fitting for my life in general, you know? So let's get on out of here. Onto the Odyssey we go. Can you do one last playthrough of Breath of the Wild? A Breath of the Wild take playthrough takes way longer. That takes way longer than a uh, Mario Odyssey playthrough, so I'm doubtful of that. What I have thought of doing was a playthrough or just redoing the um, the plateau. Odyssey is restored. Nice. Maisie, hello. So Isle Delfino was supposed to be beneath, like, like kind of where the Cap, like beneath the Cap Kingdom in Fossil Falls, you know? All right, so we can go backward or forward. Backwards or forwards, all right? So am I going to Cap Kingdom or Sand Kingdom? Where do you want me to go? Where would you prefer me to go? Cap? Forward? I need at least a couple people more opinions here. Sand? Cap? Sa this is literally... Sand? I don't like the Sand retro game. Okay. Sand is really easy. We're not doing a poll on this. You know what? We're going to go back to the Cap Kingdom anyways at some point. At some point, it's going to be. If you were to go bare minimum, the overstuffed plush would be the w good to go. Yeah, no, but I don't do the bare minimum. Especially when it comes to this stuff here. If, if I applied that mentality to the, uh, the book, then that would have been a subpar book. I'm not trying to make a subpar pro gamer's guide. You know? Jafiel, I want to I make the best thing that I possibly can. How do you not love this music, man? 
Oh, Cap Kingdom won't let you go there. Interesting. Yeah, so I should just focus on doing the main story and then going back. All aboard! Here it go! Will you do Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits 2? No. Yeah, so I'll just beeline it through the story, I guess. I'll, I will get whatever moons are along the way. Because in some instances, like the Wood Kingdom, you can get more moons in the minimum. So I'm going to get as many as I can, but not overexerting myself and then go back. So these here, I'm not going to go all the way through. Kevin keeps bringing up that Pauly Leaks emote as if he knows something. I know how to play. I've been playing this game since before you were programmed. We should discuss the Fan Kingdom too. Let's discuss our 401k. Get to the bare minimum, then go back, increases the stream time. Listen. Hey, man. As long as y'all are enjoying it, then I'm enjoying it. I'm only here to help with your limited emote slots, dude. Hey, if you are here right now, do me a favor by hitting the follow button and participating in all the live streams when they happen, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or more. I do special events like this. I'm on my quest to become a Twitch partner, which means I need to have a certain amount of people here at any ah, given time to hang out with me. So, hey, Tostarena. I, by the way, I love this character design so much. It's th the cold. Everything around is just frozen all of a sudden. Love this character design a lot. Um, I don't know if I should bother. Well, obviously, I'm gonna. if I see them, I'm going to get them, right? These here. But um, I thought about saying, hey, you know, people can influence what outfit I wear. But I don't know if I'll go for every single one of them here. Hi. Hi, parrot. And also, thank you all, everybody, for following, man. Uh, I already do that. Well, thank you. I, I know you do that, MJ. Thank you so much. For all the people that are here that aren't on a recurring basis, you could be. Brixo partner or partner O'Brien? Partner O'Brien. So, Zach, it's kind of 50-50 where I, I decide, like, whether it's partner O'Brien or Brix O'Brien or partner O, you know, whatever. It's kind of up to me to figure out what branding things are structured the way they are. Like, it's Mr. O'Brien, partner O'Brien, taking notes, jump on the palm, there we go. Yeah, I, like, clearly there's a Lakitu moon over here, you know, but I guess I just, yeah, he's literally frozen. Look at this poor guy. Look at this poor guy. He was just trying to help out with the Mario Kart races, and he's frozen. <laughs> Man's frozen. That's how I feel on the inside. He fishes sand if you make him. Well, I can't because he's frozen, so, you know, hey, man. It's fine. But it would be Partner O'Brien. It, it's kind of up to me to decide what the, the naming of the stuff is. It's kind of arbitrary. It's whatever sounds better, you know? Double ding. I missed that one. Whoops. Let me do that real quick. Here we go. Back over here. Nope. There. That's what I'm looking for. Partner O'Brien makes more sense. You don't want to take out your name. Yeah, exactly. Don't forget to collect coins so you can buy moons in the shops. Yeah, so my plan is to not buy, like, all the extra moons and stuff. Like, do it that way. I'd love to just get the one moon for 100 coins per kingdom. Like, I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to, like, cheap out and buy all the moons at the end, you know? Because that's kind of cheap. Like, I want to collect as many original moons as possible, you know? Bullet Bill, I don't care about you. Get out of here, Goomba. Oh, I need the bullet bill to get over there? Just kidding. No, I don't. Bye. But isn't your name Steve? No, that's the name of the, the anthropomorphic Hot Pocket that comes in here and gives subs occasionally. Nope, my bad. His name is Steve. Oh, hi. I should probably do this. No easier way to do it there. Uh, Squiggle Mouse, hello. So these seeds, by the way, in case you don't know... These are what you plant at the very beginning of uh, Tostarena over here. As you play through the game, these will eventually grow and spout out power moons. So there are three in this given area. I found the second one kind of accidentally. I forgot it was there. But eventually, you can find the other one, and you'll have all three. So you can harvest all three moons. I'll probably do it at one time here. 
So you can see this little sprout right there. Uh, you can sit there and wait for it. That's kind of not what you should be doing. You should be exploring and doing whatever else in the meantime, you know? And I know there's another area over here underneath I can unlock, but forget about it. It's fine. Can't wait till the Metro Kingdom. Yeah, everybody let me know what your, uh, your favorite moons are. Or kingdoms, rather. Whatever your favorite kingdoms are. There's definitely a lot of stuff you can't do here until you complete the area, so... I guess it is wise that I don't, uh, you know, focus too heavily on enough of the moons here, you know? Oh, I, I know there's another one over here. Sand Kingdom, yeah. You know what I really like? And it kind of is reflective of who I am as a person. I don't like games and moons and whatever. By the way, let me know how the audio levels are. Should the game be a little higher? Um, I don't like games that make you feel lonely. Meaning, like... I like when games have a lot of stuff going on. It feels like you're part of a, a bigger universe. There's NPCs everywhere. You know, it just kind of feels a little bit better. I don't need to do this. Not right now, at least. Um, so, like, in the Sand Kingdom, you can have you see all the Tostarina village over there, right? That's pretty cool. So, more stuff like that. E even in the... Um, with Mount Volbono, right? You have the entire town in the beginning. The Metro Kingdom is really, like, just a big city. So it's just a cool concept overall, you know? Um, I like that. I like when the, the games are lively. You're not just on your whatever journey alone against all the enemies, you know? Maybe, maybe that's just me, because I like being around friends and people, you know? So we'll see. We'll see if that is a recurring theme for all Mario games. It kind of sort of is, you know. They do a good job of making it feel pretty, uh, pretty alive a lot of the times. But I know, like, any games that make you feel alone, I'm like, ah, not as much for me, you know. So, that's just a small pet peeve thing. Here we go. One of the notable moons here. The atop the highest tower. Dun, 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 dun. Mets Metro is my favorite. My brain can articulate words today. That's how I feel every day, man. Welcome to my life. Breath of the Wild made me feel... Yeah, you know, see... I don't know if it's just me. Yeah, Minecraft makes you feel very alone. I liked Terrytown and Breath of the Wild because you got to have a town full of people and you got to help them restore, like, their livelihood, I guess. It, it just... It, it was a cool side quest. I want more stuff like that, you know? It is kind of scary. Like, I would love it in Tears of the Kingdom if there was a way for you to, like, restore Hyrule to its former glory and you have, you know, the like, the, the Hyrule town as perfect as it could be, you know? That would be a, a cool little side quest. And it, 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 like, you just feel like you're, I don't know, connected to a bigger world and not just lone journey hero on your own, you know? I don't, I don't like that. I don't... I don't like that stuff. But I'm kind of like that in real life. Like, I, I don't want to be alone all the time and working on my own thing and being the lone hero. Like, I, I want to feel, I don't know, part of a, a bigger thing. So it got very emotionally deep very quickly. Sorry. But hey, you know, that's part of the videos, man. It's part of what happens here. So that's fine. Breath of the Wild is super fun, but rather empty. I want more towns and... Yeah, it, more towns and... Inter yes, exactly. More interactions. More stuff, man. More cool stuff to do, you know? I feel like it should be a mainline story, not a side quest, but yes. Oh. Oh, like restoring Hyrule? Yeah, probably. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Like, if you... Like, that was the point of the game. Like, th there can be the big bad that's like you know, tearing everything up and causing a ruckus, right? Like, that that's a thing. But, I prefer it when it's just more lively in general, you know? Stardew Valley is very lively like that. I, I did notice that when I played Stardew briefly. I got frustrated because all my crops died, admittedly. Um, but, I did notice that about that, should I try for this? No! Yeah, definitely not gonna happen. Whoops! I was close to the biggest bird, close to the biggest bird. Where's the final one here? Over there? No, there's two. Uh... See, I don't remember everything, you know? Which is good. It's kind of the point. There's Polly. I love if you could restore regions through dungeons or completing all the side quests. Imagine if you could do that in Minecraft, how cool that'd be. 
And, like, you know, obviously, like, Minecraft is kind of meant to be lonely, right? I can't restore it. Oh, there is one where you can move the cactus, but not right now. It does happen eventually here. Um, but yeah, like, like the deep, like, let's say the deep dark in Minecraft, right? Like, you really want to restore the deep dark to make it what it once was, like that ancient city, right? To do that, in a single player world, you do that alone. And sometimes you don't always find the right group of friends or the right people to make it, you know, a, a fun multiplayer adventure. So you're just kind of left on your own, you know? It's just, it's unfortunate. I want there to be more ways to make it feel less alone, which is why, like, in uh, 101 Things to Do in Minecraft, I'm like, hey, let me make a, a base near a town so that way it doesn't feel as lonesome, you know? Oh, there it is over there. So... More things like that in more games, man. Like, if I if I ever made a game, I, I would have... By the way, I would not make the game. Pro, day, pro, pro gamer tip. I'm not making no video game. But I'm saying, if I made... Um, if I commissioned a studio or licensed out Pro Gamer's Guide to a studio, the main thing has to be you can't... There can't be this feeling of loneliness, which I guess you never get in Mario Odyssey and all the other Mario games because you always have Flood on you. You have Cappy on you, right? Yeah, uh, it's meant to be lonely, unlike a game like Terraria where you build a town. Yeah, exactly. There's apparently Peach up there. I forgot about that. Yeah, it wasn't great. You were lost and frustrated, which is why I'm so... I'm so 50-50. People are like, oh, that's your best Minecraft series, and... You know, I like working with other people on a whole bunch of stuff, you know? I like the lonely games because I'm surrounded by people all the time. Yeah, well, yeah, you're a father, right? And you have two kids. I don't have anybody. <laughs> so it's like it's very different. It's very different experiences, you know? I'll go into here. Why not? I know where the secret uh, stuff is in here. You do this. This is one of the... This is what I knew. This is what I knew this game had great level design. Come on, you can go up here. How many times have you played a Mario game where you're like... Oh, I'm fixed in this top-down view, and you never realize you- This is- like, this is the coolest thing to me, man. This is the coolest thing ever. You can just move in this upper area here. So cool, man. So cool. I love stuff like this. More- more of this. More of this. Very, very, very cool. It just gets tough with, a, like, a lot of the, um... By the way, I'm just gonna faint here. Or... Whatever. Um... So I can restart, and I'm just gonna skip skip the whole level. I'm just gonna beeline it the whole way through. Because in these areas, there's only two power moons per subsection here. So there's no sense in uh, trying to get anything else around here, right? I can just literally skip through this. So, for me, I like the lonely games. Uh, I like an escape from people, and especially Minecraft lets me escape and shape my own world the way I want to. You know, it maybe it's because I grew up an only child that I feel that way, but... That's just me. I mean, it, it would also make sense if you had brothers and sisters growing up. I, I didn't have any siblings at all. So it was literally just me uh, all the time. So I would I would much rather have uh, a bit of ambiance in my games, you know? Is I forget. Oh, there are no posters over here, but there's this over here. Yeah, there's posters over here that I think you get a power moon for eventually here, you know? you post a range of stuff instead of one game? Well, normally when I play the one game, it's because that's the most current thing that people want to see. In a perfect world, I release a bunch of different series at, at any one given time. I can't do the sheep, can I? Uh, I can. Nah, forget about it. I'll just do it later. It's fine. Um, and it, in, in a perfect world, I do like three different series at a time. But that means I got to record three different series at one time, you know? So that requires a lot more effort than I think a lot of people realize. So... You know, in in a perfect world, yes. My husband is one of eleven kids. Y'all y'all gotta slow down. <laughs> Late to the party. Don't apologize. You're good. You're here just in time. We got plenty of time left. I have a sibling, but I don't like those only games. Super Mario Odyssey is my favorite. Well, welcome, Brannigan Borealis. Yeah. Go follow Bricks O'Brien. Makes the moms happy. Uh, Bree just likes doing that because she likes hearing that I make the moms happy. Anytime she sees a first time chatter. So, hi. I love Super Mario Odyssey. If it were not for Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, 
being my favorite game of all time, this would probably be my favorite game of all time. To me, it is like peak level design, music, okay, ambience, character design, implementation, art style, all that stuff. It's just, it's just peak everything to me. And, you know, it's not even nostalgia bias either. It's not nostalgia bias because I, I'm just going to power through. That's fine. Um, because I grew up with Mario 64. I, I grew up with Mario 64 and Galaxy and Sunshine. I, I grew up with every single one of them. And as a full-fledged adult, I think Mario Odyssey is the best 3D Mario game of all time. No nostalgia bias, no none of that. It's literally, like, it literally is what it is. That happens occasionally, sorry. Mario 64 is an awesome game. It's just, it is aging. It's aging, and it's definitely limited by the horsepower of the thing is, you know? What's the minimum Tetra score before being impressive? I, Dave, listen, man. Meow, meow. No idea. Uh, there is a way to uh, cheese it so you go through the other side here. But, uh... Yeah, I don't need to bother with that. Um, let's see. Is there something in here? No, I just said. I don't need that. How long do you think taking uh, getting all the moons will take? Well, I'm getting 404 moons. And I remember when I first played the game, when it came out, it took me... Um, it took me six hours to beat the story. So, something like that. I'm missing a moon in here. I don't know what it is, though. I forget. Does any... Uh, actually, yeah, don't tell me. Not yet. Mario Sunshine is another great example of great level design and characters and, like, how many... How many different games do you go, like, on vacation and you, you treat the entire vacation island as one big world and you have all the Piantas and Noki and it, that's a really cool game. I think it kind of falls off toward the latter half of it, though. Because, it, it, like, Noki Bay, I'm not a fan of at all. Definitely not a fan of that. Um, Pianta Village, I don't mind, but it's not my favorite. So there's some of the, the areas in Mario Sunshine, I'm like, eh, you know. Not a fan of that, but... Never got past the Sandbird? Oh, yeah, Gelato Beach, that's a pain. But it's a pain in the best way. I, I like Gelato Beach. Once you master the watermelon one, you're good. That's the that's the pro gamer. That's when you know you're a pro gamer there, man. Favorite non-Nintendo game? Minecraft. 10 or 11 hours because I want to get back from work in time for the announcements. Yes, I have two announcements at the end of today's event pertaining to Bricks O'Brien and Pro Gamer's Guide. Sup, nerds? BPT, hello. Playing some super duper Mario Odyssey here. What's your favorite PlayStation game, Brian? Ooh, that's a great question. I like Jack and Daxter in theory, but it's very short. Oh, yeah. The hole in the desert? That's what my soul feels like. Wowie zowie. So, the ice crystals are still there, so you can't access the vast majority of the stuff, you know, in general. So, it's not worth uh, exploring all that much. Jaxi, baby. Hey, man. Meow, meow. Uh, you do want to talk to the Jaxi. You do want to pay the fee immediately here. How much you call Jaxi? You want to write it? be 30 coins. This is the thing. You pay, you pay 30 coins, you use the Jaxi forever. Like, this is forever. Every single time. You never have to pay ever again, you know? So it's like, hey, why not? Why why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you do this, you know? So I'm going to grab these coins over here. Uh, I, I'm getting to the point where I can have a um, an ability, or rather, I'm sorry, an outfit of some kind. So I should probably change it up a little bit, you know? Sure, we'll do this Jaxi one in here. And I know there's also, I, I know where the vast majority of the moods are, you know? What game is at the top of your personal wish list to play, not new slash upcoming, like to play? Uh, before it was Astroneer. 
Astroneer came out in 2018. Hey, this always gives me trouble. Astroneer came out in 2018, and it's had a bunch of different updates over the years. And I finally got a chance to play it for myself because I wanted to learn the mechanics before doing videos on it. And it's very cool. It's like an intergalactic, more chemistry-based Minecraft, which is very interesting. And there's multiple planets and a lot of exploration features, which are really nice. So I, I'm a fan of uh, Astroneer. I want to do videos on it, but I feel like it's not super relevant today. Am I going to get on the first try? Yes, I am, because I'm the best. Don't ever forget it. Don't ever forget it. Look at that. Nope. There we go. I broke my world record last night in Lego Builder's Journey. Uh, I I think I got a... No, I, what did I get a code for? I got a code for some game through Beyond the Brick, and I just never bothered. Hello. Uh, Space Hobo, thank you for the three months. Thank you. Space Hobo, remember, you always have a home here, man. I messed up big time. Get back here. Get back here. Uh, Brick Tales, I think. I think I got a code for Brick Tales, and I'm like, eh, I don't really care. It's fine. Uh, all the LEGO games, I'm fairly, you know, I'm over most of them. I'm looking for something new, something different, something spicy, je feel. I know that's different, but it's a little bit of a slower pace for me, typically, and my audience. Purple Ninja, hello. Can you explain how to control the Jaxi? Because I stink at it. So, so it goes very quick. And you need to anticipate the turns a bit quicker than what you would normally expect. That's about my best tip I can give you. Uh, for the Jaxi, let's see if I can summon the Jaxi over here. Not get trampled by uh, the ghosts of my past. Hold on. Get over here, Jaxi. Um, but don't bank on these controls for sharp movements. You have to break. Adjust your fine movements and basically launch out. So whatever straight direction you're looking for, like if I want to make a turn here, adjust and then let it go. Don't try to wiggle like this to adjust because you're going to mess yourself up, but just hold it down and let it go. So turn, 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 stop, boost forward. Stop, turn, 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 boost forward. It's kind of the best way I can describe it. It's not easy, so if you have trouble, don't uh, worry about that. You! You're a sussy bunga. Get over here. Sussy Bunga. There we go. Now I can leave, right? Just kidding. That is very helpful. You're welcome, man. Or a woman, or whoever. Whoever you are. You could be a Jaxi in disguise, and I never know it. Get the ghosts out of here. Good thing you write books, Poggers. Exclamation mark book, Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits. My children's book for the aspiring uh, pro gamer. There we go. Uh, go check it out on bricksobrian.com slash shop. It's coming to Amazon and retailers worldwide later this year. Hello, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem in me. Sphinx. What is the thieving monster desire from this land? Peace and quiet. A ring. Correct. Hey, money. Look at that. More money than I have in my bank account right now. Poggers. Ah, that's a lie. I got a little bit. I got a little bit. I have enough that I picked up Dunkin' Donuts earlier today, and you know. You said you wanted company? I want a company. A ring? Bowser Sonic? Yes, sir. Fun fact, this is the third time Brian played through Mario Odyssey. Uh, I played through longer than that, actually. Uh, more sessions than that. On camera, yes. Coffee money, not too shabby? Yeah. Ahuga. Obviously, I want to be making more money to make as many Pro Gamer's Guide books as possible. You hear that, Kevin? 
You hear that, Kevin? I want a multi... Okay. I want a multi... Billion dollar franchise. I want to I wanna open up a land in Universal Studios and invite all of you there. I want Super Nintendo World, but Pro Gamer's Guide. That's what I want. And am I going to get there? Well, you know. Wonder how much Mario coins are worth? Probably not enough. Stack them, stack them high. And if they hate, then let them hate and watch the Goombas pile up. I, I go for mine. I got to shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. I go, go for mine. I got to shine. Now put the Goombas up in the sky. I'm going to get on this TV, mama. I'm a... And we can say we knew you then. I knew Brian before he was famous and he was always very egotistical. Going to Nintendo World for my spring break? Hey, good luck in those lines, dude. Good luck in the lines. Big yikes, unfortunately. Oh, what a pro gamer I am, Paul. Yeah. Yoink. Yoink. No! Oh! No! Dang! Paul! Oh, is that enough? I don't know if that's enough. Oh, it is enough. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Can't tell you how much my kiddo enjoys your books. Stuff her off. I'm glad. The goal of making the book was not to just make money. It was to make a cool thing. And something that I'm very passionate about and wanted to share with the world. So if you and your kids appreciate it, then my job is done for now. Cecilia's big head on the mansion? Yes, indeed. Cecilia's got a giant dome. Just like me. Uh... She made me take a video of her thanking you. I, You know, you said that before. Did I see that? If I haven't seen that, please, um, tell me. Show me. I, I'm very appreciative of all the, uh, you know, videos that people send me of their families and all that. Nope. Ooh, I made it. Never mind. Not sure where to send it. Uh, bricksoideas at gmail.com. Um, or a lot of parents have sent them through... Um, Facebook in the past. Um, obviously send it somewhere privately so, you know, you don't want to share your kids on the internet unless you want to. It's raining in California right now? Nice. It is overcast here. Uh, I'm missing something here. There's definitely a moon in here somewhere, but oh well. That's fine. His mom's spaghetti wrap was funny. I mean, I am a pretty funny guy. There we go. All right, so something I was very... I think I mentioned this in my playthrough before. They had the Nintendo World Championship before. And this was before Mario Odyssey came out. And they had this as the final challenge of the game. Before the game was released. And I could figure out the boss very easily before these people could, right? They just were not getting it. They were not getting it at all. Like to move this way and do this and punch him, punch himself in the face. Yeah, the boss is super easy. Obviously, they're on stage, right? The pressure is getting to them, but you know. I think this guy's name is Big Hands Harold. Uh oh. Oh, you're a mushroom. Are you a fun guy? Okay. If you want puns, go to Zack Street. He has a redeem for it. Got a fortune teller redeem and a dad joke redeem. Oh, I was trying to be slick with big handed Harold over here. It's not working out. Clap for me. Clap for me one time. Bah. Clap for me two times. Bah. Clap for me three times. Bah. There we go. Show me those hands. Don't let me down here. Right, right. 
right, nope. Right, Don't right. wish me a good job yet. Nope. Good job. Bam, there we go. Massive mitts, Mike. Yeah, because Zach actually knows how to have fun on stream. If I introduced... I introduced the farts here and everybody hates them, right? So imagine if I did all the other stuff. People would be like, oh, Brian, you waste so much time doing the fortune teller. I want you to play more Minecraft. Sent Steph, I'll take a look at it uh, probably tomorrow. Thank you so much. Man, I, I like I like this book a lot. Ob I mean, obviously, right? I like this book. It's good stuff, man. I'm very proud of it. And I'm excited for people who don't know about it yet to know about it in the future, you know? All right, so I'm not going to move on just quite yet. I know some of the ones that I can get already. And then I'm going to do that before I get on out of here. Lakitu, hello. Hey, man. Listen, man. Yeah, meow, man. Uh, should I grab the sombrero and poncho in here? Oh, I already got half the coins. Wow, I'm just that good. Um, should I go and grab a different outfit here? Maybe I should. Hey, cheap cheap. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Really? You Goomba. Actually. No! There we go. Give me this. Thank you. It's called Building Suspense. That's how you know Zach is a professional. He knows how to conduct a show where I'm just like a high octane action the entire time. He knows how to pace himself properly. I don't. I run at full gas until I'm done, and then I burn myself out, and I don't do anything for three days. This is how you know how Zach knows how he, he knows what he's doing. Just keeping the people in suspense. We're going to do 16 giveaways at the end of the stream. Let me make sure you tell all your friends. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Get, 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 get over here. Big old cheap cheap. That's rock and roll, baby. Yes, indeed. Design Brian's future mansion in Minecraft. Hey, as long as it's a good one, you know. Can somebody tell uh, Peridot in the chat what time the stream is going to end? I actually don't know. Can somebody tell them? Let's see. Pro. Let's see how pro gamer I am, man. How pro gamer am I going to be here? Let's see. I have to walk in a circle here. Better, better. So I got to score 80 points or more. Any guesses on my score on my first try around the circle? Any guesses? Any guesses? I got to get 80 points or more to get the moon. 42, 98, 17, 78, 120. Billy, hello. 6271. Mm. That's close. Ninety six, because I'm the best in the business. <laughs> Look at that. One more time. Wait, do you not have another moon? Oh, I thought you had another moon. Whoops, my bad. Focus on the arrows, not me. Whoops. We'll do that instead. That's fine. Zero. I thought he had another moon. My bad. My bad. London, hello. Brian, you have lunch money? Do I have lunch money? Did I miss a direct contribution? I might be in a Goomba. Let me make it. Uh, speaking of Goombas, hold on. Let me find the love of my life. Get on over here, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. 
Brenda the Goomba. I'm just trying to get you to go to McDonald's with me. Come here, Brenda. Wait, I need one more. I need one more. Do I? I guess I don't. Brenda, I just want to take you to McDonald's. Let me buy a shamrock shake, babe. Come here. Let me give you a bit of that sweet McFlurry love. Oh, you're so wonderful, Brian. Wow. Let me give you the moon of my heart. Oh, you look so handsome with those baby blue eyes. Actually, you're just a fat Italian man. Skiddly doodly 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 bop. Gone. Uh, I should grab this one. Instead, over here. Instead, I'm gonna smack my forehead on the ground. On the pillar, rather. I'm gonna chase after this eagle. Hey, buddy. Can we get some pollies? Can we get some pollies, please? Thank you. Nice. Uh, I should probably get the bullet bill. Dead. Yikes. Found out accidentally if you continuously jump on Odyssey's globe, it'll play- Oh, really? That's cool. I didn't realize that. Wow. Let me change up the outfit here. Let me get some swagger on deck, shall we? I have 35 moons. Hey, I'm almost 10% of the way there. That's pretty sweet. Hey, hey, Mr. O'Brien, you're here for coins and coins. Nope. Just kidding. So I'm going to go after um, these ones in each kingdom, the one, so that way it counts. But if I buy any more, then it gets to be a bit, uh, you know, cheesy. There we go. Shopping in Tostarino. So every kingdom has one of those moons like that. Uh, let's go... I can either go, uh, poncho or cowboy outfit. So am I yee-hawing it up or am I, uh, busting out the maracas? Which one should I go with, cowboy or poncho? We got two cowboys, one poncho. We got another yee-haw. Cowboy. Pound- y'all are divided here. The poncho is more cost-effective. I'm gonna go cowboy. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. I'm gonna be yee-hawing it up. I got it uh, by the top poncho. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna grab clearly the one that's behind there. It is hidden right underneath the back entrance here. Treat yourself. How you doing, London? Where is it? Over here? Somewhere. Yeah, it is right here. Night, 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 night. Bring. Poncho's a classic. Yeah. What the? So, anybody have any spicy plans today? Grace, and have a good day. See you later. I'll be here for quite a while. Ah, uh, these two are done. These beans are done. Bean trees growing. Got the tournament. Nice. Wonderful. You have conditioning? What does that mean? Uh, is that for swimming? Been doing fine. How about you? I'm wonderful, actually. Playing Mario Odyssey, one of my favorite games of all time. For the great people here on Twitch. Chilling. Hanging out, meowing it out as always, as you know it is. You bing chillin', okay. Spicy plans of watching you while I route in laser signs, so spicy. Yeah, I saw what you posted in, uh, what, Discord? Laser letters, uh, lasering up some fine signs. I'm messing this up royally, that's okay. You know some glitches in the game? Cool. I'm not necessarily a glitch guy, but I'm sure there are plenty of them to work with, you know? Oh, the rabbit is not now. It's definitely not right now. Aww, uh, is there anything? I mean, I can obviously go back, right? Yeah, there's one right here. Boop. Gotta finish your Minecraft rail system to the end? Cool. 
nearly one tenth of, tenth of the way there. I'm pretty sure I'm at a tenth. I mean, I'm getting a lot of them right here for sure. Now I'm finding that rhythm, you know? See you later if you're still streaming. Well, I'll probably be here. I'd be willing to bet that I am, you know? Let's see. Oh. We're sinking. We're sinking. Jump, jump. Do you have any series that you've never finished? I haven't finished a lot of series, to be fair. Unfortunately. And I don't like... Um, okay. Um, I don't like making a habit of that, obviously. I like finishing game series when I can. Just some of them I got distracted either by other new games that are out, life, or otherwise. Uh, the Vault I have recorded more of, so that is definitely uh, not done by any means. I've recorded, actually, uh, a couple new episodes. I just haven't posted them yet because this and all the other things that I'm doing, man. I forget where this moon is. I, that's fine. Can you finish Skywalker Saga? Of any series that I'm going to go back and finish, Skywalker Saga is definitely not likely to be one of them. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. You can select any checkpoint here. Spicy. Uh, Skywalker Saga, I am not as invested in those movies toward the end of the, the series. And definitely was not performing super duper well, so people were not as enthused to uh, to play it or watch it either. So you know, didn't you leave Hogwarts Legacy because barely anybody liked it? No, not barely. Not barely anybody liked it. It did not receive as much um, support just because it's not typically what I play, and it, it is very I want to say boring, but it's very story driven. So if you're not a fan of, like, story-driven games, then it gets very tough to want to be invested in it. And especially for me, where my strong suit... Well, here's London real quick. 23 months. Don't know how I still tolerate that you and can't believe you still tolerate me. Bricks 9 Mama's Sauce, Bricks 9 Mama's Sauce. Hey, man. You know, as long as you're able to tolerate this nonsense, I don't see you going away anytime soon. London, thank you so much for the... Sheep that won't go inside of the pen as it's supposed to here. Nope, hold on. Give me a second. Let me focus on the sheep. And then I'll be good to thank you uh, properly for your sub. Sheep. There we go. 23 months, man. Wowie. Thank you. And here's to at least a couple more, if not a thousand more months. Imagine a thousand months. No, that'd be a long time. That'd be a long time. We were so excited for Skywalker Saga at first, IDK. Just not something we picked back up again after the first few chapters. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to... Where are you going in life? Hello? You just speed run out of here. Okay. Sure. There's two. There's three. So, you know, there's a lot of those series that I want to actually finish. But, yeah, Skywalker Saga is definitely not one of them. Uh, thank you for the follow. I maintain that a lot of the LEGO games are very similar. You know, semi-platformer slash, I don't know, just whatever game. Like, if there were a new LEGO racing game of some kind, I feel like that would interest me a little bit more. But in terms of, like, playing through a story in LEGO form... I've, I've experienced it so many more times, you know? In Skywalker Saga, it, it definitely has to do with my lack of investment in Star Wars in general. Like, the whole the whole trilogy, the whole saga, I'm just like, ah, uh, you know, I can either uh, take it or leave it, you know? Uh, can I get to the tippity-top up here? No, I have to go all the way through. Ugh. That's fine. Well, actually, you know what? I don't have to. I can go... I keep pressing plus by accident. My apologies. Uh, here? Yes. Basically, when you run sprints and drills for hours, I'm conditioning for softball today. Yikes. I did see that earlier. Sorry, Peppers. I didn't properly acknowledge it. Uh, this one here. Thank you for following as well. Lots of new followers here today, man. Thank you. 
on that quest to become a Twitch partner with your support, with your viewership, with your commitment to me, undyingly. Uh, what what was that Loki said? Let's go to the Metro Kingdom for a half second. Um, I'll be able to reach Twitch partner swiftly. So thank you all for your support with that. Hang out, say something, tell me what your favorite sauce is. Is it Alfredo? Red sauce? Mama sauce? Look at that kingdom. Never mind, don't look at it. We're getting we're out of here. We're out of here. Boring Metro Kingdom. Who cares about the Metro Kingdom? You know what I mean? Ugh. Gross. Got Lego Worlds a couple of years ago and I barely played it ever. It's boring. It's really boring. Lego Worlds is one of the worst Lego games I've ever played. Very dissatisfied with it. In every way. Unfortunately. Can you do Frogless? Uh, I'm not speedrunning it. I'm just playing it for the sake of it here. I know most of the people that play Mario Odyssey nowadays are uh, the speedrunning type. Unfortunately, I am not. I can go into here. Boop. Into the thick of it. Yeah. Brother's doing track this year, plus goes to the gym to stay in shape for football. Then comes home to do homework. I wish I had a fraction of his energy. Dude, me too. I barely have the energy to sip a coffee. <laughs> Uh, I think I can get up to there. Yep. Definitely can. Actually, you know what? That's not worth my time. Again, I'm not focusing on all the, um, all the purple coins and stuff. Not on the tippity top of the priority list by any means. Are you gathering every moon in the Sand Kingdom? I'm gathering every moon that I can, which doesn't necessarily mean all of them, but I'd like to get as much done in one area as possible before moving on, which I have a ton, you know? So I'm definitely uh, getting there, and I'm definitely missing one, which is not apparently known. Uh... It's not very obvious, so I'm not going to worry about it. I, the goal is not to get all the moons, by the way. It is just to get a bunch of moons. 404 of them, specifically. Yes. 404 moons, indeed. Ben, hello. Uh, where can I go? Where can I go? Where can I go? Where's the smartest place to go? Probably... Actually, yeah, back over here. Octagirl, have a good day. Do, 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 I go over here. Wowie zowie. That's gonna take a while. That's kind of the point. So if you want to hang out, meow it out with me, I'm gonna be here all day. Look at that thick Brix O'Brien plushie looming behind me. Isn't that great? Just a solid reminder of how I've failed. Dinner plans? I don't know. I plan on probably heating something up from the, you know, the the micro freezer, but we'll see. If I'm here a long time, I would get maybe food out. I don't know. Hot pockets. That could definitely be on the docket. Yes. Is it Jaxi? Oh, you're definitely here. Yeah, Jaxie's definitely here as well. Ooh. There we go. Good luck getting 404 moons. Thank you. It'll take me probably all day, which is fine. I have a very... I have a few special announcements toward the end of the stream. And then there's four giveaways that I'm doing because people have shown so much support with the gifted subscriptions. 
earlier during the stream, so that's really cool. I'm grateful for all of that. How is it moving if there's a moon? I, Melissa, man. Hey, man. Meow, meow. I have no idea. No clue. Isn't there something on the lip of one of these areas over here? I thought there was something else. No, it might just be that. Oh, yeah. Over here. Guess how many moons I have? 7,000. You have 7,855. You're very welcome, period. Uh, are there any apparent moons I'm missing? Yeah, definitely over here. Bam. First one of these challenges I'm unfolding here. I'm always interested in the Odyssey lore. Yeah, but what about the Pro Gamer's Guide lore, you know? Where can I buy Bricks O'Brien merch? Exclamation mark merch. You can buy Bricks O'Brien shirts, stickers, a copy of Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits, and much more over at bricksobrien.com slash shop for your shopping enjoyment. Anything you purchase on the shop supports me directly. One of the most effective ways to support what I do on an ongoing basis, and I'm thankful for your support in whatever way that you show it, whether it's buying a piece of merchandise, telling somebody about what I do, and all that. Did you ever get your custom Switch controller? No, I did not. And the main thing, I would love to, by the way, thank you for the follow, Team Beanies. What I really want to do, this might be a Bob leak. It might be a Bob leak right now, Team Beanies. You know what I really want to do? I want to release for the five year anniversary of Bricks O'Brien. Five year anniversary. Ooh, can I make that jump? Ah! Uh, probably not. Oh, I was close. Dang it. So, for the five year anniversary, I want to release five. Five limited edition Bricks O'Brien. Let me say that again. For the five year anniversary, I want to release five limited edition Bricks O'Brien Nintendo Switch Pro Controllers. The main concern. The main concern is that the Switch might be outdated by the time I get to doing that in July. So the five-year anniversary live stream is July 22nd on a Saturday. The controllers, I'm gonna tell you right now, they'd be rather expensive. Making a custom Nintendo Switch Pro controller is very expensive to make. Oh my goodness, I'm a Goomba in a cake. So they would be, they'd be fairly expensive compared to a normal Nintendo Switch Pro controller, but there's only gonna be five of them for the five-year anniversary. I wouldn't release it as a, you know, a long-term uh, thing. It would just be five. So I would give people plenty of notice on when that would happen. So that way you're you're fully aware, like, hey, this is a thing. Um, so yeah, I, I would make that known. But I would love to do that. So I have not made a custom Bob controller for me or for otherwise. But if I did do one, I want to make it available for people to acquire if they'd like to. Which I feel like some people would. I, the goal... Oh, there's the final one. The goal would be to make it a cool-looking controller, you know? So even... Like, it'd be for the diehard Bricks O'Brien fan. There's someone who's followed me for years, likes all my stuff on, like, the playthroughs for Nintendo Switch, all that, right? Um, yeah, I gotta do this. Nope. Gotta do this. Then this. There we go. I have no idea, Eli. I have not put a single iota of brain power into a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller at all. Zero. What about a GameCube controller? The, the market for a Nintendo GameCube controller in that style for my audience is probably very small. Look at that cube. Look at that cube. Brian, do you like live streams or playthroughs better? Hmm. Um, and Harley, you spend your money however you want to, man. 
any you want to allocate to me, I would appreciate it. But you do what you want, man. Let's find the secret. Hey, look at that. <laughs> hey. I can print and laminate controller skins. Might be another thing to look into. Like if people, like people sending in controllers for you to do is one thing. But if it's like a DIY thing, it, that wouldn't work. Because the amount of people that are going to be like, oh, but can I just buy a controller? Not that, not that my audience is lazy. But like, I know for a fact there's going to be people that are like, yeah, I'd just rather buy a controller. Like the effort of trying to laminate it and make it look good and whatever is going to be way too much effort. I am going along pretty quickly already. Uh, I think that's a pretty good basis to get out of here, actually. No, am I? No, they're not lazy or dumb. It's just like... They, let's see how many I have. So I have six plus... Music to my ears. Ooh! 10% of the way there. More. Look at that. Wowie zowie, Batman. Should we go to the Lake Kingdom or the Wooded Kingdom? Can we get a small uh, uh, pole, please? Small pole, please. Lake or wooded? And while I do that, yeah. So I would do five controllers. I just wouldn't want to be them... Yeah, definitely not Squiggle Mouse, and definitely not for my audience. Like, like if it's a family, like, like the mom who's gonna buy the controller for their kid. Oh, hey, you just gotta apply a skin and deassemble it. And where to next, everybody? Where to next? Vote in the poll in the Twitch chat right now. Wooded or lake? I have to go to either one. I have to go to both eventually. The drums, I know, right? Happy Moon Day! Tuna, hello! We're at 53 moons so far. Talking about the idea of a Bricks O'Brien Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So yeah, the only, the only problem with that, by the time of the five-year anniversary, is that I think we would be close to a Switch sequel? Oh, man! That's or a new a room. new console of some type, so I don't want the pro controller to be outdated, you know? Oh man, that's a tuna, bro. Yeah, tuna 404. 404 today. Yeah, they're just uh the controller shape like skins you order online. Wooden Kingdom is next. With 71% of the vote. Tribe has spoken. That would be I don't know. What's up with the tuna bro thing? Uh, can someone in the chat tell Cart what the tuna is all about? Oh man, that's a tuna bro! Oh, the Wendy's drive through experience? Yeah. That's a bad one. Oh man, that's a tuna bro! They kidnapped Tiara in the binding bay. That's also true, Squiggle Mouse. I I want to make sure oh, the controller is future proof. That's a tuna, bro. Welcome to the road to Sky Garden. It's a state of mind, exactly. It's a state of mind. The tuna is a state of mind, bro. It's my official, it's, it's Tuna's official welcome to the chat. Cause Tuna's essence is large. Big Tuna energy. Flowers. Yay. I'm gonna go fairly in order for this one here. I know there's a moon eventually hidden up here. That's cool. AZ Pinoy, hello. 
It's the Wooded Kingdom, baby. A, 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 B, B, C, D. Time to get some moons in the actual, actual factual Wooded Kingdom. Okay, we're good. We're all good. I got enough of uh, these here. Got enough of these. Ooh, that was spicy. Who did that? Bex! Bex subscribed to Tier 1 for two months! Bex, thank you so much! Give me a second here while I do this. Wowie zowie, thank you, Bex. That means it's at 14 and 19 for some spicy giveaway action. Happening soon. Thank you, Bex. You have access to the, uh, the spiciest emotes on Twitch besides the ones you find anywhere else. Um, your support is appreciated, no matter how you show it, whether it be a tier one sub, a prime sub, getting a piece of merchandise, buying a copy of my book, telling your friends about the live stream, getting involved in any way that you can. Anything and everything helps me continue to do this as my full-time job, and I do enjoy doing it that much. So anything you can do to help a brother out is always appreciated. Okay, there we go. Uh, Chad is definitely not invisible, because I see it. Do, 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 do. Oh, I gotta do this. There we go, look at that. There's another one there. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh man, this is a brand new save file that I'm playing on here today. Making sure that I get all 404 moons in one sitting. I'm at 56, I think, 53, not 54. My kiddo says hi. Hi, kiddo. Hello, kiddo. I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in there. I had a little bit of breakfast earlier, so I'm uh, continuing to meow it out, as they say. Grateful for all the support people have shown in the past uh, hype train that we've had here, and across the board overall, you know? There we go. Nice. The real loner, hello. Can you get 404 moons before the final boss? Uh, probably not, because a lot of the moons unlock after I get to the, um... Oh, okay. Uh, a lot of the moons unlock after I get the game completed. So, unfortunately... I will have to beat Bowser in order to unlock all the moons that are on... Or, or uh, acquired through the moon, I should say. I could do, like, the darker side last. Probably. There we go. If you had to rate SpongeBob Cosmic Shake 1 out of 10, what would you rank it? Um... It's a good question. I think it's a solid... 7.8 out of 10. I definitely enjoyed it as a non-Nintendo, non-first-party game. I think there's a, a few things they could have upgraded uh, with the experience, but I enjoyed it for what it was, very much so, and would definitely play more within that franchise as it continues to happen. Thank you all for the level 3 hype train. Concluded at level 3, 14 subs, 1100 bits, including a Macarena, so thank you. The Brutals are back! Oh boy, uh, there's something down here, right? Yeah, over there. I'll get it afterward. It's fine. This kingdom has the best song. It has something. So I'd rate it like a 7.8. I think that's kind of fair. Go follow Mix the Brian. Mix the Moms. There we go. No need to bother with that noise. No, sir. Nope. Gonna make a four right there. Yes, you are. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 
What did the Brutal Eats make him throw up? Great question, man. I have no idea. Probably like a... A really bad Taco Bell, probably. There we go. Maybe it's because I'm bad at games, but anyone else feel... Anyone else feel majorly impressed that Brian can whip through this game while answering questions on the fly? In the grand... Well, okay, so a couple things. In favor Kingdom, Lost Kingdom. A couple things here, Ashley. In the grand scheme of uh, video game playing and speedrunning and all that, there are people that play this game at a much quicker pace than I do, to a much higher level of, of skill than I do, but are they as entertaining? Probably not. So, I do my very best just playing the game, enjoying it, not worrying about completing it as quick as I possibly can or whatever, right? So, that's my philosophy with the game, specifically. Should I go underneath? I'm gonna get you, little bunny. Little bun bun, little bitty bun bun, little bitty bun bun, little bitty 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 bun bun, little 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 bun bun, little bitty bun bun. So I'm just trying my best, but that's also not to undermine how good I am at this game because I'm definitely better than most, you know. I would say. So I appreciate the compliment, but there are people. Most of the people that are looming in here probably from. The Mario Odyssey category, they're probably looking for a speed run sort of a deal. And that is not what I'm currently doing. I'm just playing because I like the game. So that's what I offer. That's what I offer in my videos and everything else because I'm not about to, you know, rush through something and potentially enjoy it any less. Not what my goal is, you know. Moon here? No, coins. I figured it was. Should I go to the dinosaur now, or should I wait until potentially later? This one is in Tostarena at some point there by the three bushes. And that's not a political reference either. Go to the dinosaur? All right, I'm going to go to the dinosaur. The big old dinosaur. The worst moon in the game I'm not going to get. It's the one that involves a coin spitter enemy. I don't know what it's called. But that one's by far the worst one in the game. Not a fan of that one. No, I'm gonna get the, um... I know there's a musical note thing up here. Then go after. Is it up here? It should be. The coin coffer? Yeah, I, I do not like that coin coffer moon. That's probably my least favorite moon ever. I guess I'll just go for it. That's fine. I don't like it because there's no way for you to tell that you're actually getting to the goal. It's just kind of there, you know? Not a fan of it at all. Uh, does anyone want to tell me the pattern? Does anybody... Actually, I probably shouldn't trust chat, right? Probably not. I don't think there's any way to tell. Just guess. It's random? Is it really random? No way. The right? It's definitely not random. Stay to the right and be polite. You got it. Now, what about this one? It's clearly not random, because Noah's helping me. Anybody? Anybody? Nope. Try it again. What kingdom is this? The Wooded Kingdom. Stay to the right and be polite. That was actually something from middle school I was taught. Because instead of crowding people in the hallways, that's what you would do. Is always stay to the right, as if you're driving. Not it either. It's random in each game, not each try? Really? Well, I only need one more, so it's fine. Speedrunners hate this one. 
Let's go for the middle. That's it. Okay, cool. So right, right, middle. Okay, so it must be random per game because Eli gave me that information and it was incorrect. Oh. Yeah, it's probably different per game. Like some were saying over here. Which, that does make sense. Hmm. <laughs> There's obviously a lot of ways to get back up to here. Using the dinosaur is definitely uh, one of the tricks. For sure. Hey, Dino. Hey, man. What's going on, man? Meow, meow. Oh, I forget. Is that not how it's done? Whoops. I remember because I told my friends your steps in your playthrough and they didn't work. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, so just different per game. Do I have to collide the dinosaur into the tree, probably? Oh, throw the nut at him. Yeah, I forgot about that part. I forgot that was a thing. You are totally right. Yes, indeed. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. This Mario Odyssey big tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your moons to me. Beneath the roots of the moving tree. Dun, 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 dun. I'm getting a lot of these purple coins, man. That was the only reason I kept around the Bowser amiibo. I actually forgot a vast majority of where the coins were in previous playthroughs of the game. So I just kind of let it all go. I'm like, you know what? I can figure out a different way to getting what I needed to get done. Yeah, this one here, I don't like this one. Uh... I messed up big time. I wasn't set up on the right direction of where to go. Whoops. Well, I'll just use... this over here instead. Yo! Oh, I gotta be dressed up for it. Nope. The one I'm looking for is right here. Yes. Thank you. The big ol' owls. Uh, this one is definitely the spookiest of any of the areas, too. You know? The T-Rex looming in this random forest. No other living NPCs around you. It's kind of left to your own devices. Definitely going the opposite way of the dinosaur. Whoops. Hey, man. Hey, big man. Yeah, meow. Hey, man. There we go. Just grab some pizza. What kind of pizza are we talking? What kind of pizza you got there, Bree? Never poke the dino? Pro gamer tip. Add that to book five, Kevin. He's not listening. But add it to book five. I think that's all of them. Three. Don't yell at me, Frozen. There's a new weird French bread pepperoni kit I wanted to try. That's fine. I won't yell at you for frozen pizza. I'm a Hot Pockets brand ambassador. What do you expect me to say? There's definitely one, like, right here. Right? There has to be. Yep. Yeah, man. 
Order Fresh Brothers. They have great pizza. I don't know what Fresh Brothers is. We don't have that around here. We have Domino's, local places. Pizza Hut is very uncommon. But we have it. Uh, I can go into here. Because why not? Brian, thoughts on Toy Story 5? Pro Gamer O'Brien. Look at that. I think Toy Story 5 doesn't need to happen. But they obviously want to keep momentum on the franchise going, and they have plenty of ways they can do it. As long as all the people involved are on board, then I guess there's uh, no way to escape power of Toy Story 4 right here, man. So you know what? Now that I found the coin coffer over here, right? I might as well go for it. Just tune back in. Hello, Braden. They milk it till the franchise is dead. I think that they are really trying to figure out what the course of action is with that. And they just want to make something cool. You know, there's still a lot of creative people that are working on it, trying to make the best thing possible, but there definitely is that sense of, uh, you know, wanting to keep doing more for the sake of doing more. So I need to fire coins at this, correct? Yeah. How would you know how to do this, you know? You just gotta keep going. I forget how many you gotta waste, but it takes a while. Five hundred coins? No way. Ooh, ooh, we're gonna get all the coins. Ooh, ooh, not gonna waste thy loins. Ooh, ooh, gonna keep firing at the plant. Ooh. Ooh, till I become a con ant. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Do, do, do. Mama Mia. Lightning JR, hello. A treasure made from coins. Yeah, I don't know who thought that was fun. But definitely not me, man. Bring. Bjorn copying the things you say are mama sauce. Bjorn, copy what I'm saying right now. I love you, mom. Say I love you, mom. That's the best thing you could possibly say. Pro gamer tip. Where's the nut? <laughs> Followed by that. Where's the nut? Where's the big? Okay. Brain, 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 brain. Good job. Thanks, man. Oh, up here. Here we go. Ba ba ba. Do -do 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 -do. I don't really like how there's not music in all these areas. I wish it was more consistently part of the game, you know? In areas like this. How about I keep my room clean? Kids do kids do need to hear that one. They do. I think the fire... Oh no, you can't take over the fire, bro. Whoops. 
I thought you could. My bad. What does exclamation mark clip do? Uh, clip for VIPs allows them to clip uh, moments on a back-end system that I have. And I only entrust it to VIPs because if you ever take a look at the clips on this channel, a lot of it is a bunch of rug rats hitting the clipboard button and not actually doing anything with it. So that's why VIPs are the only ones that have access to it. Because VIPs are people I trust not to make bozo clips. Do you know how to play as Luigi? So what you do is you call Dr. Nintendo and you say, Hey, doctor. Um, I have a prescription for, uh, imposter syndrome. Can you possibly meow it out with me? And the doctor says yes, and then you get to play as Luigi. What am I doing in life? Who knows? Nope, just kidding. Seed! I see, I see. Bye for now. Gonna get some gaming in myself. Have a great stream. Thank you, Arcfox. Oh, did you get these stickers before you leave? Hopefully, you got the stickers. Yes, nice. Good, I'm glad. You need 999 moons? No, I do not. I just need to get. 404! Just like this. So yeah, obviously now I can get out of here. You know? Daughter stole them already? Good. That's what I like to hear. Hopefully they get stuck in places that are not inconvenient for you or your family. Fly me to the moon! It's time to jump! Hold the guac. Hello. Actually, I had guac yesterday. Literally only have 13 coins in Mario Odyssey now? Yikes. Nope. Hold on. Oh, you can't see nothing. Disclaimer, Brian does not actually condone stealing. Obviously, hello. You're stealing, quote-unquote, stealing stickers is very different from other forms of stealing. Hutty, 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 hutty. Hutty, 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 hutty. Hutty, 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 hutty. Where am I going in life? It's time to get it, isn't it? And to my cloud! Ooh, there's the barrier. Thank you for the follow. Hutty, 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 hutty. There it is. Is there a moon counter somewhere? No, you just need to be paying attention to every second of this live stream because that's what pro gamers do. Devote all your attention to watching this live stream all day today so I can feel validated as a person. Poggers. What would you want to see as the next Mario gimmick for gameplay in the next Mario game? What a wonderful question to stir the conversation, Kevin. Always knowing how to stir the pot. Um... Hmm, the next Mario gimmick? The NUT! And yes, I've seen it, man. It's okay. For the next gimmick... I feel like they can do something... Like in Mario Sunshine, with a mechanical power-up of some kind that isn't bozo-like, like Flood technically is. My long-standing theory was that they were going to do a Mario Sunshine 2 or remaster and do it in the form of... Like how in Splatoon 3, when you get that sub-special... This, guy, this guy's having a bad life. I resonate. Like, how you float around, and you, um... You float around and try to find, you know, ways of enhancing that mechanic. Bobby Cotton, I'm here. Hello, sir. Um, I would have loved to have seen that. Obviously, I think that's a little bit, um... Out of the realm of possibility. So, I think- I just think there's something, like a new me a physical mechanic, like 
flood that they could do. I love the idea of a single cohesive world. Obviously, Mario Odyssey is one world, right? But there's different kingdoms. And that is less cohesive than Mario Sunshine, where you literally had one giant island. I also like the idea of the hero going on like a vacation like that, and the vacation world being, you know, something that you can explore. So there is something to be done there, you know? Um, that'd be cool. Evasive maneuvers, man. Uh, I can make that. There we go. So something like that would be really cool. But uh, I think that the the world design, the gameplay mechanics of Odyssey are very perfect. Mario feels very good to use. Thank you for the follow. So I'm a fan of Mario's movement in Odyssey specifically, compared to most other forms of movement, you know? If Mario were- if they were to come out with a Mario Odyssey 2, what would you, what would you want in it? I would want... Oh, I meant to go up there. Whoops! But there's something on the other side too. Whoops. My bad. I'm all- I'm all scatterbrained here with all the possibilities of life. I like the blending of 2D and 3D in Odyssey. That is pretty cool. I want more kingdoms, obviously. I want new enemies to take over. Essentially, like, Mario Odyssey is great in that you can justify doing more... Just doing more of everything that's already existing and not being a bad thing. If you take a look at the Mario Odyssey art book, and really any art book... Not the ones that, like, come with the game. Like, like Zelda has one for um, Tears of the Kingdom with the pre-order. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, the actual the big art book you can buy after when the game comes out, and they, they basically do a deep dive on all the things. Um, if you buy that, and you buy that from Mario Odyssey, which is one of the really coolest art books I've ever seen, ever. Really, really cool stuff. You can see all the ideas they left on the table, and it's super interesting when a massive company like Nintendo leaves, like, all those ideas on the table, and, you know, what, what do they deem to be a good mechanic or a bad mechanic, you know? or a subpar level experience or character design or something like that, you know? Like, like what, what makes it, what doesn't make it, you know? I was gonna say, where are you going, man? Where are you going, man? So, yeah, I think Mario Odyssey can pull off doing more of the same and it not being a bad thing. But obviously that's not what Nintendo's gonna do. I think they kind of saw that with Mario Galaxy 2. I know a lot of people are saying, hey, you know, Mario Odyssey was, um, or Mario Galaxy is one of the best Mario games of all time, and obviously yes, but I feel like they wanted something bigger, better, or more for the sequel, sales-wise especially. So Galaxy, I think, has the least potential of a, um, a new game, you know? Like, if they were to make, I'm sorry, if they were to make a new, like, a third or a two or whatever, right? I think Galaxy is the least likely. I don't love Galaxy, you know? Like, I'm a Mario Galaxy fan, but even I know, like, yeah, they, you're more limited with mechanics in that way. Sixty-four is? I mean, even Mario 64. I thoroughly enjoy what this game is. A lot. And I am down to see way more of it. Here we go. Did you get the morph ball yet? I did not. Working on it though, man. We're getting there. Meow, 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 meow. And I think these are cool. Like these 2D sections are nice. They're not as, uh, Required, but they're cool. What's a morph ball? You need to play Metroid, man. There's just so many possibilities with this stuff. In such a great way. That cannon somehow knows I'm right there, which is bizarre. Is there one up here? No, just coins. Thank you for the follow. Follower alerts are not specific to the followers because I like to keep it 
So some people like to lurk, so if you want to say something you just followed recently, feel free to say hi. Make yourself known, otherwise continue to lurk in the shadows. How was I not following you, sir? My bad. That sounds like a you problem. And you fixed it. Good for you. Hello, Aaron. Happy Saturday. On that part, well, it's a partner, man. Feel free to follow. I live stream three days a week or more here on Twitch, but produce stuff all across the internet, including YouTube, Kidoodle, Roku, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all the places you could possibly want to be. I'm there. So feel free to watch along with all the stuff, man. A Drive did not respond. What I plan on doing is reaching out on Monday. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another reach out to people. One person I'm trying to have on the show is being a big Goomba, but it's fine. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure out um, you know who I can have. So the big issue I feel like well part of it I have not I haven't asked enough people. Get Zebra Gamer on your podcast. Who wants to tell them? Who wants to tell? Who wants to tell Hall de Guac? Who wants to tell him? Because I'm not. <laughs> Zebra Gamer's already on the show. First episode, Bob Bonanza. What are we doing? Zebra Gamer was the first person I asked and the first person to say yes. No, you don't need to shut up, you're good. I'm just, I'm joshing. I'm joshing. He was the first person I asked and the first person to say yes. No hesitation. It was, it was the first people to say yes were Zebra Gamer, Kendra Sight, and Abdallah. Bad it is, hello. I'm doing great. Gonna hang here while I work. Wonderful. Well, we welcome you with open arms as I play Mario Odyssey. I could take some joshing. Good. There were some other people it took a minute to track down. Some people it took, uh, you know, you know, it took a second. It, it took a, a little, a little hunting now. But those three were the first to say yes and gave me no trouble at all. Not that, no, not that the other people were trouble, but. Anyways, I'll stop talking. No, no. If I were absolutely, if I were actually upset, I'd go quiet. Who is this anonymous alien? Who's who? What anonymous alien? This boss is pretty hard. This boss is very easy. It's one of my favorites, actually. I love the design of this boss and the way you defeat it too. Really cool. Very cool. You just gotta find the center point where the where the shadow is the strongest, right in the middle there. You can see the outline of the blocks ever so slightly. So you can get it every single time. Your depth perception is very much so questioned here. If you have bad depth perception, A, you're probably going to be a bad driver, and B, this boss is going to be difficult. But luckily, the only time I've gotten into an accident is when somebody else has been a Goomba in a cake. So I'm good. So ideally, I would love for A Drive to be the final guest on the podcast because he did his own Kickstarter for his trading card game, Alestrals. He is a content creator who specializes in Pokemon, who's been doing this for a very long time. He knows how to articulate himself very well. He's not afraid to chase after his dreams, etc., etc. There's a lot, of, a lot of good things that he's done, a lot of great work that he's done that I'd love to talk with him about, especially as somebody, me, who's done a Kickstarter, you know? So I'd love to talk shop on that stuff and give a different perspective compared to a lot of other people who might be like, you know, oh, 
well, I should just focus on doing this thing or that thing, but you also have to have the courage to chase after that passion project you have and bring it to life with the support of people just like all of you, which is exactly how I managed to bring Programmer's Guide to Healthy Habits to life. And I'm grateful for that. I'm not going to get the outfits here. I'm just going to get the sticker. And eventually I'll grab the sticker in um, Sand Kingdom as well. So I would love to have him on the show, but, you know, I haven't taken every avenue I could, I guess, to have him on. So I should probably do a better job at that. Also, it might be a, um, it might just be like, hey, Brian, you know, a numbers thing, which would be unfortunate, but, you know, hey, it happens. Can you get a moon from the adventurer's outfit? I mean, I could. The fuzzies! The fuzzies! The fuzzies! My favorite! My favorite! Yay! Yay. Smack my head on the foreground. Oh. Whoops. And also as part of the Pro Gamer Podcast, I do not intend on having any Lego content creators on there. I feel like that would be, it would be easy enough to get, like, Nick to be on the show, right? Oh, get him to be on the podcast, but, like, I want to be able to reach out to new people, expand my horizons, as it were. You know, maybe if there were to be a season two, it could be more people like that, but uh, for right now, yeah, I'd love to have A-Drive or whoever on the show, you know? How will you know when you get 404 moons? When you put the moons inside the Odyssey, it tells you how many you get. I know I got 404. Because counting. Numbers. Addition. Numbers. Number shark. Do 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 do. Number shark. Do 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 do. Number shark. Do 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 do. Number shark. Whatever happened to the easy button? I have it. You know. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I don't. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll do. This? My one critique for this game is that there's so many new characters that just exist now with no explanation. Well, I don't mean to spoil anything for you. There was a trailer that I saw for the Mario movie. And guess what's in it? Toast Arena. So they're clearly working on trying to mend everything together. I feel like they're trying to mend everything together. Where's this nut going? Where's the seed? I still don't know what a game shark is. What is a game shark? A game shark is something you use to hack games on your console. It's not something I can technically endorse. However, it does exist. I thought you were going to spoil the movie. Oh, Peach gets kidnapped. Bowser's Jack Black. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. Sounds not good. I mean, I technically can't endorse it. I'm a family-friendly content creator, Jaffe. No, you spoiled the movie. Uh. Yeah, it was a cool thing to do on the elementary school playground, but not necessarily the most, um, you know, whatever thing. This is great music. I know Kevin loves this music. <laughs> Game Shark was an old school. Yeah, it was like a old school, old school hacking device. It was the only way way back when that you could get Darkrai, Arceus, and Shaman back on uh, Diamond Pearl Platinum, or really just Diamond Pearl. I had the version of that I had was the Action Replay. Bet you could do this without the play guide? Oh, I, I am doing it without the play guide. I'm doing this with uh, minimal help. I only had, I only asked for help in one instance, and that was when it was the warp pipes on the lower portion of the wooded kingdom. And it, it's random, actually, so it didn't even help. 
Who wants to see Captain O Toad? Who wants to see Captain Toad? Any Captain Toadies in the chat? Any Toaders? Big Toad energy. No! Come on. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Da 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 da! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hey, Mario! Hey, hey, out there, Captain Tone! Man's trapped for eternity. It's nice over here too. I mean, it's something, man. Hey, man, Captain Toad! Don't ever do that ever. You know, you got a lot of sass, Bree. Just like, uh, like I said, just like Ellie from The Last of Us. Oh, uh, it's not family friendly. I can't say that, can I? Nut! Seed! This way. Alright. Can we go to Seaside now? No. Thank you for the follow. I'm trying to get as many moons here as I possibly can. So that way, it's more productive. So we're gonna get as many moons in each of the kingdoms as I can before moving on. Uh, but getting as many moons as I can without, like, putting too much thought into it, you know? So like right here, right? I can go right over here. Oh! Mommy, mommy, mommy! Uh, okay. Whoops. What happened? I lagged out. I got more moons. Go figure, right? What a concept. Oh, I was already here. Whoops. Whoopsies. See, I can go over here. It dies. I mean, hey. Typical uh, Bricks O'Brien fashion, is it not? Oh, I can get something. Go figure, right? What a, what an idea. Do I have to go? Yeah, I have to go all the way over here. Hi, buddy. Now meow. Bro, actually made that? Yeah, I did, Brayden. How you doing, man? For old school stuff, unless you play totally old school, like CRTs, yeah. Uh, Lun- uh, I'm sorry. Noah is the resident, um... Uh, Noah Epic Otter, I should say. He is the resident retro person. He is the retro guy. Can I make it into here? Can I? I feel like I can. Nope, I definitely can't. Whoops. Go follow Bricks O'Brien. Makes the moms happy. TK, hello. Doo -doo -doo. Ooh. A little bit of the... Sandy. Feeling a little sandy up in here. Try getting Mario Kart Wii to work through that. Any of the emulation stuff. Like, Nintendo did such a good job at optimizing for their consoles and stuff. Like, I, I tried doing that stuff at one point. It just... It doesn't... If it doesn't run perfectly, I don't want to try it. I want to do it. Like, they have, obviously, means that you can get Mario... Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. On, um... On that, and get, like, a, like a 4K graphics pack. But, you know... I don't really, uh... I don't really bother with that stuff. Because it doesn't run as perfectly as I want it to. Over here. Nope. Goomba energy. Have I what? Have I played? Have I played 
please? What? Okay. If you're expecting the cycle accurate, then nothing beats the original hardware. Yeah, exactly. Nothing beats original hardware, you know? I'd rather have the original hardware and have it run perfectly. There was a time when I tried experimenting with it. It's like, it's just... I don't like bothering with it, you know? Oh, Plants vs. Zombies? I have not played that. Recently, at least. Uh, I can take this. Nope. Yo! Boop. Boop. Mm -hmm. Boop. Bye, squirrels. Bye, squirrels. I did play Battle for Neighborville, and I enjoy the Plants vs. Zombies series. It's very different. And it's like a, a cool experience compared to, you know, the other typical Plants vs. Zombies game. I love the third person perspective. I love what it's about, but it is, uh, you know. Oh, there's a rock over here, actually. I mean, an actual rock I can use to crack open the thing, you know? And I already got that one. There, this one right here. I forget, what's the easy way to do this? Is it this? It might be that, actually. Hold on. Yoink. No. There we go. A little bit of something there. Do you ever play Phineas and Ferb on the Wii? No. not a, I've never watched Phineas and Ferb, actually. So that's unfortunate. All right. Let's update this moon counter. Currently, I have... Drum roll, please. 53. Gonna cash some more in. Cash money. What do we get? Hit me with the music. Ninety-one! Brian! Stop it! So just about a fourth of the way there in three hours. A little bit of dilly-dallying, you know? That's fair. Lake Kingdom. That's next. Every 100, I'll take a pause. All aboard. All aboard. Thank you for spending your Saturday with me. You could be anywhere else doing anything else, but you're here. The 404 is today. Twenty two point five percent done. Cool. Wonderful. Brutals over the lake. Potato. Potato. Yeah, and I know how to skip a good portion of this kingdom too. It involves um, long jump, or rather, wall jumping over here. I like the little uh, crystals in the wall. For some reason, I'm really noticing it right now here. Pretty sweet, man. Is this bird something? I think that bird is something, actually. Zipper. Zipper. Zipper T-Bunny. Zipper T-Bunny. I had the right idea, but not close. Whoops. Uh, there is another moon. Oh, right underneath here. I know where it is. Mm -bop. Again, trying to maximize the amount of moons possible, you know? There we go. Is this the one who looks like Goofy? Uh, it probably the big Goofy energy, yes. You ever beat Minecraft with achievements on? Uh, I, you know, I don't really focus on the achievements and stuff, honestly. I tend not to. 
stuff like that can be interesting, but isn't necessarily my forte overall. Achieve I've never been a big achievement hunter. It makes me a bad, um... I don't know. Bad content creator, maybe? Hey, look at that! Poggers! Wowee! Hey! I'm gonna head into here first. Because I can. I'm a little bit of Mount Volbono. Hit me with the Volbono. Yoink. I'm making a game. Would you play it? Uh, potentially. Making games takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. And I obviously am grateful for that effort. But don't feel like you need to make a game just for me to play it. Make a game because you enjoy it. And you want to play it yourself, you know? If I were to make a game for Pro Gamer's Guide, it would be a platformer of some kind, for sure. If you couldn't piece that together on my love of platformers, for sure, it would absolutely be a platformer in some capacity. Hmm. Oh, Plessy, hello! Long time no see! Oh, ooh, this lake seems noisy. It is. You would make it to go along with something else I'm making right now? Yeah, that'd be cool. Man, game development. I don't know how people have the time. It's a lot of coding and a lot of trial and error processing and whatnot. It's a lot of, a lot of that, you know? I'd love to say, hey, take my work of Pro Gamer's Guide and make it into a game, but, you know. And it can go very underappreciated, too, with how much effort game devs put into their work and then players just dunk on it. Do you know what was really received poorly? And this is a game I won't be playing at all, but I'll, I'll mention it here just for the sake of conversation, because, you know, obviously, obviously I know what I'm doing, right? Um, you know what game was really received poorly? Um, and I, I'm gonna say the name of it, even though it's a word I would normally never say on camera, ever. Um, Justice League, or Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. Because it's a game, it's not family friendly. But, the other games that that development studio, Rocksteady, have made, were very much like single player, really high quality, really in-depth uh, games, you know? And now they swapped it over to be like a live service game. So instead of having a really good single player experience, they're focusing on having guns and just looting all sorts of buildings. And it, it's just not the vibe that people want from that development studio. And, uh... Man, people were ripping them apart. But imagine, the only reason I'm bringing it up is like, imagine working on this game for like five, six, seven years, right? And then all of a sudden, people see it and they're like, man, we hate this. This is not what we want. And we are not going to support this, you know? And listen, I'm not talking about the game as a, as a game. I'm talking about like, the idea that you can develop a game for so long and then people are just like, nope. It's it's sad. It's really sad. And yeah, if you're gonna let's let's not be like, oh Brian, don't talk about violent games. Listen, I can talk about games. I'm not gonna play them, but I can talk about games as much as I want to. I'm not gonna play them. I'm not gonna endorse them, but I can talk about it. Can't pretend it doesn't exist. Um not something I'll endorse because it looks kind of boring. You know? It's the same way with Hogwarts Legacy. Um, no, but but if you're a diehard Harry Potter fan, you, I feel, you want the experience of being in Hogwarts and wanting to uh, be in one of the houses and all of that, you know? And that, that, to me, is what that kind of person wants out of that experience. And that's what you got in Hogwarts Legacy. 
I think it doesn't fit me very well for my videos because I like giving a lot of commentary and I like telling stories as I'm playing games, which is clearly what I'm doing right here, you know? So, you know, um, that's what I really appreciate about games is that if I can uphold a conversation in this case with nobody and talk about whatever during that time, you know? It should have had multiplayer, otherwise it's solid. I think they're adding something with Quidditch. Last I heard. But, but, by everything that I've seen, it is like the ultimate Harry Potter game for a Harry Potter fan. I like Harry Potter a lot, and even for me, I, I bought the Deluxe Edition, because I'm like, ah, oh, should I do videos on it? Ah, let's see how people respond to it. And, um, it hasn't gotten the reception I thought it would, which makes sense, because it's just not, uh... It's not what I typically do, it's not what I'm typically playing, and that's fine. I actually, I, I asked Zebra Gamer, I'm like, hey, are you playing this? And he's like, nah, I'm not really, not really bothering. You know, I was looking at other family-friendly content creators, I'm like, is anybody playing this? Is Abdallah playing it? No, not really. You know who's really playing it are like the 20-something-year-olds the that are very into Harry Potter. But like, for younger audiences and families, eh, not really. Would I play in my free time? Uh, there's other games I want to play in my free time. You know? Like, uh, I would play a certain game starring Kratos sooner than I'd play Hogwarts Legacy. And I already played through those two games. And those are not family friendly, but I can still talk about them. AKA the dudes. No, I mean, there's plenty of other family friendly content creators that are not just dudes, but those are the people that I've uh, talked to most recently. So that's the only reason I'm mentioning them. I have a panel with Abdallah at PAX East 2023, which is pretty cool. I need to dress up as a mermaid, right? Oh no, it's just that. Okay, cool. Do you play Minecraft on your free time? Uh, not as much. I've played a lot to maintain the server and add new stuff to it, but not as much for uh, my own enjoyment as of recently, which I'm disappointed by, but I'd rather record more uh, Minecraft series than anything else, you know? Besides the separate houses quest, there really isn't much replayability. I still enjoy the game for lore and such. Yeah, if you're if you're in it for the lore, oh, totally. Like, it, it is the ultimate Harry Potter game. But like I said, yeah, I like being able to talk because that's where my videos and live streams and podcasts shine is what I'm showcasing myself and talking about, you know, people and situations and whatever. And you don't necessarily do that in Hogwarts Legacy because you're focused on the game, you know? Hello! Give me this! Got a PS5 this week, finally, so I'm excited to play the stuff I've seen on the 4 and 5. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it'd be tough to talk and play at the same time. So, and my my audience, I would say, generally falls in line with me what I like. So, colorful, platformers, um, engaging gameplay, whatever. And not that that game isn't that, but it is very brown and muddy, which is fine, but it's not very, like, it doesn't pop, you know? Regardless of how you feel about the game, you know? It, it definitely does not pop. It's beautiful, but it doesn't pop. What are you hoping for in Spider-Man 2? Oh, Sp yeah, like, so Spider-Man is one of the only games like that I'd probably play that are more so story-driven that I'm, like, all about, you know? Uh, for Spider-Man 2, I'm actually, like, not necessarily burnt out on the Spider-Man stuff, but I don't know. I mean, Venom. Venom is going to be good. Switching between uh, Peter and Miles is going to be good. I'll buy... Definitely... Um, no, Plessy. My apologies. This is uh, Dory. Yes, and I'll buy this. Do you like Kingdom Hearts? No. What I will probably do is I'll probably replay Breath of the Wild. Uh, what I would love to do is do a similar thing with this to Breath of the Wild, like complete Breath of the Wild in one day. But I feel like that would be a bit more impractical than I'm banking on it being, you know? I forget what I gotta do here. Yeah, I forget. 
No, not a whole, not a whole 120 shrines. I mean, just like beat it, like get to the end, you know. Oh, I gotta get a um, a blooper in here, right? Oh no, I thought I gotta get a blooper in there. Cheap, cheap. My bad. I always do that. Dang it. I messed that up. Yeah, I would most likely do that on a weekend. I'm I'm pretty smart about doing that stuff, you know? I would definitely not do this on a Monday afternoon, just like with this stream here, you know? I very much so would do this on a, uh, a weekend where the most amount of people would be able to watch and enjoy it. Because I'm trying not to be a Goomba. So hopefully you're enjoying this and playing along with either in your own game or something else entirely different, you know? There we go. That helps. Why do you not like Kingdom Hearts? I can't follow the plot. And it's just... Eh, not my kind of game. The plot is way too convoluted for what I care to be invested in for a, uh, a video game. Playing Breath of the Wild, nice. There's definitely something else. Yeah, there we go. Again, trying to maximize how many moons I get in every kingdom before moving on. Let me see if I can... There's nothing up here. Nice. Fuzzies. Fuzzy bunnies. Um... Yeah, it definitely was not going to work. Kingdom Hearts was my jam when I was young. Yeah, but the plot, yeah, it's a mess. And it's one of those, oh, it's complicated for the sake of complicated. Never a fan of that. It's definitely Square Enix just making it, it making it complicated for the sake of it. And I think it's, oh, man, I think, cool here's a hot take. I think it's very, I want to say disrespectful. But like, you know, you have fans wait 13 years for a game and then it's Kingdom Hearts 3 and that it's definitely not what people wanted and the, everything's so convoluted. Like, the idea of combining, I guess what at the root of it is, is anime and Mickey Mouse sounds like a good idea. And you could do some really cool things with it, but then like all these mechanics, like the gummy ship and the plot is so... Like, I know anime can be a, like a very convoluted uh, thing, right? Like, it's definitely not for everybody. There could be a lot of characters and storylines and blah, 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 like all this stuff, you know? But when you make it impossible to follow like that, man, come on now. There's got to be some level of consistency with this stuff. Final Fantasy plus Disney was an interesting choice. Yeah, and unfortunately, you're in a situation now where you're too deep into it and then... I, my philosophy on games, and any form of media, I really like the Walt Disney approach of making it as easily accessible for people as possible. And Kingdom Hearts is absolutely not that. And you're never gonna get that. So to me, it's aggravating when you have this cool concept of, like, these Disney characters that could have, like, combined fighting mechanics and, you know, a really interesting lore, but then... Which is ironic, Stephiroth, that you got into- you never got into Kingdom Hearts, and your name is Stephiroth. <laughs> Mario plus Final Fantasy with Square Enix was legendary, right, exactly. It only had the one title, one story, not a series to maintain. Yeah, the, the newer game was not, um... Sparks of Hope, I- uh, I didn't love it enough to keep it going, I guess, especially with the video series. The first game, wonderful. I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the first game. And that, that's more so the game mechanics above anything else, combined with Mario, which is really interesting. Brutal looks like Goofy, yuh -huh. Like in Kingdom Hearts, the gummy ship concept, I think is the most Goomba thing ever. Goomba. 
Oh, we're gonna shoehorn this entire ship mechanic into the game for the sake of it's. Oh, you're talking about Mario RP. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was thinking about Ubisoft with Kingdom Battle. My apologies. Um, but yeah, you're right with um, Square Enix and Mario with Mario RPG. Very, very cool. Looks like Super Merchant. I can't think of a, a game studio with Nintendo that I'd like to see. Some of them, ah, eh, you know. Uh, good Saturday to you, sir. Very fun Odyssey. You're showcasing here. Love it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy what I'm doing here. This is an all-day marathon getting 404 moons in Super Mario Odyssey. Feel free to follow and tag along. All right, so there's that one there. There's a bird. Isn't there a bird? Oh, I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest. Lakito. 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 Got to reset it there. You don't like the Lucky Two fishing? I love the Lucky Two fishing. It's easy. There we go. Just stitching knots. Hello. Oh, yeah. Let's see how many more I can get. I already did that one there. Yeah, right into here. End of the Hidden Passage. My son loves this game, just can't find all the moons. I'm finding 404 in one sitting today as part of when I got the amount of subscriptions in uh, September. September, I got uh, 404 subscriptions throughout the month, which means I gotta get 404 moons here today. First time introduced to this Odyssey game, wondering if this can be a multiplayer game. If you've never heard of Super Mario Odyssey before, by golly, are you in for a good time. This game can technically be played multiplayer. It is not designed to be, eh, it is designed to be multiplayer. But the multiplayer functionality is that it's more so like a father and son, mother, son, mother, daughter sort of thing. Oh, I forget how to do this here. Um, where you play as Mario and the other person plays as Cappy and kind of floats around you. It's meant to be a single-player game. Play a Mario Odyssey as well on the Metro Kingdom now. Very nice. Close. Yeah, it's unfortunate because I liked Mario Rabbids. And I, I liked the first game. I liked what they ended up doing with it. Nailed it. Nice. It's unfortunate, but maybe it meant to be just one game, or there could have been something different they did with it. I don't really know, but that is a game I most likely will not go back to. What makes you not like the second? It just didn't grab me as much. I, I got busy with something else, and then that ended up being that, basically, you know? It was pretty difficult, but difficult in a good way. It was a very satisfying gameplay loop. I liked it a lot. They changed the tiles. Oh, yeah, with free movement now. That doesn't bother me as much. Uh, I can get into here. You didn't like the skill tree mechanic in Sparks of Hope? Oh, actually, no, I can't get into there. Hmm. Is there anything else I can do here? Obviously, I can find that last piece of the moon. Oh, I can go into here. I never actually went under here. Oh, right here. Very nice, Light Sledge. Hello. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit the follow button. I do live streams multiple times a week here on Twitch and obviously, as you know, all across the internet. When's your birthday? One, two, three. January 23rd. Will you ever live stream on YouTube again? Uh, I don't... 
if I were smart, I'd live stream on YouTube, meaning that I have more subscribers on YouTube than I, or followers on YouTube than I do here, build out that more. But the fun things like the channel points and the redeems and stuff, those are not on YouTube and they may never be just because YouTube doesn't add that kind of stuff in. So it makes it a difficult to justify in that sense. So, you know, it could be, but I don't necessarily have a big desire to. So I think that's a good majority of the moons here. I'm going to try to go back here, see what's going on. Okay, so... Anything spicy. Nah, I'm kind of good here, right? I feel like I'm good here. Let's get out of here! Get him out of here! Going from 91... ...to 108? 112! Hey! 112, everybody. Give it up for moon number 112. A little over a fourth of the way there. Once I complete the game, these will go a lot quicker. And now, obviously, on the way to the Metro Kingdom, but... Not really. Not really. Brannigan Borealis with the Prime sub. Thank you so much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. If you have an Amazon Prime account, it's linked to your Twitch account. You can subscribe to the channel for free, which means you get access to the spiciest emotes on the internet to use on this channel and beyond. It is included free with your uh, Prime subscription. I'm going to get clouded into the sky. Bam. Just going to power through this because we all know what happens here, man. We rain, all know. Rain, 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 rain. It's all fun and games until Bowser knocks us out of the sky. Good job. First boss battle with King Bowser. Hubbity hubbity. Young Band-Aid, thank you for wishing me luck. And thank you for following. Good to figure out how to do that. I always forgot it can't be done on the app. It cannot, yes. Well, if you have your account linked, I think you can, but they make it rather difficult kind of on purpose. Because Amazon's like, yeah, you don't need to redeem that right now, you know? Like the hat hair detail on Bowser? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hoorah! Now what's your friend code? My friend code is not currently available. Oh, you have to use the web browser to subscribe. I didn't realize that. I did not realize that at all. We're in the clouds, man. We clouding. We clouding. Bam! Get him out of here! You know what? Very satisfying Bowser boss battle. Bowser takes his sweet time with the recovery here. We all know how it be. Lost Kingdom. I'm lost. You'll be lost. Every river that I try to cross. Chase to the guy. Hello. We need some power moons to fix this bad Larry up. You got it. No, so for Mario Odyssey, it is a local multiplayer game. So let's say, so you know how, see that little cap? It's being tossed out right there. That cap. So your daughter would play as Cappy and float around and collect coins and destroy enemies and whatever. And you would play as Mario, jump around. So you'd have to work together to beat all the bosses and acquire moons and all the things in the game. So you cannot do it via internet. That is not possible. Making his appearance for Mario 64, yoink! 
Oh, I gotta re-explain that because uh has the advertisement there. Whoops. This is great music, yeah. Hmm. Hello. Wait, pause. <laughs> let me grab that real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me grab that real quick. So, uh, and yeah, I was saying before, I wanted to make sure you weren't uh, stuck in the advertisement. So you can play multiplayer locally. So you cannot do it via a internet connection, unfortunately. So this game, you need to have a person with you physically IRL in order to really uh, play this. So I was also saying, like you play as Mario here, like one character right here, right? And then, uh, in this case, your daughter would play as Cappy. So, see the cap is like floating out right here, this thing? The cap? Your daughter would play as that while uh, you play as Mario. So it's like a cooperative multiplayer experience. But you cannot do it online. Not as far as I'm, I know. So, it would have to be a situation where you're together. Yeah, this is a jam here. Really good stuff. Really? Come on now. No link switch, yes. Only in the same room on the same machine for this game. Uh, if you're looking for a great multiplayer game online, Mario Kart for sure. Um, let me take a look real quick. Because I just want to answer your question so in depth. Hmm. Mario Maker? That'd be good. Uh... Can you do Captain Toad online? Not into Mario Kart. Maybe Captain Toad online? Splatoon, it's too... Uh, if you want, like, a... If you want, like, a, a game to play with, you know, a father-daughter. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3? You have to play that next stream? I play Mario Maker occasionally. It... It gets kind of boring at this point because there's so many levels that are out there that are like music levels. So like, oh, you sit there and you play a music level. Or, oh, hey, here's this impossible challenge you need to play 5,000 times before you make any progress. And those are super aggravating. I don't want to play those. I'm not one of those people. One of my favorite areas in the game right here. This is where Luigi's Balloon World. This is where all the Declans, Donalds, Tabithas, and Tammies hide their balloons. And they're always worth a boatload of cash in here. All, in Luigi's Balloon World, they always hide them right here, because they're like, Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna be cheeky. Oh, 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 oh. And they're not. Ah! Yeah, it's a nice little hidden spot. So, most of the time, the little ones fail to get over there. So, when Mr. O'Brien comes along and pops that balloon, Big fat stacks of cash. Which is not how I'd normally describe that, but it's true. Give me this! You can do 3D World Online. Yeah, this game here. Man, I got a stacked Switch library. Look at this. Look at this! Hold a walk, have a good night. Afternoon. When's the last time I played that? Oh, this game's awful, by the way. Don't buy this. I should have never played this game. That's stunk. I, I d highly... Watch the cutscenes of that game. Don't even bother watching my videos. Uh, where is 3D World? Am I being a Goomba? I am. Can't wait to get 100,000 more points to make play Brian play NES on the e ET on the NES. There you go. Hyrule Warriors is so good on the Wii U. I loved every second. It's we can all have bad tasting games. It's fine. Oh, 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 oh. 
It's just repetitive. It does not make for good videos. It doesn't make for an enjoyable experience for me. And if it's not an enjoyable experience for me, it's probably not an enjoyable experience to watch. Uh, there's one spicy one somewhere here. Age of Calamity stinks. If you're expect no, yeah. If you're expecting a classic Zelda, it's obviously, obviously not that. It's just repetitive. The frame rate on it is abysmal. The um, the story is great, and it really cha it changes the entirety of Breath of the Wild and your outlook on it. It's really interesting. But the gameplay does not entice me at all. Right here. This one I was looking for. Bam. Terrible content, but the cut... Yeah, I, and even the content isn't bad. It's just not... Uh, not what I want out of a game. I'm kind of cranking through this game. Casually. Casually speaking, at least. Yeah, and I'm not a Dynasty Warriors fan either, so it does not compel me at all. Uh... Nope! I messed up. Thank you all for tuning in. I am uh, advocating for a partnership on Twitch with the 75 people watching at any given time. That gets me oh so closer to that elusive purple badge, which means more emotes are unlocked here on the channel. And across, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, get them obviously for Discord as well. And uh, more opportunities for me, which means more opportunities for all of you who support me. It is just one of those things that uh, it's a nice goal to have and something I'd love to have. So if you could help me out by following, watching, whenever you get a free second to, tell somebody about the stream you may not have uh, referred to before. Anything and everything certainly helps. I do this multiple times a week and I enjoy it 93% of the time. You need a moon emote, do I? If I played Mario Odyssey frequently, I would, but this is a special occasion. Nope. Will you play Breath of the Wild Master Mode? No, because I enjoy my time. And I want to waste it being aggravated at a game. Jafio? Oh, I forgot I could do that. Whoops. You should interview Mr. A-Game on the podcast. I actually already subscribed to him. I should probably reach out to him. But hey, man. Hey, man, listen, man. Meow, meow, man. He'd be, he'd be great to have on the show. You should go ask Mr. A-Game to be on my podcast. And not because I can't ask him, but it would mean more if you did. Bam! Snippity-doo-dah! Snippity-day! Wowee! There's a moon over here I can get for sure. It would mean more coming from the fans to ask him to be on the show. I can ask him all I want. What's your podcast name? Exclamation mark podcast. It's the Pro Gamer's Guide podcast where I interview content creators from all walks of life about their content creation journey. I've interviewed the likes of Mr. Zebra Gamer, Abdallah Smash, Kendersite, Bonzinator, and Lagundo so far. There's one more episode left for season one as a thank you to all the people who supported my children's book on Kickstarter, Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits. So all the people I have on the show are content creators you should probably take a look at and enjoy. The people that I have reached out to, I enjoy as well and are worth checking out. So make sure, if you listen to the episode of the show, not only do you get their unique perspective on making all sorts of awesome stuff, but then, uh, you know, end up supporting what I do as well. Season one? There could be a season two. Brian, your kids written books? Uh, I do not have children. I wrote a children's book, yes. I wrote a children's book because it's something I wanted to do, and I had a really good idea for that. Uh, it's called Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits, exclamation mark book. It's available currently on my website, bricksobrian.com shop. It is all about reinforcing healthy habits for the aspiring gamer 
where all these streamers, these Twitch streamers take their energy drink sponsorships and brainwash you with them. That is not the way that you become an actual professional gamer. It's about taking care of yourself, leading a balanced lifestyle, hanging out with your friends, drinking water, and taking healthy, meaningful steps toward being a professional in every way, shape, and the form. I wrote it for aspiring professional gamers, but also as a reminder to myself to, to maintain those habits even when I'm gaming long sessions and recording videos for your enjoyment. So it was crowdfunded on Kickstarter in January 2020. Toad ship, look at this. Hi, Todd. Uh, in January 2022, we raised $32,369 in 28 days. Almost a thousand copies of the book are gone and the paperback version is arriving uh, this uh, year, later this year. There's only a certain amount of the first edition hardcovers left and then they're gonna be gone. So if you want to get your copy of the book, exclamation mark book at bricksobrian.com slash shop, the hardcover version is available as well as a signed edition from uh, Kevin and myself. Yeah, well, I would, I would sooner do coffee than energy drinks, you know? Pro Mom's Guide to Healthy Habits. That's a, that's a sequel. That's a sequel. Just kidding. I'm not announcing a sequel at this time. There is no Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits 2 as y'all have been clamoring for or asking me about. That is not happening. Here? Just that, okay. Will you be restocking them? The first edition hardcovers? No, I will not be restocking those. The paperback version will be available later this year. I'm gonna go to this island. Pro Goomba's Guide to Unhealthy Habits. There you go. Going through these moons like water. Do 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 do. Bow. Where can I find your children? Yep. So it's right on my website there. Um, any any purchases of the book are obviously appreciated. The more support that book gets, the more I can justify making more in the future. And I would be very honored if I had the ability to do that. So if you are interested, get your copy today. Uh, I think I got a fair amount of the moons here. Actually, nope. There's a couple over here I can snag. Or I get out of here. So yeah, I wrote that book obviously for kids who aspire to become professional gamers. But yeah, also for me because I fall into toxic waste and clearly need more tips. But also... To remind myself to maintain those healthy habits and not do the things that I shouldn't be doing. Which is very difficult sometimes, but all we can do is try our best. And that's that, you know? We read your book often. I'm glad, and I know Chase is obviously a little bit on the older side, right? But the life lessons in the book, just like... A lot of children's books can be, but not always. Still uh, helpful reminders for parents who may be reading it to them for uh, bedtime or whatever. So try to not make it, you know, a kitty book. Art style is done by uh, Mr. Hinkle Draws, who is, I think, looming in the chat. I don't know if he's here, but he's looming. He is a uh, freelance illustrator. Both my kids have the book memorized. Nice. He's 11, but it's a great reminder. My belief is never put. My belief is you never outgrow a great picture book. That's true, Megan. Wow. Almost as spoken as an author yourself. Go figure. Nope. Dang it. Twitch boy, hello. Just joined in. I'm playing Super Mario Odyssey all day today in the hopes to get 404 moons in whatever amount of time period I have. 
I am not on a timer. I'm not a speed runner. I'm just hanging out and uh, doing this for the sake of doing it. There's no donation goal. There's no project. There's no anything. She's doing it for the sake of doing it. Which is totally okay. And thank you for following. My name is Brian Saviano. Some people call me Bobby O'Bricks. Some people call me Bobby Cotton. Some people call me the number one uh, entity in the multiverse, Kang Hu. And uh, I play games, I tell stories, I do a bunch of stuff. So if you enjoy what I do, Stromboli O'Brien, that's another one. So if you enjoy what I do, hang around, follow along, and uh, enjoy the ride. The Odyssey's repaired! And join the Discord! Are the front book characters Cat Parrot inspired by Minecraft or something else? You know, I never get a chance to retell these stories in depth for new people, so I'm glad you're asking these questions. So, the... The bird was inspired by the name that I gave a parrot in one of my Minecraft playthroughs in the very first now. episode of 101 Things to Do in Minecraft. I got a parrot that I named Polly, P-A-U-L-Y. That's a bird you're seeing fly across screen here. I have a family member named Paul. My uncle Paul is a gentleman who uh, obviously is my uncle, but he makes a Christmas village every year out of Department 56 ceramic houses. And it's been a, a family tradition for well over 40 years, where every year in September, he'll start the creation of the uh, Winter Village. We all go over as a holiday party, as a way to get the whole family together, basically. And so when I was thinking of a parrot name, obviously Polly, like P-O-L-L-Y, is a very common name for a parrot, right? But calling him P-A-U-L-Y, a little tribute to my Uncle Paul and my cousin Paul. So I did that. And then one of my long-standing catchphrases in all of my videos, podcasts, streams, all this stuff, right? Is you just gotta meow it out. I'm gonna wait to get all the coins when I'm done with New Dog City. I want I want to get this rainy mess over with. You know? That's Cecilia. So let me just barge through this real quick. So, for the longest time... Accurate to how California was this morning. Um, one of my catchphrases is you just gotta meow it out. And it's something that my cousin Brandon said. I don't know why. He probably got it as a reference from somewhere. I have no idea. But I liked it. And I just kept saying it in my videos. And people are like, Brian, what on earth does that mean? That means nothing. And I don't know. Sometimes in life, whatever happens, good, bad, and different, you just gotta meow it out. You gotta take whatever punches are handed to you and work with the to the work with it to the best of your ability which is essentially what meowing it out means so whatever circumstances you are dealt with good or bad you take that and you just vibe with it you meow it out to the best of your ability and so meowing it out is obviously involving cats that cats meow obviously you know actually i gotta go over here i forgot i gotta go on the inside or up or something so, the bird mascot was, uh, yeah, exactly. Just got me out, out, exactly. So, the bird mascot technically came first, and then when I was making the shirt design that's called Bricks O Beginnings, I'm like, hey, you know, I should probably have a cat mascot of some kind. So, and the cat should probably be like blue. So, why not make a blue cat? So. Uh, that's how Cecilia became blue and was originally part of the shirt design. The even bigger story between all of this is that my book was actually supposed to come out in 2020, but obviously... So, between... And then a massive slew of delays and uh, production stuff over time, uh, the book was not coming out the way that I wanted to, so the cat and bird mascots were out before the book was. 
So if you end up looking on my shop, there's a, a shirt design called Brixo Beginnings. I'll just wait for that to stop. And that was out before the book actually was. So people are like, who's this cat? Who's this bird? Why is this relevant? And I'm like, I don't know, because I wanted to keep the book a surprise. So I kept it a surprise for so long, launched it on my birthday live stream last year. Hello, Mystic. And then that's how all this started to really uh, come to fruition. So those are inspired by a Minecraft playthrough I did a while ago, but obviously Polly has his own identity. He's not based off of Minecraft something or another. Uh, but then also inspired by one of my uh, catchphrases that I've used in my videos over the years and also um, all that. And the final mascot is Cuddles the Penguin, which is the purple penguin. Love the book design. Cannot wait to get a copy from it. Well, thank you. Um, Cuddles the Penguin is the purple penguin that you sometimes see waddle at the bottom of the screen. Before the book came out, I challenged my audience to make Brix O'Brien a penguin companion. And only a few, like, actually a good amount of people entered in. And I said, that, you know, no reward, no nothing, just just do it, right? What, what, what would a penguin companion for Brix O'Brien look like? Oh, mama. So, Lindsay designed Cuddles, the purple penguin with the yellow and blue scarf. And so what happened was when the book was announced, I had my artist Kevin, the artist of Programmer's Guide to Healthy Habits, create Cuddles in his art style, and we put it as a cameo in the book. So in one of the picture frames, Cuddles is in the book, like the Penguin Companion for Brian. And then in the comic, the Programmer's Guide uh, weekly comic, Cuddles is a main character of the uh, of the crew and is a part of the adventures just like Polly and Cecilia are. So it works out really nicely. And I'm going to faint here again. Just kidding. No, I'm not. So, yeah, Lindsay is actually touring colleges today. So they are lurking. So I've done a... I feel like I've done a good job and a lot of people have told me I've done a good job. So I'm going to take their word for it. Done a wonderful job of um, implementing awesome things from people that have made things in my community um refining those ideas to make it into a really cool concept for a book or otherwise and uh just continuing to develop it more so my biggest hope with pro gamers guide is to make it into something more than just a children's book something more than just a you know a comic or whatever i'd love to make it like a an animated tv series eventually and all the, all the things, basically all the things, because the idea of wanting to become a YouTuber content creator, that's not going away anytime soon, especially for the younger generations. And there's a bigger story that I, I mean, I have in mind, because I'm obviously, I think of all these ideas and stuff all the time, right? This happens, unfortunately. So I have all these ideas for things I want to do, and I want to be able to bring them to life that aren't, you know, aren't possible right in this time just because time and money. So I'd love to pitch the idea to whoever, whatever situations. I know it's a great idea. I know I believe in it. And I know it's something people would really enjoy. So I want to do it justice by developing it further as much as I possibly can. So that's a, that's a short, that's a long story, actually. Oh my goodness, I keep messing up. Here we go. That's what I'm looking to do. There it is. Uh, yes, I actually do Minecraft live streams pretty frequently. So I will do build challenges about once a week, depending on where the schedule kind of lines up. So, um... I've done those plenty in the past, so as long as you're following, you'll be able to tune in with those. And I challenge people in the chat to build whatever. When's the next Minecraft stream? Uh, probably Monday. I haven't done Minecraft in a minute, so I'll say Monday. So follow along on all the shenanigans.
Uh oh. Dang. Tank Tuesday? Hey, yo. I have not lost my sanity yet. I'm good. I'm going to take a pause probably once I restore Nudong City. Rest my voice for a minute and uh, get some water. Oh my goodness. I made a rice pudding t-shirt design. I haven't made a rice pudding emote. Yeah, Discord is the best place to find out everything about Bricks O'Brien. I usually update Discord first. A lot of people are in there. Hey. Hey. You should stream Breath of the Wild once a week till Tears of the Kingdom. You should live stream Breath of the Wild once a week till Tears of the Kingdom comes out. How about them apples? Yeah. Yabba. New Dog City, a fresh start for the city. Yes, sir. I'm going to take a second here. I'm going to get over to the, um, the point there. Get to the other side of the, uh, the kingdom where I need to be. Oh, over to here. Clearly want to snag that, right? There we go. Your mouse pad jump for joy design is very cool. Yeah, that was actually designed by George Marm. He is the illustrator for the comic. And I took that from the comic and I'm like, this would make for a really cool mouse pad. And it totally did. So I'm glad you like it. I actually have the, uh, the big desk mat on my uh, desk right now. Here we go. Pop. Time to get back into it. Here we go. More coins. Only 15 of 100. Obviously, Metro Kingdom is huge. So we're going to take some time to get this bad boy lurking and working. But it's still all good regardless here. Lots of moons to get in this kingdom, that's for sure. And I feel like I can get a, a vast majority of them here. Or at least a lot of them in this one here. Sounds good, I try it. Yeah, the bubbly bounce is really good. I like caffeine. And if I can help not having all the nonsense in the soda, then uh, I can, you know? So that's what works out for me, you know? I'm not going to do the hundred. I'm not going to do the hundred, but I am going to do this one here. If I really focused, I could, but... I'm just going to do this. Baby, let's go! First try, baby, let's go! Uh, can someone time out Super Mario Star for three minutes for trying to break my focus during what was clearly a pivotal moment? Clearly a pivotal moment! Imagine being the bozo trying to mess me up. Boomba! <laughs> You're very welcome. 
All good, Rainy. Thank you. I strongly dislike all of these segments in the rain. I really do. I was trying to time it right after. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't like the rain in the dark here, for sure. Not a fan of that. Rather, rather, rather. Oh, you know what I can do? I forgot, I can grab them by doing this. Which seems kind of really broken, honestly. It's too dark to see properly. Um, it's not too bad, but, you know. It's just not my favorite. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, I appreciate the vibe, but, uh, yeah, no. Not for me. Tank physics in this game are bad. Yeah, they're not stellar. I don't mind them, but you know, they could have been better. I always get confused where the last one is. Did you order or microwave it took a shower? I have not done anything yet. I will not order or make any move for uh, another couple hours. Plenty of time. Yeah, I don't want to waste my time in here. I actually don't like this. Not a fan of this area. Well, the Don, hello. Thoughts on the Champions Ballad DLC? It's good. I don't really have any strong opinion on it, you know? Shoot the car with the tank. Whoops. Well, I messed that up. I'd rather get moons more quickly over here, you know? Right now it's 4.04 p.m. Nice. It adds so much more to the story in game. Yes, it does. Yeah, that's the one with the on the Great Plateau, right? That one. Yeah, I like it. I like the challenge. I think having more challenging type modes other than master mode is good. I'm not a fan of uh, master mode. It is not my first thing to do. Any of those challenges where it's like, it's the same game, but you die in one hit. I'm like, no. Not doing that. Not big on that. I should probably go talk to Pauline. Or at least go over here first. Why not? Uh, one of these people is a Cappy. You can tell by looking at the back of their head. Or is that afterward? It might be afterward.
Who's impost? I know, right? I'm back. How are you, Brian? I'm doing good. I am doing splendid. Oh. No, I haven't talked to the hat yet. I didn't know if that was from, um... If that takes place after the, uh, the moon stuff, or if it's right here. I don't see them. It might be after you go to the moon. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can look for it at another time. Oh, you have to talk to the cappy before you can find it. That's what I mean. That makes more sense. So I have to actually do another step, you know? What an athlete! Is there anything over here? No? Wowee! Do 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 do. Meow. Where did I miss the moon? Any moon missers in the chat? It's fine. There's plenty of them in New Dong City. It's fine. Thank you for the follow. You done it without talking to him before? Well, I can just bypass it because that's fine. That's fine. It's not a big deal. We can go over here. I'll leave it so I don't need to talk to Pauline quite yet. It's okay. Pauline can wait. She's doing just fine. Oh, I gotta get the motorcycle at some point. You know what you cannot do is you cannot bring the... Oh, uh, what was it? I can't talk to you yet, can I? Yeah, definitely not. One second. There we go. What was the thing you can't do? I totally lost my train of thought. My apologies. Planning to upload this? Yeah, I'm going to upload it in hopefully chunks of content creation there. He should definitely say let's a launch before the electricity thing. And hello. Thank you for following earlier. 1F. Appreciate it. I guess I'll talk to Pauline. Sure. It means the world to me that you got the festival here. Hey, you. You do get a moon every time you talk to them, so that's good. So I'll upload this as its own individual thing at some point. And if you're watching this right now, then hello. The Mario Odyssey 404. This is where I gather 404 moons in Super Mario Odyssey for the sake of doing it, because this is one of my favorite games of all time. And I wanted to share that with as many uh, people as I could. And for the sake of doing it, you know? Uh, and it's also a fulfillment to a charity obligation I made back last August. What what, what web browser do I use? Um, I use Chrome. Why do certain moons have separate cutscenes? That's a wonderful question. Part of it, I actually have no idea. Part of it is because there's monumental things that happen in uh, Mario Odyssey. So when you get... There's uh, sometimes when you defeat a boss, you get three moons at a time. It's like a crown moon. I forget what they actually call it. But it's three moons at a time. And by doing that, you're defeating a certain segment of the game. And so it, it just triggers it as like, a, hey, you did this thing. Congratulations. And so, yeah, the triple moons are important. And then, I guess in the case of the the musical artists here, it's an easy way for them to teleport you from one area to the other. So, like, right there, right? It's like, hey, we gotta put you as the player into this section, you know? Um, so that's probably why. It's part of the reason why, I guess. So it's their easy way of teleporting you to somewhere else. And I know what the one is, secret is for here. Uh, what number are we on? I, I forget, actually. I have quite a few. I'm on my 
merry way to um, 404 for sure. I gotta make it way over there. Ah, oh, dang it. No! Yeah, so it's just so the game can teleport you from one section to the other. I probably should have had a moon counter, but whoops. Wow. Dive off the edge of glory, why don't I? Somewhere in like 130, I believe. For the moon counter. Uh, I need to go higher. No, just kidding. Right here. Yay! Did he? Huh? Interesting little tidbit there. Do you have a stream where you answer chat's questions about content creator? Uh, no, because I think most people don't care to talk shop. I care about talking shop. I like I like doing it, but I think for the most part, people are very interested in what I do, rather, uh, you know, like watching what I do rather than like learning about the thing. And I'd rather reserve that for like a podcast like I do with the Pro Gamers Guide podcast. And I'm actually talking shop with more and more tomorrow. So there's different outlets where I can talk about content creation, what it means to do what I do on a daily basis and the ups and downs and ways to approach it and whatever. But I feel like by and large here is not the best spot for it. So a lot of people are probably like, ah, we'll just play games. Been busy lurking. How many moons are you up to? I think like 130 or so. Yeah. yeah. If you have a question for me, uh, answer. I'll answer it. I, this game I've played to 100% completion like two, three times. So I, I know what to do. It's just a matter of taking a while to do it, you know? Brian, find the musicians. You got it, man. I'm working on it. Um, are you coming to Fan Expo 2023 in Boston? Probably for a day, but not, uh, not in general. Hi, Dino. Big old Dino. Rutter, rutter. Yeah. Pro gamer tip: You can follow the yellow lines here to get all the spicy secrets. And avoid the chops. There we go. Uh, but Fan Expo, I am not one of the people to go there every single day of the convention. I'll go there for a day, but you know. Do you need a capture card to record video of games on your Switch? Uh, if you have a camera on your phone, you can technically do it that way, like I've done it in the past, like when I was super young. But to get the high-quality version of the gameplay like I'm doing right now, yes, you do need an external capture card, which allows you to take your data from your Nintendo Switch and put it into uh, this. So, like, you basically, you know how you plug in a HDMI cord to your TV? Basically, this device intercepts that, so that way a signal can be sent to your TV, you know? And so doing it via the iPad, like uh, Jeff was just suggesting here, you know, that's definitely one way to do it. There's nothing wrong with that, especially as you're just starting out. Uh, if you feel like you're going to do this more often, then obviously investing in yourself by getting a higher quality recording device is going to be better for you. It costs a lot more money, so if you're willing to take the plunge, then please do so. I encourage you to do so, because obviously expressing yourself through videos and creativity is uh, important for you. It's important for the world, and whatever means you want to showcase your passions, you should be able to do it. You should have no qualms about showcasing who you are in whatever capacity you do. Should I do the festival now? I probably should. Right? Just for the sake of getting it over with. Oh, I gotta go underground. My bad. Fan Expo in Utah? Unfortunately, I probably won't. Hey, the full theme. 
Look at that. Yeah, I think you're going to have a lot less stress getting a actual capture card for the Nintendo Switch. And part of the Kickstarter stuff is I'm doing the Pro Gamer's Guide, a uh, Pro Gamer Crash Course, which is just my way of giving you the very, uh, very basics of recording and whatnot. What software to use, how to edit a little bit, chop stuff up a little bit here and there. It's not a full in-depth crazy thing, but it's definitely covering a little bit of everything, you know? You uh, want to start recording to get used to editing soon, but I don't have any software yet. So what I'm going to do in the Pro Gamer Crash Course is show you that actually the free option that you can use is the YouTube Studio. So you can upload like your, your totally unedited thing and edit, chop out stuff in YouTube. You obviously can't do like a crazy amount of things. But you can blur stuff out, you can chop stuff together, you can add some music in. Which, for the very basics, that's good to go. And if you focus on that, then you're in a good position. So I think I gotta do this twice, technically. Qualify for both, right? I gotta go for a faster thing. What OS do I use? Windows. I don't know what speed I need to get here. But I'm gonna go for it anyways. What's OBS? That is the open broadcast software. It allows you oh 23, nice. I guess I can only get one. Okay, never mind. Whoops. Open Broadcast Software is a, um, a piece of software that is free to download and use to your heart's content that you can record and live stream video or audio content with. So that's what I'm using right now. So Open Broadcast Software, OBS, is free to use. And it's free because a lot of people contribute to it out of the kindness of their hearts. Which is what open software is. So, you know, sometimes you pay for stuff and, you know, it supports the developers and stuff. OBS is an open source platform. So what happens is like a, a select group of developers or a bunch of people work together to make this piece of software what it is and other people combine their efforts to do additional little bits to the software. So like, let's say I wanted to make something, something crazy like a certain filter, right? I might not be able to do that with the normal version of OBS, but somebody will install what's called a plugin, kind of like Minecraft, to be able to do something a little bit different with the software. Yeah, I saw this over here. So, with everybody contributing their little bit to what this is, it ends up being a very powerful piece of software. When I was growing up and first started with all this stuff, there was not a free thing to use. It was you had to pay for it or know somebody that had an account or whatever. So this was nowhere near as easy to use as it was when I was younger, just starting out with doing all this stuff, you know? So, it's very cool that this sort of thing exists for all you that want to uh, do this. Either as a hobby or for a living or otherwise, you know? I'm gonna grab this one in here. Play the slots, technically. After the heart. After the heart. Ooh, okay. There we go. I think that would require me to have, like, um, a version of Mario Odyssey on my computer, and I don't want to do that. Like a hacked version, try to get people to control it that way. I'm not really trying to do that, you know? Woohoo! Woohoo! 
Actually, you know what? I should go to the very top. I will hydrate momentarily. I know there's one in the garbage over here. Nice! Uh-oh. Is it over here? No. Do, do, meow, meow. Noah, hello. Back from errands. Keep you tabbed, though. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Is that Mr. Toddy? Mr. Toad? Have I been to Utah? No. I have not been to Utah. And I don't know if I'll be there anytime soon. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 How you doing, Cap Captain Toad? Yarr. Yeah, Utah I haven't been to. The furthest west I've been, obviously, California. California is fun. I don't want to be there all the time. But I haven't been to the Midwest, technically. Except for Minnesota, actually. So I guess I have been to the Midwest. Because I'm on top of the world. Hey! I'm on top of the world. Hey! Waiting on this for a while now. Pay my dues to the dirt. Taking my views as a child. I'm on top of the world. Brian in Oregon? Yeah. You know, there was a time I was going to go to Oregon because uh, Mr. Boone Langston is getting a job at the Lego house. I'm sorry, not the Lego house. At Lego Bill in Denmark. And there was Bricks Cascade that was happening in like a couple weeks or whatever. And I knew I was going to have an opportunity to see him anytime soon. So I had an idea to make a surprise appearance at that convention. But if I were to keep it a surprise, I wouldn't have told anybody I'm going, obviously, and the cost of everything for being on my own was more than I could justify as a means to get there. Because as I've said in a lot of videos and a lot of things before, I like being able to do a bunch of stuff while I'm in one place. And so, um, I just didn't see a lot that I could do in that time. And I like to have like a like a game plan, you know? So it was not in the cards for that event specifically. But that doesn't mean there's no event in the future that could warrant it. I think what's most likely is PAX West in Seattle. But considering I didn't get a, a um, media badge for East, probably unlikely I'd get a badge for West anytime soon. Jafiel, I got it last year, not this year. I don't know. Whatever. I'll just keep doing whatever I gotta do, man. Meow it out. Nope, that's not what I wanted. What phone do I use? Google Pixel. And I like the Google Pixel a lot. Uh, where is the... Oh, the scooter is up there, right? Should be. So I gotta park it over there. <laughs> First time in the Northeast, you'll like it. Oh, there's just a way to get over there. Cool. I'm like, is there something I'm missing that I should be fully aware of here? But no. Yeah, I like my Google Pixel. I like the Google phone. I'm not in the Apple ecosystem at all, actually. So, you know, I don't tend to bother. Yoinky spoinky. There we go. Hit him with it. Uh, 
Uh, what is the best co I mean, I guess I gotta go underground, right? Not really much else I can do, I feel like, right here. And I'll say that doing videos is a lot easier than doing live streams if you're looking to do videos or live streams or anything. Videos are easier because there's less pressure on yourself to always be talking about something. I know far too many people that live stream that struggle hardcore to make uh, a live stream entertaining or engaging because they just don't know what to talk about. Whereas with a video, it's a lot easier to find uh, topics to go over and without the pressure of a live audience especially. So I would endorse that for anybody, especially just starting out. Don't bother live streaming, do videos. Start with videos, you know? It's a lot of people that put a lot of pressure on themselves. And I, I know full grown adults, and I'll obviously never name names. But full-grown adults that, like, make live streams and they just kind of sit there, they do nothing for hours, it's like, this is... This is a Goomba live stream. Big Goomba live stream! It's not entertaining, engaging, or informative. You put that pressure on yourself, it can be a lot, you know? Oh, too high? Sorry. And a lot more things can go wrong in a period of time, obviously. Like the music being too loud. And you're like, what? I didn't even realize that. I'm like, yep, it happens. It happens very frequently. Sewer treasure, nice. So you have a lot more ways to control what you do with a video as compared to a live stream, you know? So I'd recommend that. I didn't notice, but that's because I'm already over-processed today. Yep, that's okay. Sometimes it takes a different perspective, you know? That's why there's a Twitch overlay? Oh. I have such an engaging and bubbly personality. I don't feel like I'm bubbly, but thank you. I feel like I do a good job at what I do. Look at all these power moons I could have taken for myself, you know? But anyways. I want a computer before I start streaming, that's fair. I feel like my live streams, I'm engaging. You know who's really engaging and bubbly? Just Jess. Her her personality is like all the time. Which, if you're good with it, then you're good with it. And it's amazing. And I feel like that's what a lot of people look for. I don't have that. I'm a chase, hello. Moon count, uh north of 150, I think. We're getting close. Here we go. Off the rails. Jeff, you, you had to do the Andres redeem the second the best part of the game happens. You could say my cat is off to you. Oh, we could zoom all the way to the moon by this great wide wacky world. Jump with me, grab coins with me, and yeah, yeah. I don't think there's a second moon here, so I'm just going to go with it. Hey, I'm grateful you showed up. Thank you so much. We'll soar away. Yeah, we're north of uh, 150. Also, hi, Smoking Joe. You should start game collecting. You want to pay for my games? How about you buy some books first, Jafiel? Potty training a 2.5 year old? I don't know what that feels like, but. Thoughts and prayers to Amish Acer. 
It's a me, Bree, is gifting out a tier one sub to the NBA being rigged. Thank you very much, Bree, for the gifted sub. Hey, you have access to emotes and spiciness here on Twitch through my live streams, man. Thank you so much. I hope you play some uh, great games with your daughter and find some uh, some good stuff. Epic Otter is gifting out a tier one sub to Mystic Amethyst as I donkey the Kong. Get him out of here. Thank you, Epic Otter. The festival's there. Keep this as a gift. It's a triple moon, but ends uh, yeah. La be da be da be da be da 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 la ba la da da da. Yeah, traditional festival there. So I'm not leaving the um the Metro Kingdom yet, but I'm gonna actually get into here and I'm gonna change up the outfit because why not? Look at all those moons. So I have what. 128, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 30, 5, 36. So yeah, we're north of 150, close to 160. If anything, over 160. Oh, I can't do the Mario thing? Dang. I guess I have to move on. Love your creative characters and designs. Hope to see more merch in the near future. Well, tune in to the end of the live stream, maybe. Does anyone else know why Donkey Kong's called Donkey Kong? Google it. Ooh. So my goal, actually, could I get... Could I get all 404 before Bowser? I can't, I feel like I could. I feel like I could. We are left with a choice. Should we go snowy or should we go seaside? Please get a poll in the chat. Snow kingdom, seaside kingdom. You pick. Two, one minute poll, chat. I need a meow it out Cecilia shirt, just saying. Kevin, you hear that? Chop, 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 chop. One minute, Paul, ah, from the moderation staff, please. Not staff. Helpers. Free, uh, free Thank help. Thank you so much for all the fun, but now it's done. No, we're not done yet. Have to get 404 moons in Super Mario Odyssey. Also, got to give away 12 things. We are just... It's actually one sub away from another giveaway. So, one sub away from a baker's dozen of giveaways by the end of tonight's live stream. Where are my monies? I'm glad you're enjoying today's live show, NBA. Thank you. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight. Oh, I hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me... Ooh! It's getting close. Van gifted out a tier one sub to Sylvia in 1990 to 2022. Snow Kingdom wins by a smidge. We're going to the Snow Kingdom, and that means the gifted sub goal has been met. Van, thank you so much for gifting out a sub. That's another, that's actually, I'm sorry, 14 giveaways. I lied to you. That's 14 by later tonight. Wowee! And as I do around here, reset that. So every 10 subscriptions, there's a new giveaway. And then for every level of the hype train, there's another giveaway as well. I'm more so resetting it just so I can keep track. I like the even numbers, you know. Snow Kingdom by one vote. Yikes. You can get a maximum of 462 moons before the final boss. Interesting. I definitely want to end it at 404 if I can. 
you had to give yourself an estimate how long till 404, I definitely think it's going to speed up once I beat Bowser, because that's when a lot of the, the ones that are on the actual moon appear. So in every Kingdom Ace, there's a, a cosmic cube, basically, that has crash landed from the moon. And that unlocks a whole bunch more moons for people uh, when they appear and when they're unlocked. So that'll definitely expedite the process. So if I had to take a guess, uh, maybe 10 tonight, midnight, I don't know. Why do you have to pay to subscribe? So on YouTube, you don't pay to subscribe. It's just so you get the um, notifications in your feed, right? Here, Twitch calls subscribing like a paid subscription. So it's like you, um... In this case, it's like you're, um... You're getting access to the emotes, and some people have even more benefits when they do subscriptions. So for Brick and Nick, let's say, uh, the gentleman who won LEGO Masters Season 3, he has a situation where um, for every subscription he gets, he gives you a brick on this giant subscription heart he has. And so he adds to that over time. So the, the heart is huge. It's, it's a big, big old heart. Um, I don't have anything like that because subscribing is obviously very uh, generous of people and whatnot, but... Um, there are, uh, there are many ways to support what I do, so for some people, they only have Twitch. Some people, they have Twitch and merchandise, some people, whatever. It would mean the most to me if you purchased a copy of my book, either for you to enjoy or to donate to your local library. That, to me, is the one of the ultimate ways you can support my channel and what I do. So um, when you subscribe on Twitch... Amazon ends up taking half of the money, and then I obviously get taxed on it. So it is not the most impactful way to support me, but if people are choosing to do gifted subscriptions and stuff like Noah and Otter and Soccer Hallways have, I want to make it worthwhile for people that do and not have it go unacknowledged. So that's why I'm like, hey, for every 10 gifted subs, there's a giveaway, which tends to be uh, Bricks O'Brien sticker packs or other things I may find. So... If you do end up doing gift subscriptions, it's not for nothing. It's not unappreciated or anything like that, you know? Give me this! So yeah, the most meaningful thing would be to buy a copy of my book to either keep for yourself or to donate to a local uh, organization of your choice. Um, but obviously, you spend your money how you want to. I can't, I can't tell you to not do one thing or another thing, you know? That'd be uh, foolish of me to do or try to enforce on you. But I think it's proper to let you know the best way to support what I do. And that's one of them. On top of that, telling your uh, friends, family, whoever may be interested in what I do as a creator to, um, you know, watch what I do. Share it with people who might be interested. If you know somebody who has kids, and they like watching gameplay videos. I do uh, clean, family-friendly gameplay videos on the internet, on YouTube, on my own Roku channel, Kidoodle TV. All sorts of stuff. There's all sorts of ways to connect with me and what I do. Live streams are just one portion of it here. Uh, you know, if you go to... If you go... Well, I messed that link up, dang it. Uh, there. If you go there... If you go to, uh, ProGamersGuide.com, you can see different spreads from the book. That's the actual website, but I link the book listing itself because a lot of people want that resource here instead. Uh, it should be exclamation mark Patreon, Lindsay. If it's not, then I got to fix that. Rainy, hello. So there, yeah, there you can see some uh, pages from the book. You can see the characters, the descriptions, all that. It's, you know, it, it, it's almost like I'm prepared for this. Almost. I'm close. It's close.
Oh, it's like comic style written? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. But there's a, there is a comic, and there is also the children's book. The children's book is the main thing. So, admittedly, when I wrote Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits, it was with a different person illustrating it, and the story wasn't as clear as it would be if I were to redo it. I don't have no plans on redoing it, but Goofy's back. Um, so if I were to make more in the future, there would definitely be some things changed with, like, the text placement and stuff, but the characters do talk in it and whatnot, you know? So, so that's what, like, it's a children's book, but that comic-y kind of feel with the text bubbles also kind of makes it like, it's not a baby book, you know? It's a children's book, but it's not a baby book. Which I think is part of the appeal. Because if you have a, a kid, and they're like, Oh, well, this is for babies. I don't want this. I want to be a pro gamer. Like, the art style is appealing enough for a kid and for a children's book, but it's it's got a little bit of that extra flair to it, you know? Which is kind of like what I do here, right? This live stream isn't for babies or for kids. You can be an adult and enjoy what I do, you know? So so that vibe transcends my videos, live streams, podcasts, and now Pro Gamer's Guide, which is good. Also, Brian, New York Times bestseller. I wish, man. I wish. That'd be a nice uh, gem to add to the gauntlet. But I got to hit Twitch partner first. It's one of them. The comic flair is written with the book, or the comics are separate books. So the, so if you go to the um, ProGamersGuide.com, like the, if you and if someone types exclamation mark book, that cover, that is the children's book, and the web comic is just a comic. There's no actual physical book for that. So the cover, with with this here, the the mascots, those are for. Um, the children's book. So I guess part of I gotta clarify on the website is like, hey, this isn't the, the comic is not a physical book. Not as of right now. And I, I don't have a plan to do that necessarily. Not right now. Oh, snip. With all the games you play, you ever feel like you're in a game? What? I know what you're asking, Dan. Just give me a second. I'm trying to process reality. Yeah, that's what the Pro Gamer's Guide uh, weekly comic is. It's like a Penny Arcade sort of thing. Give me a second, Dan. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Nope. Just kidding. Dang it. With all the games you play, do you ever feel like you're in a game being controlled or being an NPC? I kind of get that vibe with Animal Crossing a little bit. I messed that one up royally. Royally, royally, royally. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Penny Arcade has actual things there. Oh, no. There is no table of contents for this book. It is just a children's book for this. So there's no table of contents, it's just... And I, I looked at that, I'm like, should there be a table of contents? Should there be something like that? But no, not for children's books. It's just one uh, succinct story about Brian going through his day trying to become a professional gamer, but falling short after hearing rumors of what pro gaming is meant to be on the internet. He heard some rumors about what it takes, but he doesn't have the concrete info. The Goombas and a stack. Yeah, I want to go back to the Metro Kingdom and try to get a different outfit, but I just clearly gapped out, you know?
How many pages in the book? 36. And the ISBN is... Actually, I don't know the ISBN off the top of my head. Kids are thinking we live in a simulation. I mean... Are they wrong? <laughs> no. Um... That's one of those situations where kids unfortunately got into a conversation with, um, you know, that was a, a clearly a thing that was meant for adult conversation and kids stumbled across it and were like, uh, uh, uh. You're the first YouTuber I watched and by far the best. Well, thank you. I try. I try so hard, I do get so far, and in the end, it definitely does matter. Uh, is this accurate? No, I gotta go over here. Is that it? Oh no, I got both. I don't need this. Reverse Lincoln Park. Yeah, it might be one of those situations, Bree, where kids talk about it, and then it's like, okay, it's not really a thing. I don't know. Do you know Zebra Gamer? Who wants to tell him? Who wants to tell him? Who wants to tell him? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zebra. Who? 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 And unfortunately, you can't get that moon on the top until you activate it by the portrait eventually. Uh, I need to get to... I forget, was it here? Oh, it is the alleyway, my bad. Sounds like Owl Gamer instead. Who? Zebra Gamer was the first person to say yes to being on my podcast, Pro Gamer's Guide. The Pro Gamer's Guide podcast. Guest number one. First person I asked and the first person to say yes. Which means a lot more than you might think, actually. Because a lot of times, I or other people feel like, hey, you know, this creator is too big, this creator doesn't care, this person, whatever, you know. Um, and that definitely resonates, but Zebra Gamer was the first person, like, yeah, of course. I care, maybe. No, on a serious note, though, Ace, it, it, it really does. I've gotten that feeling way more recently than, than ever, unfortunately. But it is the good people that uh, understand and believe and support. Not just for the sake of, uh, you know, for the sake of doing it, but I don't know. That's a thought. Yeah, part of the idea is to get people that are, um, not a part of my current circle. Or at least to, like, you know, get on the show. Um, and it's also, like, for gaming, you know? Not that you don't game frequently or anything like that, but, you know. Look at how good I am. Thought it was a full-time Destiny 2 pro? No, that's AZ Pinoy. Joe, you're getting it mixed up, man. I 
Uh oh. If, well, a library, I'd have to donate it, you know? I'd have to donate it to libraries, and I've done that already. So it is going to be distributed across a bunch of different outlets. Barnes & Noble, Amazon, across the world, which is cool. That's the, the distribution working really nicely. So that will happen. But libraries, I, I do want to get more copies in libraries. Unfortunately, I've been told multiple times the paperback version would not resonate as well because paperbacks get torn up easily. But right now, the only place to get it is on uh, bricksofbrian.com slash shop. Okay, so now that this is available, you started recording Sonic Frontiers yet? Nope. Not a chance. Pro Gamer's Guide to Booth at PAX East? No. That would cost a lot of money, and I wouldn't get a chance to enjoy the show to what little ability I could, you know? I don't know if there's anything under here. I'm sure there is. I'm just not thinking of it. Ah, uh, Lakitu, hello. Hey, man. Nope. Bob plays Sonic Generations. Uh, I'm, I was given Sonic Frontiers as a gift. So that'll be what I play uh, sooner rather than later. There we go. Oh, like public libraries? Yeah. So I would love to donate a copy to as many libraries as possible. It is a situation where I have to make enough money on it to justify doing so. And so that has to be higher on the list than I would like it to be. If I had a ability to just make a bunch of books and then donate them, obviously I would. But it's unfortunately not how it works at all. So there are 1,000 uh, paperback copies that will be produced, which is super cool. And then eventually, if they make it into libraries, fantastic. I actually had a situation where I donated a bunch of copies of the book to local charitable organizations after people bought them on the live stream here. And yeah, people like you obviously can donate uh, copies of the book to your local libraries as well. Let's see. There we go. There it is. Wowie zowie. Yeah, Beth did donate a bunch of copies to her a local school district. Very uh, grateful for that. Yeah, this stinks. Gotta go up here. Yeah, so she donated a bunch of those. Um, that obviously goes back into supporting me, which is really cool. Obviously, because I can keep the ship afloat. Although this is my full time of uh, doing this, it doesn't come without its adversities and means to support, so anything and everything is appreciated. A gifted copy is also a wonderful thing and also appreciated. Is this what it's like to live stream for a long time? Wow. Crazy, man. Imagine if I did this two or three times a week, I'd be exhausted, dude. I wouldn't be able to do anything else. How you feeling? I'm fine. My voice is a little, uh, hoarse, but, you know. Welcome to the party, pal. Yeah, but most of your live streams, Ace, are just shenanigans all the time, which is great. Bam. 
What's your current moon count? Uh, great question. It's at 150 something. And there has to be more added into the pot here. Circulation would make your book more successful. Libraries are make it pop. And I want both. I, I'm one of those guys, I want my cake and eat it too. I, I, it's a passion project for me, I believe in it. And I know it has everything it takes to be successful, it's just on me to do it. And part of, you know, me being me, I always have a bunch of things going on. And I need to make sure that I give things the proper time they need, you know? So, if it means I don't produce the plush, but then I make cooler things for, uh, you know, Pro Gamer's Guide, then that's fine by me. Because the big thing is that Pro Gamer's Guide, or the plush, I'm sorry, the plush, the Bob plush, does not necessarily do anything for people who don't know who I am. It does a lot of cool things for the people that do know who I am. Uh, let's see. Oh, right into here? Sure. Uh, last time I played Fortnite was for patrons. So if you want to join my Patreon, you can actually get a chance to play uh, Fortnite with me and a bunch of other people in real time. Whoops. How do I join? Exclamation mark Patreon. Patreon.com slash Brian Saviano. If you are at a particular tier or higher, as indicated by Patreon, get a chance to join me for those gaming sessions. Love the music. It is pretty cool. Hey, man. Getting here is a good job. You really are something. Hey, thanks, man. Meow, meow. And not only do you get uh, the exclusive gaming sessions with me, you get to get exclusive stickers uh, every other month or so. The next game I'm playing is Among Us with the Patreon posse over through the Discord server. It's Among Us, which is a game I cannot play on stream with all of you because I can't trust any of you to not cheat. So, it's good that I get to play it within Discord with all you. Among Us, Shlakungus, Rotundus, Bobungus, Subundus. Hot pockets. But Amigos is dead? The Amigos are dead? Y'all, the Amigos are dead? What? Huh? What? What? The Amigos? They're dead! Huh! Huh! Ah! 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 Rudy doo doo! I meant Amigos is dead! The Amigos are dead! Hot pockets. The amigos are dead! No! No! I killed them! No! Dang! Dang, bro! Dang! Come on now! No! Ho! Oh. Wait! Hey! Los amigos! Te carne asado con queso! Los amigos hermanos! Among Us, Cabungus, Big Chungus? Hey Noah, you like that uh, uh, Chungus Lee emote I added to Discord? You're welcome. He, he. So when you boost the Discord server, you get five emotes added in your honor from a theme that you request. 
And so, Noah gifted a Nitro subscription to Henry, right? And Henry's like, nah, you pick it. And so, and so Noah was like, hey, can you do Chun-Li? And so, I couldn't find any Chun-Li emotes for the life of me. But I found Chungus Lee. <laughs> so I had a Chungus Lee. <laughs> In your honor. In your honor. So Chungus Lee is the newest addition to the uh, Discord server. You're welcome, Noah. You're welcome. Yes, really. So if you boost the Discord server, you get five emotes from a theme that you choose. And Noah chose Chun Li. I found one Chun Li emote. I did Diddy Kong because I can't find any Chun Li emotes that are good. Because I want Goomba ones, right? I'm gonna do this instead. Um. So I added Diddy Kong ones, and then I added the Chungus Li. I'm sorry. Where? There it is. No, not Chum Lee from Pawn Stars. Chung Lee, Street Fighter. Oh, Chungus Lee is a Goomba emo, but that's what you get, man. That's what you deserve. So if you want to boost the Discord server, you don't pick the emotes. I pick the emotes. You pick the theme. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So if you feel, if you want to boost, and there actually is going to be another, <laughs> it's got to be a plushy character. Um, there's going to be another feature added for uh, Discord boosters. I'll probably add it tomorrow. By a popular request, there's been uh, demand for color rolls. So I'm going to add that in for Discord boosters exclusively. As another thank you for choosing to spend your money on supporting what we do. What we do, what I do. Will you help make happen? 188! Wowie zowie! Almost halfway there! Halfway there! Halfway there! Maybe this will take less than 12 hours. Maybe with, with, the, with the redeems. Well, I'm sorry, not with the redeems, with the, um, with the giveaways. She used to meet me on the seaside, see me when the sun don't set. And every day you know that we ride in the back seat in the blue cove. Maybe you know I just want to leave tonight. Uh, we, yeah, some people use the royal we when they talk about communities and stuff. I try not to, because you're just watching and supporting and engaging with the thing. I'm the one who makes it happen for all of you. That's what happens. But some people like to use the royal we. Look what we built today. Nick, no one built this but you. You know who helped me build this? Joe Mama. Smoking Joe is a great guy. On the sea sign. Joe, what are you up to today? Happy Saturday. Brian, stop it. Do volleyball? Don't tell me what to do. Brian, Brian is your daddy. daddy. Ooh, let's try. No! Brian, did I eat something? No. Happy birthday to who? You! Happy birthday to Joe Mama! Hey, happy birthday to Joe! <laughs> did you decide what you're eating? 
The sweet taste of success. Hard to come by nowadays. Huh! Oh! Blah! Blah! Plessy! What is the best way to go about doing this? Pop in a hot pocket now, you're getting your hangry, aka get a Snickers. Okay, Bree. Big mom, that's the BME, the big mom energy. Oh, buddy. I am getting kind of hungry, though. Wow. Um, what's the best course of action? Okay. Been here since 10 a.m. Us time? Nice. Well, thank you. Oh, there's no music because of the octopus. Dang. Just kidding, there is. Whoops. It's got a weird sound to it. Just microwaved yourself some nuggies. Nice. Some nuggets. Every time I've tried to heat up nuggets recently, whatever it is, man, the microwave that you have, or not the Hot Pocket one, but the other one, um, it just, they, they come out soggy. It's really, like, it's exceptionally bad. Like, super bad. I don't know why. Is it up here somewhere? Yeah, it's like right here. No, not right there. This is somewhere. Yeah, I know air fryer for the nuggets. I haven't gotten an air fryer yet. And I, uh, I was recommended to put it on my Amazon wish list, which I do have. I have an Amazon wish list. If anyone wants to support in that way too, but of more importance is a Keurig coffee maker. By comparison of an air fryer, which you know they're about eh, about the same price, kind of, sorta. Dun 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 dun. Boom boom. Love your Keurig. Yeah, the Keurig is a nice. It's a nice thing to have, you know. Makes making coffee easier, which obviously fuels me up. I mean, food does as well, but you know. Blue. I should get food. Yeah, that'd be pretty crazy, NBA. Oh. Uh, I'll probably stop at like six. So another 50 minutes or so. I don't know if I should order food, but you know. There we go. I don't know if that's why you got timed out, but unfortunately, yep. Rail system got finished, took you three hours. Nice. GG's. We know what happens. Pop that cork. Oh, I forgot about that. King Boo, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, the moms are already here in full force, Beth. They already are. Get over here, you Goomba pirates. Any other takers? Right over here. Boop. Nice. Goomba pirates, that's what they are. Yeah, I disabled the mod command for now. I gotta re-add that back in. Hey, y'all. Brenda's back. Guess who's back, 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 back again. 
There she goes. Just like the rest of them. Just joining in, did I hear Brian needs dinner? I do need dinner. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, chat voted on me getting something out, but I don't know what that means. And I preferably don't want to DoorDash or whatever. Brain, can I be a mod, please? No. Pop in a hot pocket. I could just do that to subside the hunger. What shall we get for Brian? I mean, I can get whatever. I don't know. Brian is not in need of any new mods. Thank you for the inquiry. Yep. <laughs> Touching grass is boring. All right, one more. Music's got me feeling so free. I'm going to celebrate, celebrate the feeling for me. Ice cream? Yo, I had ice cream yesterday. It was delicious. Ooh, that was close. I need... Oh, yeah, I need uh, this thing over here. Bring. Nice. Just to make my response to new mod command, there you go. Twitch mod solidarity is here, cyber holding it down. Q stream Fall Guys after this? <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> That's a yes. 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 24 hour stream inbound, everybody! Inbound! We out here for 24 hours! Get over here, Baldo. Big Baldy. Big old Baldy. Huh? Chat's crazy. Dude, chat's crazy every single time. You can't miss a single second of this live stream experience, man. Chat is always out here. And you know what the best thing is? This ch like there's a lot of these goombas that say, "Oh, my chat's always hurt." Yeah, but this is family friendly. So chat is always like this, but we're also keeping it clean. So it's big bozo energy without all the swearing, which is kind of remarkable. Hot pockets. I'm hung it. Get over here. Oh. Rain, 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 rain. Oh. Rain. Good job. Come on, you Goomba. Go get a perm. No. No! Yeah, this this one's a uh, toughy. Big old toughy. Oh, I gotta restart it too. This is when I cut ahead. You spent big bucks on a custom pillow. Hope it helps. I mean, it could. Really? More annoying than anything than tough.
Uh, yeah, we can do a poll on what I should have for dinner. Y'all can pick. I'll I'll let I'll let fate decide. Sure. Y'all can pick. I'm too busy focusing on the boss battle. Play the new Fortnite season? You play the new Fortnite season. Everybody in the chat, feel free to suggest things in the chat for what I could possibly eat for dinner tonight. Really? Y'all gonna vote uh, pizza and I'm okay with that. Oh my goodness. There we go, jeez. Pizza with extra garlic, yo. Yo. Oh man. The triple moon. I don't necessarily want pizza, but if y'all vote pizza, then that's part of the equation. Before I do this. Oh, I can't do that one. Wow, they make you do this first. Ravioli, mac and cheese. Ooh, I could get a nice Italian dinner. What do you want? I want financial stability. If I wasn't making shepherd's pie, I'd be grabbing pizza tonight. Nice. We're having mac and cheese and chi f f chicken fries tonight. Oh! Quesadilla? Or some other Mexican dish? That's on the table as well. Yeah. What a pretty sunset. I could get mom's spaghetti. That's true. Now Seaside Kingdom is essentially unlocked. I got a little more wiggle room here. Gonna get Chinese tonight? Cool. Very cool. Back to Fossil Falls we go for- or, I'm sorry, Wooded Kingdom for a second. Doom, doom, Buffalo Chicken Calzone, Beth says. Oh my goodness. I uh, She's trying to push me into cardiac arrest. There she is. Let it do. Right there. Oh yeah. We've come so far, hang on so far. Thank you all for bearing with me as I play through Mario Odyssey. Enjoying all the tomfoolery, the shenanigans, the everything else. I've kept this cowboy outfit the entire time, man. I gotta spice this up occasionally, man. I need to get some uh, new stuff. Here in the Seaside Kingdom. I'm here getting 404 moons in Super Mario Odyssey over the course of however long it takes me. Pretty sure I'm at 200 right now. Which, yeah, once I get the... The Bowser stuff, um... Taken care of, a lot of things open up, which is great. Just do this. Oh, I can't do that. Spicy. You gonna fall? No, you're not. Dun, 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 dun. 
It's time to jump. I forget what time when I was doing the Bob Bonanza, what time I uh, stopped for a break of some kind. I forget. Go under here. Shrimp. There it is. The hidden room. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. Anybody else have a spicy itinerary of things doing tonight? Or are you just literally just hanging out with me throughout the night? Which, don't get me wrong, I'm here for. Stopped a few times, essentially, since you had the pod- Yes, I forgot! I had the podcast as that thing to, like, uh... Tied me over a little bit. That was a fairly smart idea on my part to do that. Gotta catch up on missing assignments, so that's pretty cool. Productivity is sweet. Can I take a picture of you and Abdallah? I mean, if you are there on Friday when we have our panel, but I don't believe we're doing a joint meetup or anything. You're gonna see that again next weekend? Nice. Okay. Now, where's the secret moon? The rainbow. Oh, it's right here. Wowie zowie. Look at that. I will be there. Cool. Yeah, after the panel. Uh, assuming that Abdallah doesn't have any plans, which he might. I know I'm probably going to hang out with friends, obviously, Friday night after the panel. But directly after it, yeah, I'll be, I'll be around for pictures and questions and whatever, as any good entertainer would be any good panelist would be. Man of the people. Trying to, I don't know, you know? Meow meow. Playing some games and watching. Nice. Yeah, that's basically what I wanted for today's stream, you know? A lot of the time I feel like it's very, um, you know, hey, like, watch me as I do this or whatever, but it's like a hangout sort of thing all day. You know, more casual for sure. Who do you consider family-friendly content creators? Zebra Gamer, Abdallah, Kendra Sight, Bonzinator. Well, she's not on YouTube. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna go with. He's over here. There's a lot of people that I've asked uh, to be on the podcast. Uh, Zach Scott. I haven't asked him, but he's another uh, family-friendly person. Poppy, hi. Actually, I'm not going to do that one. Takes a little too long. Nick A30, yes, he's on Twitch, though. Well, he's on YouTube as well. Cypher PK is not, correct? I don't believe he is. He trends close to it, but not 100%. I'm only going to get the, uh, the first one, though. I'm not going to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Preston plays, yes. There's a lot of people who are family friendly. I mean, Dude Perfect is technically family friendly, but some people would be like, ah, oh, that's not quite what I'm looking for. Oh, you know, whatever, it's fine. Um, hmm, I should probably go for the rocket. I'm not going to waste my time on the uh, the volleyball one quite yet. Preston Place is too popular. Yeah. I mean, anybody is on the table to be on the show, you know, for the podcast at least. And I'm able to collaborate with whoever. I think I am way more, I think I'd say I'm more put together than most people. Given creators my size, you know, I try not to be a Goomba in a cake. Um, but my professionalism, I think, takes me a little bit further than most would assume. You know. I forget where this one is. It's 
obviously somewhere around here. Oh, it's way over here. Milana's another one. She's family friendly, does a lot of Splatoon related stuff. That's cool. Very cool. Have to check out their work. What do you mean when you say Goomba in a cake? So, I was critiqued for being uh, very down on myself by when having uh, brain farts or moments where I should have known better, calling myself a dummy or an idiot. And that's not very uh, kind to myself, right? So there's a more articulate way slash nicer way to be like, hey, you know, I did something that was not something I should have done. And my behavior was that of uh, not what I wanted it to be. So Goomba in a cake means like I'm being a Goomba in a cake. That phrase means like, you know, I messed up or I'm being not what I wanted to be. And go back to the moon or Metro Kingdom and get that. And also the act of being a Goomba in a cake is to uh, not be socially aware of a situation that's unfolding in your presence. So like, let's say, you know, uh, what's a good, what's a good example? Hmm. A good example of being a Goomba in the cake is like, you are at your little brother's birthday, right? And you attempt to blow out the candles before he can? That's being a Goomba in a cake because you're taking the spotlight away from somebody else in a moment where it doesn't belong to you and you're drawing attention to yourself when it should be on to other people or other situations. That's basically what a Goomba in a cake is. So it's like you're trying to insert yourself into a place or situation where it shouldn't be. Like you're interrupting people when they talk you're not presenting yourself with kindness, courtesy, and respect. Right, yeah, yeah. What is a goom in a cake move? Yeah, like like um, blowing out the candles. You're not supposed to. Um, like taking all of the, the turkey at Thanksgiving on the plate. Like you take all the white meat turkey. It's a lot of little things like that that equate to Goomba-like behavior, you know? Yeah, and literally in the comic, when the Goomba literally popped out of the cake, the Goomba popped out because it was trying to surprise Brian for his birthday, but that's not what it actually meant. What it actually meant was, yeah, you're trying to ruin this moment for Brian on his birthday by trying to do something you think is funny. And it's not funny. It's just you inserting yourself into a situation where you didn't need to be, you know? So that's essentially what it means. A bit more, you know. Bull in a china shop? Ah, uh, kinda sorta. A bull in a china shop doesn't necessarily know any better. A guma in a cake is more, I guess, malicious? And there's a difference between having poor social skills maliciously and just not you know, I'm talking about the people that, like, are intentionally like that. that. That's where I have the problem with it, you know? I think the birthday cake example is one of the better examples. Hello! Also, Bull in a China Shop proven false by Mythbusters. There you go. No, it's not like Lemo. Dang it. No. Whoops. It's going too fast. Uh, bubble lane. There we go. What are you gonna eat for dinner? I don't know. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, Nestle Toll House Cookie from Richardson's Ice Cream. That's a pretty solid flavor. Yeah, it depicts an image. Right, right, right. I feel like the moons are going kind of slow right now, but that's kind of... Okay. 
Bubble lane is a little bit of a drag, no? I feel like it is. I feel like it's going a little bit here, you know? Bye for now. Yup. Hydrate? Yeah, I gotta do that. I'm gonna take a facilities break in a moment here. Uh, under here is definitely one. Nope. There we go. Over in Oregon, we have the Tillamook Dairy Factory. You know, I got their ice cream, and it's very filling, but it's very good. And I, I, yeah, they're definitely Pacific Northwest. I knew they were not local to me. They're fairly uh, newish around here. So that's cool. You just finished two bottles of water. Nice. You know what? You know what's I've heard from a lot of people? There's a lot of people out there that don't like the taste of water. You know how Radonka Congulus that is? Of a concept? Like they don't like water? Like how do you not like water? You know? Yo, go get some ice cream. Treat yourself! Treat yourself! You deserve it. Probably. Water's nom nom. Water is fantastic, man. Uh, Pirate O'Brien? Yeah, we're doing this. You don't like it? You gotta like water. You have to. You have to, man. Hey, look at a pirate. Look at the pirate! Toppity, tippity, toppity, tippity, toppity! He'd hate water and never drank it. Well, he's definitely had water before, because if he didn't, he'd be dead. And that's not what happens. He'd be dead! Nope. You don't want that. You have to stay hydrated. Whether it's soda or whether it's whatever, man. Gotta stay hydrated. It tastes like pennies? Oh, your water is... Something's in the water. Yo, if your water tastes like pennies... That's bad. You gotta get that checked out. You gotta get that checked out. That's bad. That's a- yeah, that's a problem! That's a serious problem! <laughs> that's- That's a, that's a big problem! Whoa! That, that's concerning. Call someone. Call someone. Call your state representative. Yikes. Back from visiting a college. Ooh, spicy. How'd it go? How'd it go? Did you like it? Was it sciencey? Not really. Oh, no! Dang. Well, there's plenty of them out there. Plenty of colleges will take your money, no problem. Don't worry about it. That's just one of a thousand. Is there any more obvious one? Well, I can get the volleyball one, but I kind of don't feel like doing that. Probably should, though. This one, unfortunately, takes forever. You know, Joe, I would take just, like, going to Super Nintendo World. I would take going to there. Fly me out there. 
I'll tell you what every morsel of every food item tastes like. I'll do a good job. I'll be a good brand ambassador. Do that for Hot Pockets. I'll do that for Super Nintendo World. Hey, that's all I'm getting. I'm not getting the 100. Forget about it. They got tiramisu. Looks uh, Yeah, it looks really yummy. They serve Hot Pockets at Super Nintendo World? I don't think they do, man. What a crossover that'd be, though. A mighty fine crossover, indeed. That'd be hype. Why not 100? I don't feel like doing it. Listen, Anthony's disappointed me every day that I have that butt emote, okay? Anthony's gonna be disappointed no matter what I do. Use a water monster to grow the plant? You're so correct, I forgot! You're so pro gamer, wow. How did I forget? I totally forgot. Yeah, I don't know what these things are called, but... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Sure you're disappointed in way before that emote? Yeah, definitely. That was just a, a tipping point for one of the things. Boop. Nice. I just don't feel like putting in the effort for the Hunter one, and I also have to switch into two-player. That one's really easy in two-player mode. So yeah, not, uh, not here. Well, yeah, you're totally right. I forgot that was even a thing. My kid told me to say that. Yeah, you're totally right. How's the gaming doing today? Uh, voice is a little hoarse. I gotta, um... You know, hydrate a little more, but you know, it's fine. Dang it. Do you suffer from Joy Con drift? I do not, thankfully. I use a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, by the way. Nintendo Switch Pro Controller that I eventually want to, uh, make a thing out of. Hey, look at that! Dang it. Well, you're totally right. Show us the fancy controller. I have the Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch Pro Controller as of right now. Eventually, I'm going to make a Bricks O'Brien one for the five-year anniversary. Which will be pretty cool. That'll be something Kevin will likely design. And be the first, um... Controller I think he's ever designed, which is kind of cool. Are you serious? Come on! I will likely not play Bloons Tower Defense. There we go. Okay, so what, 26 moons? That's not bad for a Seaside Kingdom first run. It doesn't help that Seaside Kingdom is very far apart in a lot of ways, unfortunately. Let's get a moon count, everybody. Easily passing over 200, so over halfway there. So I got halfway there in less than six hours because I spent the first part of the stream unboxing the plush, remember? 213, give it up for 213, everybody. Give it up for 213. 213. Wowee.
The luncheon king. Oh, uh, you know, luckily I just ate before I went to this kingdom. I do feel a little better. I don't, I don't want to have anything too heavy, you know? If I have something too heavy, then I feel a little bleh, you know? Just something light to keep me moving and grooving, you know? They're all here, the Brutals! This is probably my favorite, uh, favorite theme of any of the kingdoms. Yeah, probably my favorite. Here we go! Did I need the fourth one? I probably did. Oh, go! Go, 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 go! Make eye contact! Make eye contact with the girl! No! No, I need to make more eye contact with her. Dang. The last girl. I'm not finishing that sentence. <laughs> I'm not finishing that sentence. I'm not finishing that one. Oh, we're not that far in the stream yet. I'm not finishing that one. <laughs> I'm not finishing that one. <laughs> nope. No. Dang it. Brian, Brian. We're Brian, not there Brian, yet. Right. Hour 12. Never mind, kids. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. Good job. You're uh, very welcome, NBA. Glad you enjoy. My God. You don't even know what I was going to say. You don't even know what I was going to say. You have no clue what I was going to say. It wasn't anything naughty. Wasn't anything oh, naughty. Just got back to stream of web hello. Lindsay, it wasn't. Ooh, the blue moons. So in case you're just joining me for whatever reason, I'm getting 404 moons in Super Mario Odyssey. Because during the month of September, I got 404 moons from your generosity through the live show experience. And I'm making good on that right here, right now, tonight. Also, just enjoying playing the game itself. First time in years I've played the game, so I'm happy to play a bit more of it here today. I plan on getting 404 moons by at least midnight at this time tonight. So yeah, that's why I had uh, all those moons on the docket. And we're making uh, pretty solid progress here, Mario, Cappy, and I, man. We're doing pretty good. Pretty snazzy. Officially over the moon indeed, yes. For sure. Brian, I want a misshapen plushie. They are currently not for sale, Alicia. They're not for sale. Katina! Gifted out a tier one sub, helping for pay for dinner tomorrow. With a gifted subscription, that's going to Jax, that's her son. Thank you very much for gifting out a sub to your son. Tell Jax I said hi. The J well... Anyways. What's the game you most likely never play? Roblox. Definitely Roblox. So there are two misshapen plushies. Uh, poetic side, I don't have the drops on this screen, unfortunately. So the misshapen plushies, there's two of them, right? The last plush I did, hey, top gifter for the live stream on my birthday stream, got the uh, prototype plush. So these plushies are also never going to exist. And I don't feel like doing something like that for this situation. I really don't. Um, I have an idea, but not anytime soon. So there's probably going to actually, rather soon, there's going to be a point where I'm going to have to not get as many moons because I want to end at 404. I want to end right at 404, man. We're gonna take a second. What'd you say the saddest ending to a game is? I don't know. Can't think of one off the top of my head. Does that idea have anything to do with July? Perhaps, Lindsay? Perhaps? My mission is to make my five-year anniversary stream the spiciest one-time event I have ever had. 
And there's already plenty of things that are gearing up for it, for sure. Have you ever played Cuphead? Yeah. Why don't you make a Bricks O'Brien Lego set? Well, I made a build a bob building kit, which is like a larger brick built Brian. So that already existed, and I don't currently carry it because it is a massive pain in the tuchus to put that into a kit form. And it also costs a rather big boatload of money to have a bunch of them at a time, right? So I order like a hundred of them at a time, put all the kits together, and then take it from there. Do you think they'll ever do a five-year, or sorry, ten-year anniversary stream? Listen, if if I haven't, I better be. Let's focus on five years. <laughs> How about that? Let's focus on a five-year. Let's not pay any mind to a ten-year anniversary. Let's focus on a, you know, one thing at a time here. You know. It was between a minifigure and a brickhead. Yes. Yeah, it was definitely uh, really cool, and I'm glad that I did it, but man, it takes a lot of time, energy, and effort to do stuff like that. Heart, and then, uh, there we go. Nice. Now the moons are gonna start popping. Start popping like popcorn. Kingdom Hearts, 355 last two days, yeah. Maybe I should get the chef outfit for the mama sauce. Is that what I should go for? Mama sauce. Hey. Technically, you're on like 15. Five on Twitch. Yeah, technically. We're not counting that, though. Five years is Bricks O'Brien. That's what I count. What's actually going to happen sooner, provided, you know, things go well. A five-year anniversary for Pro Gamer's Guide is going to happen before a, a, a Bricks O'Brien 10-year anniversary. Now, that's exciting. That's exciting to me. I am H-O. In my honest opinion. Dun, 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 dun. What's your best... What's the best ending to a game in your opinion overall? That's a good question. Uh, I think there's a moon over here somewhere that I'm leaving out. Nope. Just kidding. Is there anything up here? No. Oh, there's one on the pillar. Oh, there is. Bam. Look at that. I was correct. Best ending to a game overall. I really enjoyed God of War. That's kind of a fair weather answer, I feel like, but it's true. This actually might be a special moon. That I'm thinking of it. It might be one of the ones on the title, like with the, the hints, I should say. Just kidding, it's right over there. Nope, dang it. How about this instead? There we go. There we go. Do you think the ending or just the ending of Ragnarok? Um, I like the ending of the first game better. The ending of this game of Ragnarok felt very uneventful by comparison. For reasons we're not going to discuss here. Because spoilers and also not family friendly. Lindsay. And yes, because uh, Jeremy's playing it. So I like the conclusion of the first game better. Reasons! Those infamous reasons, Amanda! Those infamous reasons! Reasons! There's two endings? I didn't know there were two. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I didn't. Oh! Uh, I missed something. How do you get the other one? I don't know. Yeah, Lindsay just messaged me. Ooh, over here. Let's go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, 
Uh, I know Amish Ace completed it, and he did it on camera, which is kind of spicy. Let's see if I can pull off an evasive maneuver here, shall we? Sonic Unleashed had a spicy ending. Wow. No, Shadow the Don't talk to me about Shadow the Colossus. Oh, you just you just riled up a storm in me, Noah. Top five most overrated video games of all time. Shadow of the Colossus, massively overrated. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare say anything positive about Shadow of the Colossus. Don't do it. Don't do it. The first four Titans? Cool. Cool. The rest of them? Garbo. Garbo. Game, mechanics, the story, everything. Awful. No, it's bad. It's bad. That horse... No. That horse is an awful mechanic. Okay? No. It's bad. It's bad. You can't tell me otherwise, it's bad. I gotta get a boomerang bro over here. I was so... Everyone... told me that game was like, oh, this is like the next coming of whatever, right? Oh, this is the best game you're ever gonna play, it's so impactful, whatever. In your opinion? Listen, no. No opinions. Objectively. Bad game. Is Sha Shadow of the Colossus, no, it is not a Sonic game. Shadow of the Colossus is a game where you play as a kid who has to heal his sister from some sickness that's like, like an evil whatever. The curse! It's, it's the dark and curse! One of those, right? You have to defeat these Colossus in order to free your sister of this curse, I think. I, that's how I remember it. And, um... The, the moral of the story is that you are actually the bad person for destroying all the beasts in the game. And you... have to, like, defeat all these creatures to do this, right? But it's one of those games like a Kingdom Hearts where it's like, oh, this is gonna be this really deep emotional story and it's gonna be a... oh my goodness, you know... We're really showing the symbolism here in the, in the whatever. And, like, I'm down for that. But the mechanics, even in the remaster from Bluepoint, the way it controls, watch a playthrough. Watch a playthrough. It is not all it's cracked up to be. I, I thoroughly did not enjoy it. And I was so aggravated by the end of it. Um... I wouldn't say the story isn't obvious. I mean, the story's fairly obvious. It just isn't great. Oh, that isn't where I go. What's your moon count? Uh, I'm over halfway there. Two... Twenty-six, I think, Tuna? Two twenty-six? So I'll definitely get done by midnight, for sure. Because the first half hour of the stream, I was talking about the plush, so... Yeah, I was gonna say 223, 226, something like that. I wanna make sure I get all the, um, the purple coins here if I can. Oh boy, have a good lurk. Talk to you soon. Those Titan things are creepy on the game over screen. Yes, that's a point. Like, like, those kind of games, I'm not a fan of. It's been a while since I, I played it when the remaster came out. I think I bought it, and then I gave it to my friend, because I'm like, yeah. Oh, definitely don't need to do that, Noah. No, you're good. I don't need to, I don't need to play that. It, I'm all set. Thank you, man. Lurking means that you are in the background and not actively part of the chat, but still here. What I do not talking? Yeah, Harley just shows up. Watches almost every single thing that I do, doesn't say much at all, and never causes a problem. He's like the ultimate, like, supporter of anything ever. Like, hey Brian, you know, I'll support your Kickstarter, I'll buy some merch. 
don't expect me to talk. So, all right, you got it. You got it. No, no complaints. Am I gonna burn myself here? Yeah, I am. You give me like 20 more Harleys and I got Twitch partner in the bag, no problem. I just need Harley, can you can you multiply yourself 20 fold? Can you just do that? And make you know, not alternate accounts, because we're not cheesing this, but like can you can you just multiply yourself by 20? I would, I would, that, that'd be the bet, that'd be the bee's knees, man. He can't, unfortunately. Don't speak on behalf of Harley. Harley is his own person. Maybe Harley can multiply. You don't know that. You don't know how he lives his life, you know? Just enter the multiverse. Yeah, give me a couple Kangs. Give me a couple Kangs, man. That movie, I was very, ah. I was very, ah, on in general. Whoops. Actually, I gotta go over here and do this. This is a cool mechanic that you can just toss yourself into there. That's spicy. Yeah, that's part of the alien special abilities. Nice. See? Harley can multiply himself 20-fold. I thought I was gonna make it. Never mind. The second credit scene? I forget what it was. Ah, dang it. Give me Twitch partners times 7,000. Yes, I'm on the Waddle to partner. Which means by having 75 of you all watching what I do on any given live stream, on every given live stream, I can secure a Twitch partnership, which means I can have more incredible opportunities to do what I do, to put myself out there, on the greater twitch averse more than I already am, and, um, get to do a whole bunch more. So, if you enjoy my live streams, make sure you tune in multiple times a week over here on Twitch, and... Says 74 currently. Well, it's always in flux, obviously. Trying my best, you know? But obviously, this is a very long live stream that I'm currently recording this on. So, you know. Uh, that's not helpful. Okay. Gonna get the salt out of here. Yeah, it fluxes between 77, 75. You know, it always updates. I'm not too concerned about it. Take out chicken salad, nice. I'm the biggest bird. Something on the handles, I think. No, maybe not yet. There we go. Return from the urgent care. How's it been going? It's going good. Hopefully you're doing good. Have a good night, NBA. Thank you so much for being here. Catch up next time for sure. Much appreciated spending your time with me this afternoon or evening now. What? 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 Bam!
That's one way to solve the problem. Bro thinks he's the biggest bird, yup. It's for Rosalie again. Well, I hope things are as best as they possibly can be. Uh, what can I do here? What can I pull off here? Anything? Beyond Good and Evil is a game that you want to, uh, go with. It's one of those games that should have come out a long time ago. The sequel to it, actually. Thank you for following. <laughs> Brian, are you going to play Sonic Forces? Probably not. I'm sooner going to play uh, Sonic... A Sonic game that was gifted to me by Becky, actually. That's when I plan on playing uh, Sonic Frontiers. Definitely not Sonic Forces, though. Yeah, that's an urban legend of gaming sequels along with uh, the new Banjo game. That does not exist. A whole bunch of other things as well. It's definitely on there. Alrighty. I just want to make sure I have enough for the chef outfit. That's what I'm looking for right here. There we go. There it is. Uh-huh. You hyped for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom? I'll be excited when it's the night before and I'm getting ready to start my video series on it. With those sort of things, there's enough going on in between all those times that I can focus on those things in the meantime and distract myself, but yeah, if I stay excited for it, it's gonna take forever to actually pass that time and get to here, so I'm gonna pace myself, you know? There's a moon behind you? Oh, I know. I am fully aware. Right over here. Bam. Well, when I hit the jump properly, I should say. Cool. That's no moon. One of the reasons you're playing Breath of the Wild again, because reasons, exactly. I 100% believe there's going to be a new Mario game in time for Christmas. I, I believe it. Almost certainly. Almost certainly so. This one's kind of a bizarre one. You do this. And then control the piranha plant this way. It's very bizarre. Never uh, figure that out. Because if you just use the piranha plant with the hat, you can't, you can't use it, you know? Jax was yelling at the TV. Well, I got it, sir. I got it. I fully believe so, because there's no way that you release a Mario movie and not commit the manpower to maintain, maintaining the, the energy over those months, you know? Maintain that energy to get a Zelda, I'm sorry, a uh, Mario game out. Basically replicate what you did in 2017 in a way where you have a, um, you know, a Zelda and a Mario releasing the same year. It might seem like it's impossible, but I don't think it is. It's been five, six years since Mario Odyssey. I mean, this game obviously holds up incredibly well. There's a lot they could um, work with for a sequel to this or just a, you know, a new game in general. Uh, Mario movie comes out in April. So what I should do first is I should go to the top here. I think there's a checkpoint I can use. There we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for right here. All right. So there's some things I can uh, swap up on. Definitely want to snag the Captain Toad while I can over here. 
It is very soon, yes. Oh, that was very slick, and I'm very lucky I made it there. Very slick there. Hi, Captain Todd. Loot doo 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 doo. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. So yes, excited for the Mario movie. Excited for this uh, forthcoming Mario game. I'm convinced is real. Hopefully, all that happens uh, sooner rather than later. As I feel. Nope. Oh, I very luckily made that. Wow, that was exceptionally lucky. There we go. I feel like they're making a mistake by not getting the Mario movie out March 10th. Well, that only really matters for the diehard Mario fans. It'd be a cool thing to say happened, like, oh, it released on March 10th, but it doesn't impact movie sales and also April vacation. So in the grand scheme of everything, it's probably better they release it in April. They need that spring break sales. Ticket sales, man. Well, we have April vacation over here, at least. Spring break is in April. Uh, in Massachusetts, yeah. We have April vacation. The more I've done this, the more I've realized there's, like, way too many differences between, like, people and when they have vacations and stuff. Because, like, for a lot of people that watch me... They're like, oh yeah, our summer vacation started May 10th. Which, that does not happen here. Our starts in, like, June. Late June, actually. Mason, have a good night. In Florida, spring break is in March. Yeah, probably because it's a little cooler, which makes sense. Brian, gonna get the biggest bird, 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 get the biggest bird. Come here, you big chicken. Big floppy flying chicken. With your outfit. Come on. Oh, we're jumping now. Oh, not quite. This is kind of a spicy way to go about doing this. Yep. There, that was close. Wow. Very close. But I forgot that was a, a part of the mechanic. Really nice. Cool, cool, cool. We're late, but Silas remembered you were live today. Hello. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Silas. That's okay. I am still on my quest. Over halfway there. What's the moon count? We're going to find out right now. This is the last grand moon of the area. So my goal is to end at 404 directly. So I might need to not get extras here and move on. I think it's getting close. Definitely way over halfway, which is great. All right, let's see. 250, I think. Which, yeah, in the grand scheme of things, going along very nicely. So it's Bowser, then Moon. See, so yeah, uh, it must be Massachusetts. Ma uh, New England, I'm sorry, has all the, the breaks at weird times. Okay, so obviously we're not going to Bowser's Kingdom quite yet. Big reveal at the 404th moon. Yes, indeed. As soon as I conclude... The 404 moons, and then we have uh, 14 giveaways to do. 14. So for every time uh, 10 subscribers occurs, we're currently at 1 out of 10. Um, another giveaway happens in every level of a hype train. Another giveaway happens. Ruin Kingdom is here. Oh, uh, this is definitely not going to take forever. This is going uh, pretty smoothly so far. All things considered. Must collect more power moons. Obviously, the, he, Cappy's like, hey, the dragon. But there's another one. Right here. Bam. And obviously, this is going to take uh, quite a long time. In the grand scheme of life, though, not really.
Because as I complete the game and get past Bowser, there's going to be less of these cutscenes and stuff, you know? Big Dragon! You do an impression of a Goomba? You do an impression of a Goomba. Look at that big dragon! I know, I was quite surprised at the realistic looking dragon. Oh, okay. So random, so cool, yeah. This is Purple Smog, by the way. I don't think he actually has a name, this guy. It is pretty random. I was very surprised upon playing the game for myself when it first came out. And if they ever do, obviously they're gonna do a new 3D Mario game, but um, I will not play it first myself and then new videos. I would play for the first time on camera. Is Bowser's reaction at the end different depending on your outfit? No. Ah, uh, yeah, actually a little bit. He'll compliment... He will discuss your outfit for a second. Uh, uh, depending. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. There we go. So he'll say something different depending on, yeah, what you're wearing. But it's not necessarily, you know... Crazily different. There we go. Done, done, done. What's the moon count? How to leave for dinner? Two. I forget, 250 something. It's going to be four more in a second. Once I get this grand moon. 241? It's going to be 240. Y'all just saying numbers. The Lord of Lightning is who he is. Interesting. 269, 311, 445. I actually got 567 moons already. Do -do -do. Get him out of here. We out. Um, actually, um, actually, Mr. O'Brien, it's technically 674 moons. <laughs> 1513 moons. Whoa. Whoa! Odyssey! Odyssey, Odyssey. Again, thank you for joining me this evening, throughout the day. You could have done anything today. How many moons are there? 880 unique moons in the game. You can get as many as you want to by ordering them in the shops. Pay 100 coins per moon. 245 is the number, by the way. So we are definitely on track to finish under 404 for the finale. Easily, which is great. No, you can max out the counter at 999, but there are 880 unique moons. Uh, 1513 was probably the coins, Amanda. Home to one of my favorite enemies in the Mario franchise. The Pokio. Infiltrate Bowser's castle. The mission is simple. Destroy the Koopa. Infiltrate the base. And eliminate his defenses. In that order. Here we go. Give me these Goombas. Boing. 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 Oh no. I know where you go. Right here. Mwowee. It's the coinage, which is actually, this is a pretty low coin count. In all honesty, you know? Are they wearing berets? I think they, I, I don't know what the actual term for them is. Not rice hats, but I don't know what they are. There's definitely a term for them. Nope.
Can't wait for Mario Odyssey 2. If they did Odyssey 2, I think it'd be very smart of them. They definitely don't have to, but... You like the Metro Kingdom? Metro Kingdom is by far the most lively. It isn't necessarily my favorite, but... The Pokio! With a little bit of top top. With the top and a... Wow, wow, tot, 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 tot. Boingo, boingo. Oh, I didn't get the chef outfit in the last one. No, no. Excuse me, nostalgia, remembering the coin hack episode. Yes, indeed. All the coins. There's a spicy, oh, a spicy moon right here. Look at that. Give me an open world Mario game. Make my eat right. Make my ear, make my life. Hot pockets. Moingo. Is there a little, uh, hole on the side here? Nope, not here. Bye. You know, I never realized that this platform, there's a platform, uh, where is it? Um. No. Can I really not move the camera at all? That, that thing over here, way over here, this is actually a platform you can access. On that, that thing. I never knew it. Ed, hello! Happy Saturday, man. Uh, not a coin hack video, but it's basically like, hey, this is how you get a lot of moons, or rather, a lot of coins in Mario Odyssey. And it involves the beanstalk level in this match, up toward the tippity top of the level. And I've currently been live for almost seven hours playing Super Mario Odyssey over halfway through getting 404 moons in one go. It's going very smoothly, I'd say. Ooh, that would have been spicy if I pulled that off. I love this Thwomp variant so much. Or Womp, rather. Very cool. Very, very cool. Very, very, very cool. The, the character design on it, excellent. Guy sounds like a grandpa. I mean, he's kind of got that big grandpa energy, Jafiel. Big G paw energy. Um, I didn't technically need to get that moon because I could have probably shimmied my way up. Smart bombing. Use those Pokios. Make that thing happen. Hopefully your day was good, Ed. My day's been chilling. Lots of hanging out and meowing it out and whatever, you know? There's got to be something up here for me. Come on now. Yeah, there is. Well, a little bit. It was long? Yup. That's what I figured. Oh, were you at the, the place? Running amok? Dealing with the hooligans? What's Mario's costume for the area? It is a... Samurai? And... I forgot the other one, actually. Yes, sir? Ooh. My condolences. My Brian killed boss. You have claimed I've been claimed by the three-year-old Fecto. Oh boy. Kimono. I think it's a kimono the samurai. Who are the hooligans? You're the hooligan. You're the biggest hooligan. You're the biggest hooligan. It's a combination of the of the that that sound and then the perfect. Love the sound design. Oddly satisfying. Great movement. Look at that. Look at that. I can shimmy to the side. I think I'm a superhero. See, it, it just sounds good. This game sounds good. How do you not like this game? How do you not? Okay. Get out of here. 
Get out. Bam. Look at that. Wowie zowie. I've never met someone who didn't like Super Mario Odyssey. You know who don't like Super Mario Odyssey? Cowards. People who don't have taste. Those are the people that don't like Super Mario Odyssey, I'll tell you that much. People that are wrong. People that don't know any better. Those are the people. Those are the people that don't like Super Mario Odyssey. Bunch of Goombas. Oh! I thought I wasn't gonna make it, but I did. Just like in life. It's kind of boring, but fun. Do you want to get banned? How dare you? How dare I'm um, Bowser's Kingdom already, yes. Current moon counter. Does it say moon counter here? No. Moons for the area, but not the moon counter in general. Boingo. Big boingo energy. Well, that worked out nicely. Ah, uh, there's a secret moon around here somewhere. Just kidding. Nope, it's just right over here. Du -du 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 -du. What are your uh, weekend plans, anybody? Anything going on Sunday? Tell me what you got going on. Good, bad, hopefully good. Any, any, you know what? Forget that question. Anybody have any spicy projects they are working on in life? Where am I pointing the pecker? What spicy projects are you working on that you feel like you want to share with the class? Got the book fair? Nice. That's pretty cool. I remember you were talking about that. Six wedding anniversaries Monday. We're going to lunch tomorrow when my brother watches Bjorn. Nice. 1981 Mustang you haven't touched in three years? That's a solid plan. Well, good luck with that, Ed. That is definitely a project. That's a worthwhile project. Very nice. Uh, this one, I need you. Over to here. There we go. Katina has to work tomorrow. Jax and I are playing video games all day and do manly things. Oh yeah, brother, we're gonna play some games and we're gonna we're gonna get some pizza and then we're gonna get some water. We're gonna drink a lot of water, brother. Manly things, big manly energy. Tending to adult responsibilities is overrated, anyways. Can I get up to here, actually? Oh, I can. Look at that. Another moon? Wow! Double moon. Double moon combo, combo, combo. Water, brother. Oh, yeah, brother. Give me some of that sweet, sweet, clear liquid, brother. Yep. Yoink. Do I ever take breaks? Nope. Now there ain't no rest for the wicked. Money on trains. What's your opinion on Hot Pockets? I love Hot Pockets and the greater array of Nestle brand products. I'm chained to the desk. Hot Pockets. 
I don't know where this goes. I don't care. It's fine. Wow. Hot pockets. I've seen you before. The double double. Yoink. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Whoopsies. There we go. Why don't you follow me on TikTok? Why don't you tell all your friends, family, freeloaders, and free help about what I do? Why don't, why don't, if everybody, if everybody got 10 people to subscribe to Bricks O'Brien, you know how much money I'd have? Not that, not that much more, but like, you know, it's, it's a concept. Brutals, brutals. Third time's a charm with your big ol' forehead. But I only have three friends. Tell them. Girl growing spikes out of your hair? Out of her hair? That's when you know she's a keeper. It, it she be it she be growing spikes out of her ear. That's how you know you gotta you gotta maintain that. You gotta maintain. You gotta get her. You gotta protect. Defend. And, and treat well. That's the mark of a true woman. The mark of a true woman is spikes in the hair. Boing. Sorta. Oh, I snipped ya. Ya big bunny. Big ol' bun bun. Nope. Get him out of here! What's up with that southern accent? I do a lot of accents. Mr. Lucky Charms are dangerously delicious, yay! I'm a talented, special snowflake. Try a New York accent, yeah, guy. Yeah, kid. You can't do a New York accent without swearing. Oh. <laughs> you can't do a New York accent without swearing. Pro gamer tip. The main courtyard. Uh... I think there's one up top here, isn't there? There should have been. Oh well. Ah, oh, yes, this over here. Hit this with the Southie accent? You also can't say that one without swear. Ooh, that's spicy. Aussie ac accent's where it's at? I mean, hey, man. What was the last moon count? I missed it. Uh, 250 something. We're on track to not hit 404 by the uh, final boss, which is kind of the point. Because I need to be able to go back and reach uh, 404 exactly. Some way, somehow. Um, Brian, what channels are you on? My own. I was more frequently doing work for Beyond the Brick, but that has since subsided due to my lack of interest in a lot of the things that LEGO is coming out with and lack of uh, not wanting to do it. So, I don't have a recurring Lego thing, which, you know, I wish, uh, wish I kind of had a little bit, you know, but not at this time. Done a lot of work, obviously, for a lot of different people, but, you know. I know I missed those purple coins, that's fine. 
Are you gonna buy- oh, I'm obviously gonna buy the Deku Tree, of course. I hopefully get it for a review, but I probably won't. They'll probably give it to Adam. Which is fine. I'll just buy it myself like a plebeian and just enjoy it for the sake of enjoying it instead of feeling the need to make a video out of everything for somebody else. Come on. There we go. Uh, this one, yeah, you got a spicy plan, right? I thought there was one... Does that appear after? There's definitely a spicy one. Oh, no, okay, I thought that was a thing. Yeah, I thought there was a, a unbreakable crate over there. Whoops. Oh, is that what it is right there? Maybe. Nope. Minor? So I don't know if I'm going to go for the coin situation over here. But I'll try my best. Just built the pirate ship. It was so cool. Cool. Need a list of commands to use? Yeah, that's something I should probably have available. But also, I haven't made it particularly available recently. I feel like a lot of people would be like, oh, that's where the crate is. Um, because then people have spam commands, you know? We can't, we can't have fun things around here, you know? There we go. I know we gotta climb further. Can we get much higher? Nope. Not quite. Nope. Dang. Whoopsies. Legit gonna message you in Discord tonight? Yeah. Well, feel free to join Discord in general, but also the Brick City Club and Lounge Discord server. It's where all the cool kids hang out. It is one of the epicenters, if not the epicenter. Of all things pertaining to Bricks O'Brien and Pro Gamer's Guide. So your support over there would mean a ton. Join the conversation. Get acquainted with one another. As we do all the things. You know what's really cool is there's a Poochie reference in here. Really sweet, man. You won't regret- yeah, you will not regret joining the Discord server. It's one of the best decisions I ever made was opening up the Discord in general. Did I mess that up? I totally did. Whoops. I guess I'll just continue to here. And yes, just don't be a bozo and you'll be good. Hey, Bowser. It's the final battle, right? Just kidding. Just kidding. Brutal battle. Wow, really? Oh. With the Pokio, of course. Yes, definitely the final battle here, of course. As it conveniently falls right where I need it to, right? It's perfect. Bam. I like this boss battle. I like the mechanics of this thing. It being like a like a wooden metal mess. I like the way it regenerates and continues further. It's really nice. Makes for a good final battle for, um, you know, definitely can't do that. But I can do this. Yeah. Especially when you're on the darker side. It's pretty snazzy for it being one of the, the final battle of that. You still get Brutals without Pokio? That sounds kind of cool. How would you end up doing it? Stop at the dramatics here, okay? With the invincibility legs. Calm down. 
Ooh, that would have been cool. These like firecrackers? They definitely are. It's just a cool design. Yeah. Thick legs. Who's your favorite YouTuber other than you? I don't know. I don't typically watch a ton of YouTubers. I'm too focused on making my own stuff, man. That's what I normally do. Oh. Do, 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 do. Favorite Twitch streamer? Uh, anyone except Dama Chase. Who that? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. That's it, right? Yeah, it is. Cool. Um, no, I, I like more and more's vibe a lot. I like that I can go into the stream and generally every single time there's conversation that's worthwhile happening. It is. It doesn't get too bombarded by the craziness of whatever's going on. Um, you know, it's a consistent vibe for me. And I like it. And I like collaborating with him. I like being a part of that, uh, that area, you know? Right, 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 right. Oh, you mean 9.5? Good job. Amanda, somebody that has been a part of this stream here that I've been meaning to tell you about because she's a master crocheter herself and was very impressed by Christian's crochet creations and how you should share your things with her as well. Is that who? Twitch partner recently. Oh, well, you should check out 9.5 as well. That square space he promotes sounds kind of cool. Square space? You mean the website host that I have? Yeah, N-I-N-E-P-O-I-N-T-F-I-V-E, 9.5. Odyssey's repaired! Wowee, 259 on the moon counter. To the moon and back again. We can skip this. We know what happens. We all know better. Time for the final fight. Look at that outfit. Love the wedding outfit, man. One of my favorite Mario designs ever. My favorite YouTuber is Zebra Gamer. How have you I not banned you? How how has this not happened, you know? How? One shrine left, even Tide Island. Nice. The Fuzzies. The Fuzzies. You know, Super Mario, you should go hang out in Mr. Zebra Gamer's live streams. That's what you should do. You should go hang. No, you should go hang out in his live streams if you like his, his videos so much, right? That's what you should do. That hat, that kind of sounded like a minion, like Cappy. I mean, yeah, kind of. I forget how to get this one. But Super Gamer doesn't do live streams. <laughs> Just DM him on Discord, right? Exactly. Ooh. I went the long way. Whoops. Uh, is there anything? I'm gonna keep the wedding outfit for the rest of the game, by the way. I don't think there's anything 
I can really do. I mean, I can get a couple moons, but not a ton. Not that one. Okay. Oh, the shop isn't even here, right? Yeah, the shop's not even here. So, yeah, I can't really do all that much regardless, you know? I do love the low gravity of this place, though, man. Really cool. Super cool here listening, but also cooking dinner. What, 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 what you... Oh, no, it's not pizza, right? You're having pizza earlier. You said you were. Bunny. Big old bunny. Rutter. Man, I need to ask you about something. Ask over the cord. There you go. Anything over here? No. Not anything spicy. At least there. Just zone out to the sounds of the moon and the nothingness. That's what the abyss sounds like, everybody. The wedding bells. Well, they're not necessarily always wedding bells, but when they are wedding bells, what a wonderful sound to hear. The beginning of something new and amazing. Ideally. <laughs> Ideally. Not always, but you know. We're optimistic. Yep. Just hear those wedding bells clashing. Ring ting tingling to ring a ding a ding a ding dong ding. Ring a ding a ding a ding dong ding. Pretty sure there's a way to skip a little bit of this over here, but I'm not gonna bother. Again, not gonna go for any more of the purple stuff, you know? Okay, Brian, up here, skip. Yeah, I can skip the cave area, but I also kind of feel like going through it, too. The Sphinx! Hey, man! You going to the wedding, man? Meow, meow. Hey, man. Reading started. Uh, Stingy! No? Yeah, so bear of correct answers of so many other things you could be doing with your time. Yep. Oh! I've never actually seen that before! Every time I play Super Mario Odyssey, I feel like I learned something new. And I never knew that you could, like, go there, and then it's like, Hey, uh, you shouldn't be doing this. Get out of here. Did you get your first moon yet? Uh, yes, thankfully I did. This was one of the last cap cat captures I needed. Was this one over here previously? I never knew you could, like, capture this thing here. Never knew you could do that. I want to get the moons in here, children. I want to get the moons. I need moons. I don't need to be MLG Pro Gamer. I need to... I need some moons. W-W-W-Bop. Even the enemies are decked out. You know what I would have loved to see more? And maybe in Mario Odyssey, uh, sequel, whatever that fourth, you know, what would, would, would look like, right? I want to see the more common enemies in the Mario Odyssey art style. So less of like, uh, you know, I'm sorry, not in the same art style. I want to see them more around. Like, we didn't see Dry Bones. We didn't see Boo in this game. That would have been really cool if we got to see that. Um, nope. I messed up. I messed up big time. I messed up big time. Yikes. Yikes. Whoops. Massive L here. Whoops. I was going to say, I can do a little bit of skipping over here. Appease the Declans. Do do the skip. Do do skip. Do 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 skip. Oh my goodness. Was there a normal Koopa in Mario Odyssey? Technically, the ones that race you. Koopa the Quicks. And I forget, there, there was some. 
I forget where though. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I might have been thinking of Mario 3D World. That's why. That's what I wanted to do before. I don't have the key. Whoops. Uh, oh, you know where it was? The key was way over there. Well, that's for the bullet bill, actually. Just having breakfast for dinner? Nice. Nope. I'm trying to be slick, but it's not working out because I'm getting distracted by y'all. Hmm. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Are you going to play Pikmin 4 when it releases? Probably. Nope. I messed up. Yep. Big time. Uh, I can skip it though. Hold on. Nope. I messed up. I have not played many of the Pikmin games. I think I played Pikmin 1 briefly. Oh, I got to restart all the way over here. I'm not gonna not be such a bozo. Yeah, dang it. Whoops. Getting sloppy. No, the winning... Oh my goodness, seriously? Wow. Okay. That only does that. What's the moon count? I forget, Dan, actually. It's like 260-something. Well, at least that works. That's good. Yeah, 260-whatever. Two fifty nine before this level for moons. Thank you, Bubble Lobo. So we're talking two sixty. Two sixty ish. Yeah, this one is a little difficult without the platform, so that's fine. That's fine. 264. So I'll probably end this at what? Two. 70? All in all? 275, perhaps? A little 275 moon action. Oh, she doesn't give you moons? That's kind of interesting. Madam Brutal does not give you moons. But everything else here gives you moons. Yeah, I'm going for it. Wait, should I? Yeah, I might as well. Go, 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 go. Yep. Bam. Look at that. Nice. I could have messed myself up royally for that one, but I did it. Yay. And luckily, teleport me back. Thank you. See, they're not that cruel, right? Oh, I actually do need you. Nope. Dang it. Come on. Come on. Dan, what are you up to today? Chilling at home? No! 
No! Dang, man. I messed up royally. You know what I gotta do? I think I gotta use the facilitas to make sure that, um... Yeah. Oh, I actually pick up right here? No, I'm good. I'm good. I don't remember. They gave me a, uh, a little bit of grace right there. That's good. Yeah, I definitely do need to hydrate for sure. Bring. Can I get a I messed up counter? Well, I just mess up. I, it's not a, a, a thing that I need to account for. I just need to do better, you know? Nope. Noe, noe, no. Got this feeling in my bones. Playing with a tick of dynamite. Black and white. a double white. Do I need that? Nah, I'm good. Well, maybe not, actually. There we go. I know I could have got a charge and chuck, but you know what? Too easy. Hey, big mama. Big mommy, mommy, mommy. Get over here. One, two, three. There we go. Just a little simplistic, you know? It's not rocket science. It's just a business. You have a heart for me? Come on, big mommy. Have a heart. Come on, huh? Show me what you're made of, huh? One, two, three. One, two, three. No! Seriously? I got it. Oh, well. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Been chilling all day? Cool. Finally home from work. There you go, Anthony. Hopefully work was good. Let me know how it was, man. How many moons you up to? 275, 280. Been chilling. Wonderful. And it was good. Nice. You look like the Mario version of the Monopoly man. I wish I had that kind of money or uh, stamina, but thank you. Hi, Brian. I'm back. There you go. Do you think the moon progress is going to start slowing down? No, I think it's going to speed up, actually, because once you get through all the story stuff here, it becomes a lot quicker to get the moons, especially in the uh, other kingdoms, you know? Still have not gotten back to um, the Cap Kingdom, so that's a place I got to go back to. And wherever else, you know, once, once I have the moon defeated, then it's pretty much good to go, you know? Nope. There we go. Haven't played it since 2018, though. Hey, man, it's a great game. It's a great game, as you know. Excited to play it. But this makes me... This does make me realize, like, if I ever wanted to do this for Breath of the Wild, absolutely not. Like, this would not work. I'd be here for 24 hours easily. Like, if I wanted to do Breath of the Wild until it's complete... Nah, that, that would not work out well. That'd be way too tiring for me. My voice would be fried. It'd be a bad time for me, man. Big time. Third favorite game ever. What's your top two? No moons from the big mommy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, imagine if I did that. That would have been bad. There we go. All right, so before I start the clear final boss battle here, I'm going to approach the moon. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go up onto the chapel. Because I know I can get up here without the frogs. Without the frogs. How about a Jack and Daxter stream? Dude, I did a playthrough of that, and I enjoyed Jack and Daxter a lot. It's very short. It's a very short game, but I'm, I'm down to play it, man. 
Moon World. Hello, Diana. Oh, you can get the frogs. Look at that. Frog me up. Playing Minecraft with the boys. Very cool. There they are. Uh, I think it's on the very tippity top. I know there's one way down below, but... Oh, it's just that? Okay. Do two and three in the same day? Yeah. Very long stream. The two and three aren't considered family friendly. They got that, they got that wep wepiones. Chungus Lee. Hey, shout out to Chungus Lee, man. With the poly arms, it works really well. I saw that on the server while I was taking my little break. Works out very well. Very happy to see that. Brian, have you heard of Ohio? No. Berkeley tuning in from California. Hello. Happy Saturday. Meow meow. For whom the bells shall toll. Yay. Up on the rafters. Mm, bup. Let's get this out. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, snap! We don't need to see this. We, are, we know. We know what happens here. Everyone just nod your head. That's too smart. They'll never do it. Organize Oblivion. Hello. It works, but at the same time, they can't easily tie- Yeah, they can't easily tie in a game release. True. But if they don't tie in a game release on this one, then what does it matter? You know? Final battle, but obviously not the final finale of this live stream. Of course. Oh, I forgot. Every time I forget. I gotta do that. Flick over like that. That's what I forget to do. I did lower the volume, by the way. Figured it was gonna be rather loud. Here we go. Hit him with a one and a two and a bam. He's going to do this with a flick of the wrist and a flick of the wrist and a flick of the wrist and a flick of the wrist. There it is. Oh, never mind. We appreciate the volume dump. Yeah, I tried to lower it a little bit here. My apologies. I needed that. Just kidding. I guess I don't. Whoops. I love hearing about the things you think about in the bathroom. Well, it's either I have it this way or I'm uh, having no thoughts about anything all the time, you know? We call those porcelain thoughts with Brian. One and a... Boop. Hell up and a lop up up and a yoink and a silver. How you doing tonight? Nope. Whoops. My bad. Being this game three times never gets old. It's just a really good game. I agree, Jackie. Hello. I've beaten this game uh, probably three or four times, so I'm right there with you. Playing on the quest to get 404 moons because of the generosity of September last year and fulfilling a promise from a charity event in August. So it's like a twofold situation. And I've been enjoying myself all the way. So 404 is the goal. Mm. 
La 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 la. Nope. Nope. There we go. Oh, didn't even get one out the gate, Goomba. And a one time, and a two time, and a three time, and a fourth time the charm, and I get him out of here. We already know what happens. Hey, we already know what happens. Yoink. So on the quest to get 404 moons, as uh, fairly quickly as possible. You have no idea what happens? Dan, you never played this game? Also, you take over Bowser for the first time ever. And what's really cool about the sequence is you can see all the memories of the past Mario games, like Super Mario Brothers, Sunshine, Galaxy, all the things in here. You can see them overlaid there, Mario World, there's 64, there's all the ones from obviously this game, yeah. First time this ever happens in the game. Or franchise. You have to get on out of here as Bowser, which is really cool. And it's a pretty, you know, linear sequence here. But you do have a little bit of leeway with how you go about doing it. There's apparently a quicker way to make this happen, but I don't know. I never really bothered with figuring that out. So you gotta basically destroy everything around here. There we go. I know, Super Mario 3, that would have been cool. That definitely would have been cool. And you are on kind of a timer here, so you wanna make sure you're very quick with your movements. As quick as possible. There we go. They skipped the 3D section by jumping to the side. That's kind of cool. Yeah, as I've said before, this is definitely not a speed run. Just playing here. Why don't I play Clash of Clans? No interest. So you have to reach the four pillars over Back here. Pockets. Almost there to the finale, but not 404 moons. Keep that in mind here. One of the coolest endings to any Mario game. There we go. What song is this? It's just the uh, finale song. Not quite sure. There we go. Go! Go! Yeah! Listen, Mario, we, you save the day. We get it. We get it. We get it. The game Mario Odyssey is donezo. But not yet. Relax. Hey, calm down. It's, it's going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Look at those rocks. 
bit of that yoinky spelunky. No, you're skipping the entire song. Listen, we're on a timetable here, sir. Right, 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 right. I could travel to the Mushroom Kingdom. Ha 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 ha. Good job. So, I, lo I, I lost it. Lost it when this kingdom happened. Lost it. Lost every fiber of my being. I ascended to another plane of existence when this happened. Ascended. Ascended. Let's head up to Peach's house. Cool. Let me uh, cash in. You know what? I'm going to go right to Peach. Technically Toadette next. Lost my mind seeing the inside of the castle. Is this Super Nintendo World and Universal Studios Hollywood? Whoa. Uh, yes, I will be doing the Toadette Moons. I'm pretty far off from 400, so I don't want to, like, miss the 400 or 404 there. Crazy Kiwi, hello. Made it just in time for me to enter the Mushroom Kingdom. Hello, Kiwi. We're not done yet. Hi, Toddette. Let me grab these coins behind here. So, I'm getting 404 moons in Super Mario Odyssey. You get actually a bunch of them by doing the Toadette moons right here. So, I'm definitely doing that. So, let's fresh your mind. What parts of this... Oh! Uh, what parts of this would you like to see in the movie? Um... You got something new. A blank screen. Yay. I'd like to, I mean, the castle's definitely going to be bigger. Way bigger, you know? I think, I think my first, I raid you too. Oh, first time raiding me? Well, thank you. I stream fairly stricter hours and I don't normally do, nor, don't normally do uh, Saturdays. So. Actually, technically these are stars, they're not moons. So actually, they don't count. No, they definitely count, but. Um, yeah, they're gonna show, um, all the- all the things here in the movie, like, that were supposed to be in the castle, but clearly not here. So, I'm getting 404 moons in Super Mario Odyssey. This is technically a moon, even though it clearly is a star from Super Mario 64. So, that's because during the Stand Up to Cancer charity event earlier this year, I said I'd do a Super Mario Odyssey marathon, and with the amount of subs that I got in September, I got, um, 404... Uh, subs that month. Crazy Kiwi, have a good night. Thank you for raiding and running. That's okay. Enjoy your rest and rest easy. By the way, raiding is when somebody take when they're concluding their live stream, they take they take all their viewers and put them to someone else. So that's what Crazy Kiwi did for me because he decided to, and I'm very grateful for that. Checkpoint flagger. Look at all those moons. These are technically moons that I earn, so... There you go. I hope you achieve all your dreams, just like Toadette said. I hope you achieve all your dreams. Stare into the sun! Stare into the sun! Just kidding. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. But yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Uh, the Bonneton one I might as well do here. Cool. There's actually one in an off-floor tile here somewhere. I think it's a secret moon, though. Oh, right here? Oh! Hmm. And I know I can buy my way to victory. I'm definitely not trying to do that, though. Hey! How did I remember this? I've beaten the game twice, that's why. <laughs> that's how I know. Come on. Gotta look for the off-white tiles. Oh, 
No, not smacking the wall here. This one. Four. No. Right here. Yeah. There we go. Five? You can also tell by that angle right there. Oh, right there. See? Because they're elevated off the ground. Yeah. So probably like the eight red coins kind of a deal. There's like eight, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Did I pass it? Nope. There's just seven? Okay. They're just indented on the floor. They're fairly easy to tell if you're not missing. I'm like a Goomba that I am. Just kidding. There's eight. It's definitely eight. Never knew about this moon. The more you know. Yeah, look at this angle right here and you can tell like just like that, like easily. Bam! Nice. No, there's eight. So I'm steadily on my way to 404 moons. I'm going to cash all these in and see where I'm at. After I grab these yobby ones up here, because I think I'm uh, encroaching 300. I know, finally here, right? It's a wondrous occasion. Wondrous, wondrous occasion, man. There's Yabby. But I do want to get the one that's up on top of here. Because I believe there is one. Which one is it? Ah, right there. There we go. See? Play Sonic Frontiers? You play Sonic Frontiers. Hey. You want popcorn now? Uh, I probably will not do the boss moons. I feel like those are kind of cheap considering I did all the, uh, the other bosses this game. You know, like I don't want to play the bosses twice in one, twice in one sitting. That's kind of Goomba-like, you know? It's kind of Goomba-like. You can see the whole world, because I'm on top of the world. Hey, I'm on top of the Yabby. Goomba in a cake? Yes, a Goomba in a cake. Goomba-like behavior all the time there. The fact that so many of you have stuck with me this uh, a lot of the time here means a lot. Reminder, I do this many times a week over the course of many weeks, actually. Live stream at least three times a week here on Twitch. You can follow along for all sorts of shenanigans. And remember, at the end of this live stream, I'll be doing a special announcement pertaining to a pro gamer's guide and beyond. Been here since the morning. Thank you. Hopefully you've been doing some other things in the background throughout the day. You know, as much as I appreciate you watching me. Keep yourself entertained all the way through, you know. Harder, 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 harder. See, oh, the Yoshi physics always confuse me here. Really like these longer streams. Yeah, this is what a typical Twitch pro does. They will stream for many, 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 many hours on end. But that would unfortunately be incredibly exhausting and not the best use of my time, I feel like, at least. So what I would rather do is make more tent pole events like uh, this, just other circumstances, you know? Some more good things. Any exciting info for fun shenanigans you'll be doing this week on Twitch? Definitely doing a Minecraft challenge on Monday. Uh, the rest of the days, I'm not quite too sure. Definitely had a Mario-themed week this le week leading up to Mario Odyssey 404, which is just, you know, a couple things here. Meant to, meant to do stuff yesterday, but whoops. Hi. Give me the you. 
Hey. Minecraft on Monday. It's going to be a Minecraft Monday themed live show. So pop on by and say hello. Hi, Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Can I not talk to you as you Really? Huh. Interesting. There you go. If I did a stream like this every Saturday for a month, maybe we can work on something like that for the summertime. Because I feel like that would make more sense. Definitely doing it during the week, or rather during, you know, times like this is not necessarily the most practical for me at least. But, you know, we shall see. Cloud Kingdom, real quick. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is, um... The Snow Kingdom. Four-hour streams during summer night work. That would be kind of cool. We'll see. When's this build challenge against Kenderside community? I haven't talked to Ken. He's been rather busy. I've been rather busy. So, I'd like to do it this month. PAX East is one of the weekends in March. So, I want to make sure that I give plenty of time to give that the attention it deserves and give people plenty of notice, but I don't have any information right now on that. When I do, trust me, you'll know. And I look forward to doing it. I know there's one right here. A nice uh, reference to Mario 3D... Mario 3, actually, technically, but... Those trees were featured in 3D Land, I think. But the raccoon, or Tanuki suit, rather, was obviously... Obviously part of Mario 3. Hey, Koopa Da Quick. I know I got a bunch of moons here. Give me a second. I had one Hot Pocket earlier. I'm good. I am good. Brian, my last message broke a mod rule, apparently. Uh, it is rather strict, so maybe you should stop being a problem. Smack in the face! Easy squeezy! College tour was rushed and it was a group tour, so it wasn't very enjoyable. Yeah, you're gonna find a lot of the group tour situations, unfortunately. That happens with pretty much every college tour, unless you know somebody there that can walk you through personally. So, you know. Was it being led by somebody on the staff or one of the kids? Are there breakfast hot pockets? Yes, there are. I don't get how you can't get this both times, but okay. Uh, I did not attend college. Not at least in the time you're supposed to, you know? There's always a possibility I could go back to get a degree or something of some kind, but no. I have not. I have chosen to uh, forego what college entails at this time and focus on getting a lot of experience and pursuing a career in this. And the, I'll say obviously college is a very valuable worthwhile experience and if you are down for it, totally, absolutely go and take advantage of every opportunity there. Um, but there is also something to getting first-hand experience, too, you know? College was the biggest waste of 50k in my life. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing these, by the way. Um, some people think it's a waste of time. Some people think it's the best years of their life. Some people wish they could go back to college every single day. Some people don't like college. It is one of those first big major steps of your life where it's like, hey, you can figure out or rather go for whatever you kind of want to do. And obviously try not to be as much as possible pressured by any outside forces that may be like, hey, you should do this. You should do that. You know, you're there for seven years. But yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It is absolutely not for everybody. And what is generally more desired is having at least a passion for something in life that can drive you toward a successful, fruitful career. The official moon counter is 293, everybody. Give it up for 293. 
The Odyssey's powered up, baby. So seven more. Till what, 300? So for right now, I'm gonna continue here for a second. Uh, what are other obvious ones I can get? It's definitely like this right here. High school is necessary for jobs. You know, every level of school has something valuable that you learn. And I don't think it's fair to be like, oh, you don't need this, you don't need that, you don't need this. Everybody has their own experience and way that they, they learn. And there might be people who, you know, spend a lot of money on school. And then they don't like it. There might be some people that love it. There might be people, I don't know. Just all depends, man. All depends. Yeah, I meant to do that. Whoops. Nope. Ah, dang it. Really? Saw the Princess Peach castle at Best Buy the other day and I nearly threw up. Uh, it's not stellar. And it's not stellar from the standpoint of... It not being a full playset. Well, it is, but it's just not great. It's not a wholly complete set, you know? Really? Okay, I'm not gonna go for it. Whatever. I'm gonna go for this one, though. Mario on a Vespa doesn't get more Italian than that. Yeah, that's true. Very true. I know several people that went, have college degrees and can't find a job in their field. Yeah, it depends on your field. Depends on a whole bunch of factors, man. Go for what feels right for you at the time, not because your family society says so. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. So remember, once you do this, once you place it down, then you're done. I messed that up a little bit, but I should still be good for the whole thing. Hmm. I definitely don't want to do that. Don't be in a Goomba in a cake. I'm going to try not to be, you know? Kind of a long moon here, you know? Mario might be cross-eyed, but that's okay. He's just trying his best. Then obviously the other one you use the pieces for are the Goomba. That's about as best as it's gonna get, Toad. Eighty-five, not bad. Got a power moon. Splendid. Definitely messed up a little bit there. Get a high score. Okay, so I have to get like a 90, I think. No, wait, I already I already did that. Never mind. Sorry. I keep thinking I play these twice. For some reason. My apologies. So here's what I can do. I can go and get a few, um, a few moons here further and then get out of here or go back to another kingdom first and see how that goes. I will take recommendations on where I should go next. Somewhere decent here. Well, actually, I don't think there's any obvious moons off the top of my head that I feel like getting. So you know what? I'll go back to um, Bonneton. How about that? So I haven't been back to Bonneton in a hot second here. 294, everybody. 294. Mm. 
Mm, yes. Get the N64 outfit. I don't feel like necessarily doing that right now. I used that a lot in the last couple of playthroughs, you know? Keep it spicy. I'll very likely not walk to the Far Lands, but that's okay. It's not on this one. There's another one. On one of these peaks over here. I thought there was. Whoops. Do 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 do. No, definitely not. Okay. You know, I never really knew what the far lands were. Is that where in the section of Minecraft where you can't really go anywhere anymore? Actually, you know what? That's not productive there. I know for a fact there's one right on top of here. I thought there was. No, I guess not. Whoops. Oh, I should go grab the moon cube first. Yes. And I know Peach has one for me. Hi, Peach. In the all black everything. Keep spinning it, there is, I think. I think I need to trigger the cube first, that's why. Oh, and this one here? Oh, I know what it is. So I have to stand on a certain, um... Point over here. Hold on, I know it. Nope, not quite. Nope. Go trigger the cube. I guess I just I just have to do that. My apologies. When it's what hour eight, that's when the brain starts to fog up. Cause of course it does, you know. Oh, this one I know. Yeah, this one is definitely a mellow kingdom chill out sort of a thing. Now we'll kick it up. Oh, this totally gives off Nightmare Before Christmas vibes. That is definitely not just you. That is certainly not you. We know what this does. It summons a whole bunch of new moons here. Power moons have popped out in locations all over the map here. So that's what I needed to do first. Okay. Hi, buddy. Little bird buddy over here. Yes, also Beetlejuice to a lesser extent for the moons. Yeah, definitely. There's actually also one. Can I get to the bird this way? Potentially. I feel like I can. Yeah, I can. I don't think I ever did that before. I think I always tried to hit it with my... Um, with the cap, which is probably uh, not the way to exactly do it here. Thank you for the follow, Vortex. Hello. Oh, I forgot I kept it anonymous. Whoops. Well, thank you for following. Mario 64, Banjo? Ah, uh, Banjo. I think Banjo-Kazooie is a more uh, fun game in some ways. Not every way for sure, but a lot of ways.
Yes, Deanna, thank you for the reminder. If you know somebody who'd be interested in the live stream, make sure you share it with them. Let them know that Bobby O. Bricks is playing some Super Mario Odyssey, or share it with anybody who might be interested in general. Thank you. Okay, smack it ahead. Smack it ahead. Sharing it right now with one of my Mario loving friends. Oh, cool. Well, hopefully they can find some enjoyment out of what I'm doing here. How do you share? Give them the link. Be like, yo, get in here, fam. Tell them that Bobby Cotton requests their presence. Say just like that, Bobby Cotton. They're like, who's Bobby Cotton? Is he gonna make my family go go holy Dog lips, hello. Hour eight of Super Mario Odyssey. I have uh, just a, a little while's to go. A hundred more moons, which is not bad at all. Where's the final one? Ah, yes. If you listened to the podcast with Mr. Zebra Gamer, you would know that information. Pertaining to me having a series with him. You would know that information if you used the brain cells that exist within your body to make a decision on what to ask next. There we go. Bring it back, bring it back. We got that bounce keeping it on track. Not everyone has access to the podcast. The person just said, oh, I know you did the podcast. What? Brian, I know you're playing Super Mario Odyssey right now. But do you think you'll ever play Super Mario Odyssey 2? Well then, whose fault is that, D? Whose fault? Who- Who- Listen. Everybody should know about everything I'm doing at any given time. That- this is the way. This is the way. I mean, yes, I have- I've been streaming for eight hours. You know, that tends to happen. My voice is very fried. Don't be a bot. Shrink. I've had one Hot Pocket to eat in eight hours. How do you think I feel? How do you think I feel? Oh, wait. Wait. No, 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 I guess I'll do this. I sent you pizza money? No, you didn't. When? I looked in PayPal, I didn't see anything. PayPal says otherwise. Uh, I can check. I saw you say something in chat about that earlier, but I didn't actually see anything. So I was like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go check. See if Deanna sent me pizza money. Gonna get hangry. I'm hangry all the time. My life exists on hanger. And we need to set you up with no, because you know why, Joe? I thought about doing that because people have offered enough, like, oh, let me buy you dinner, let me do whatever, right? And it's very generous, and that's actually something I would like. Like, I don't like any of that throne nonsense. But I think that treat stream thing would be pretty cool. And treat stream is a thing where you can buy the person who's live streaming uh, pizza or whatever. You can like buy them a thing. It's really cool. However, um, mm, what's the next one I should go for? 
I don't know necessarily what I want on any given meal or at any given time. And also, I feel like that could spiral out of control a little bit. Just a little bit, you know? And I have a water bottle right here. I'm good. Do you have a headache? No. Staying fairly hydrated is that, you know, that works out really well. Um, it's mostly my voice is hoarse. Sent it the other way. It should definitely be there. I'll take a look, Diana. Thank you. Too kind of you. Too kind of you. Oh, you sent it through Stream Elements? Stream Elements or Stream Labs? Are we done yet? Uh, about a hundred moons away. Getting there. We're getting there. I want announcements? Well, I'm about a hundred moons away from an announcement, Kevin. Okay. La 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 la. Well, I thought this was going to take 12 hours. It's definitely not taking 12 hours. No, I'm not going to sleep for 12 hours. I never sleep accurately as, as much as I want. I never sleep as much as I want to anyways. Go buy a copy of my children's book, exclamation mark, uh, book. Oh! Rudy doo doo doo! Actually, I don't need to do this, no! There we go. Hey, is this a pro gamer's guide level? Right? Feels like 12 p.m. It does kind of feel like 12 p.m. Not gonna lie to you. Uh, I forget where the other moon is. I guess it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever, it's fine. Do 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 do. Kubit a quick! Kubiti 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 quick! Mr. Brian, you wanna go to the roving wraith hearth? Yeah. Let's go, man. So at the end of this stream, at the end of this event, we got 14 giveaways. 14. Definitely not sick of this game yet. No. Fourteen, one, four. Just kind of cool, man. Nope, dang it. Fourteen giveaways, two announcements, and a partridge in a pear tree. So don't miss a single millisecond. So after I get these two, we'll be good to go. I should revisit this game. Yeah, you should. It's really fun. You doing all the giveaways with random generator things? Correct. That's correct. Very grateful for all the gifted subs for the direct contributions, the bits, the everything today. Thank you so much. Your support is acknowledged and appreciated. As always. Mm. 
Yikes. That golden Koopa is here too quick, man. Twenty-six seconds, bet twenty-four. Baby, thank you for being superb and amazing and inspiring, Brian. Oh, stop it, Noah! You won the Poly Lego thing, then chose the Infinity Gauntlet? Well... You coulda had Polly. That- at least Polly's unique, man. I'm just glad he likes pizza. I do like pizza. Ring! Shocking! 310! Give it up for 310, everybody! 94 moons left! Oh boy! I read the ones that I feel like reading. Any suggestions for where I should go next? Actually, Diana, since you were so kind in giving $100 for pizza money, you can pick where I go next. Free range chickens on this one. Dang, bro, it's kind of busting. Free range. Metro Kingdom. We're going to the big city, baby. We built this city on dragon. We built this city. We built this city. So it'll be done by around 10. I assume so. I think 10 p.m. Eastern. Going pretty quick. Efficiently, 94 is not a lot in the grand scheme of things, especially considering, uh, you know. But if it happens to go later, especially with the giveaways and announcements, then bear with me, please. Oh boy. Here we go. 10 p.m. It's an hour 45 minutes. Meowie Zowie Wow 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 It Out. Where's my friend? Where's my friend? Where did the friend is? Where did the friend is? Brian, you're my favorite YouTuber. You spelled Zebra Gamer wrong. Will the announcements be before after the giveaways? After the giveaways. After the giveaways. This mini game is just a trick to get kids to spell. Pro gamer tip, gotta spell accurately. It's a really weird sound effect for letters, but you know, hey man. What the There's a bird over here. Bird! Moon count is at 310! 311, technically. No! Bozo Bododo! Lubbity Bubbity Bubbo! Lubbity Dubbity 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 Dub! I'm gonna get a new outfit. Oh, I didn't buy the moon. I didn't buy the kingdom one here. Let me just buy uh, a couple of moons real quick. Is it cheating? Do you want me to cheat? Do you want me to cheat to get this over with? Yes. <laughs> yes. Can we get a quick one minute poll? Do you want me to cheat? It's not cheating if it's in the game. So you can buy moons in the game instead of earning them, right? Should I buy 10 moons and cheat? One minute poll, Eli. Yes or no? Should I cheat? Should Brian cheat? Quote, unquote. That's a good way to phrase it. Only 10? No, I'd buy as many as I can. Wow. Oh, this is kind of spicy. We got 73% on yes. Seems a little sus. We got some good sports in the chat. We got some good sports in the chat. Wow. 
Wow, we got some good Samaritans up in here. 15 to 9, 16 to 9. Got how many people in here? Oh, we owe more of you can vote. Come on. Not after you said as many as you want. Well, I get it's a maximum. No, it's in the game, so it's not cheating. 16 to 11. The tribe has spoken. The dirty, dirty cheater pumpkin eaters win today. They win today. Let's go. Fine, I'll just get 10. Fine. Fine. Nuke boosting to the end. Actually, you know what? We'll do the builder suit. Yeah. You cheating. I'd say buy 10 from each kingdom if you go to a new kingdom. Steve's like, get this over with. Steve's like, I want to go to bed. I want to go to bed. I want to deal with this. Get out of here. Go, go get 500 moons. Go ahead. Ten in every kingdom. <laughs> Ten in every kingdom. Oh, man. I'm tired. <laughs> Steve's like, just announce what you're going to announce. No one cares, Brian. Come on. Get it over. Ah! How about 20 in every kingdom? Nope. Ten in every kingdom. <laughs> oh! I missed one. Huh? I was gonna say. What? Oh! Oh! Look at that! There we go. See, you know, the kids sometimes are like, they have a lot of bad ideas. But not when it comes to buying 10 moons in every kingdom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What if I farmed coins? <laughs> Let me farm coins for the last 100 moons. Uh, okay, the one that's over here, I know where this one is. Is it keep clear or is it on the? I think it's uh. Is it here? I forget. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Wow. Nice. Sweet. I'm in. I did do the mini Mario Kart one. Yes. There we go. Later and it's really just acting up. There you go. That unfortunately happens, especially to the best of us. Ten in every kingdom. I thought I did this one. Huh. Nope. Dang it. I, I got... I got, uh, with the controls. My apologies. So close to 404. We're getting there. We ain't getting there. Did you get the one on top of the tower? Uh, yes. I think I did. There we go. That's what I meant to do. I know. People just want the giveaways and announcements. Hey, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Whatever the people want, man. Oh, oh, can't forget one of the best moons to exist ever. One of the most thoughtful, kind, and appropriate moons here. Boy, I tell you, this city, everybody at some point feels this way. 
one time or another. And in those times, just got to take a seat and give people a little bit of company sometimes, you know? You're not from around here, are you? You're just the first person to ever sit down next to me. It's a lonely city. Thanks for reaching out. Take this for your trouble. One of the best moons in the game! Treat people with kindness, courtesy, and respect. Unless they're a bozo. You're welcome, buddy. Meow, meow. Have a great day. Time to head into the theater. Do 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 do. Yeah, unless they're a bozo. I know this game. Root to to meow 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 meow. I'm gonna play this game really nicely. It's gonna be a wonderful time, and I'm gonna really have a great time with it. It's stellar and amazing at the same time, and I know all the secrets. Bam. How many out right now? Uh, three something. Three... Uh, 20. Continue on my way through the level. It's gonna be a really awesome thing, and I can't wait to see this movie for myself eventually. It's gonna be a special time for not just me, but also you. Gonna share all the memories all year long. Gonna go to Super Nintendo World and gonna be another stellar time. I don't care if every word I say is good or it rhymes. Jumping through the levels all the time. Meowing out to myself. Getting all the lives at the same time. About to fail catastrophically. Gonna jump over here now and I will get the final piece of the moon. Hey, that's time to do do do. I... <laughs> Loo dee dee doo dee dee mew doo dee doo. Close. I I almost had it. Is this a Super Mario movie? Is it is this April 7th? Is this April 7th? Six in theaters? It's gonna be me on April 6th, baby. Hey, what can I do next? It's in the trash. Trash. Hey, I'm dressed like you. Oh no, oh, you're ready for we're the one that you're waiting for! Uh... Illumination leaked footage! What's going on, Jesus? Leaked footage! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! 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 Movie looks good, but short. What's going on, Kirk? In an hour, eight and a half! Eight and a half hours! Hope you're well as can be, sir. What's the proper way to go? This way? Probably, yeah, probably this way. Yeah, in the trash. Just kidding. That's where I belong. Look at all those moons I'm gonna get in the next kingdom. Wow. Oh, wait. I thought I could loop around with the thing. Whoops. Don't miss the second moon. Uh, I forget where it is. But I'll figure it out. I always do. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta do this. Boop. It's right here. Hey, see, I'm a smart cookie. Any smart cookies in the chat? <laughs> Wise Gamer once said, One man's trash is another man's rice pudding. Did I say that? I'm right. Persevere through the anxiety and adversities. Go! Go! Persevere! Oh! Yes, there we go. Bada bang. That's a, that sounds like something you'd say, to be honest. Yeah. In in a Kirby video, I don't know if it premiered today, but something I said should go on a t-shirt. I said the best part about being sad is getting ice cream. Hey, also, side tangent, does this stuff matter to Pauline? Like, does this is this important? Hello? We're waiting for you, Mario. There's a quiz, right? What do I plan to eat for dinner tonight? Is there definitive answers here? Mm -mm. 
Yes, there are definite answers, but the parasol doesn't do anything, right? What's my most treasured possession? A purse. No. Okay. I guess not. Where did you get your hat? I think I got it at GameStop, actually. Uh, chat did vote on pizza hours ago. You know? But... I did not get it yet. What is her hobby? Going on walks. Okay. What is she bad with? Talking to people? Maka, you should be in bed. Fixing stuff? What kingdom would I most like to visit? Seaside kingdom, probably. She is a Mimi on the seaside. Seaside? Can we confirm? Okay. Nope, that's not it. Goombas! Never mind, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Ah, dang it. I wanted to grab that. Poppy! I'm a bee. 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 Hmm. Oh, close. Hi, Bubby. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Hi, buddy. What's the next kingdom? Do they have a crazy cap? Every kingdom has a crazy cap. That's kind of the point. You should complete the quiz. It gives you two moons. Well, y'all gotta give me the right answers, if that's gonna be the case. You know? So you basically gotta lead the puppy to the correct area. And then he'll pick up on a scent and be like, ooh. Unless that doesn't happen here. It might not happen here. Some instances where it doesn't happen, I guess. I didn't mean to hit the dog. My apologies. My apologies. There's one that's in the trash behind uh, New Donk, I think. The tower. Um... You don't request my presence over here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Koopa da Quick! Yeah, let's do that. Easy moons, baby. Easy. Look at that snazzy man keeping up the great work. As always, Ninja. Hello. Chilling like a villain. I like the setup. I like the, um... I like the red. I like me in the black. Looks slick. And I look... Basically like I did back in the day. Except I probably look a I don't want to jinx it. Maybe I look a little thinner. Maybe. I realize I, I was a little pudgy way back when, you know? Wait, where do I go? Oh, I'm going the right way. Okay. It's over this way, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it is this way. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I remember that. Whoops. 52 seconds. I'm better than that. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, you got the right answers for the quiz. Nice. I've seen multiple people I've seen multiple people ask recently if you've lost weight. I do I have not consciously lost weight. It might be because I'm doing my portions better. I have had a few donuts from Dunkin' Donuts more so than I should have, but my apologies for that. I don't want to give you a, it, it is probably cuz I also shaved 
I, you know what I also do better than last time I played Mario Odyssey on camera? I hold myself better. Like my posture, doing this, instead of being slouched in the chair as much, that definitely helps. All that stuff helps way more than you might think, so... Yeah, definitely. Definitely an important aspect of it, you know? Just talk to her, Brian. Secure the moons at all costs. That's the, that's the, um, the wise words I give to the moderators when it comes to, uh, talking to the ladies. Secure the bag at all costs. I should probably eat my own medicine or drink my own medicine, but I digress. Here we go. Bag secured. But then you never do it when we tell you, listen, I'll take my time. Sometimes the right person enters your life at the wrong time, and that's okay. Ashley, relax. Meow, meow. Just keep meowing, Ashley. Keep meowing. <laughs> All right. Time to talk to the woman. Not the girl, not the lady, the woman. What is it? What kind of music? Peppy music? Oh, you don't like music. Yeah, Peppy, that makes sense. I know Pauline better than that, come on. What am I bad with? Fixing machines, I know that one, yes. Which of these did I do a long time ago? Captured by Ape, I know that for sure. I knew you remember. What's your most treasured possession? A hat? A hat. Can we all agree that Brian makes our day, you know? Okay. You don't think that's the right gift for the mayor? So bizarre. I guess it's the umbrella. Thank you for the follow. Do 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 do. I love that she did the typical thing. She's like, oh, is that a gift for someone? As I'm clearly holding this and like presenting it to her. She doesn't like that one either. Get out of here. Listen, if you don't like my gifts, if you don't like what I bring to the table, then you don't deserve it. Get out of here. L Lady Goomba. Exactly. Lady. Let's get a moon counter real quick. I know, right, Cyber? So rude. So rude. That's the wrong one. Big D! Way too Big D with the 37 month resub. Big D, how you doing, man? Uh, I'm surprised you weren't lurking uh, before. I'm hanging throughout the stream. I know Natalina has been here. Chilling the whole time. Well, he's too tried, they say. Right? We're up to 335. There it is. Let's try... I'm not gonna do the race car one. Just got here crazy day. Hey man, that's okay, man. Been meowing it out all day. Up to 335. It's me, Mario. At least you tried. Looks like a nice gift for the mayor. Take this. I want something yummy, don't we all? 79 to go, not when I buy 10 more in the next kingdom. Yeah, a request from the mayor. All right, and she also does not care about anything else, so it's not two moons, just one, which is fine. 
I know, bro's a, bro appears out of nowhere. Just like, take this thing. Go ahead. Take this wonderful thing. Oh, I need to actually get a thousand coins before I buy uh, another moon or two. <laughs> Take this, please. I broke both of my legs getting into you. <laughs> I mean, there's certain there's certain women that I've encountered in my life that be like, "Oh, you both you broke both your legs to get here." Well, that sounds like you shouldn't have tried that hard. It's like, yep, I shouldn't have. You're right. You're definitely right. Though I do know some women that'd be very appreciative. Comedians in the chat. And there's others who would ask if they weren't worth both arms. Ah, oh, see? Wow, Diana, you know better than anyone. My lady. My lady? You know. And you didn't break both your arms to get here? That's what it would be. Poor Brian, you deserve love to- Listen, I know what I, I know what I deserve. I know what I deserve. In due time. It's all good. It's all good. And you didn't break both your arms too? Quarter of the night. Uh, where is this number two one? Alrighty. So these ones are spicy because you're trying to uh, get to a bunch of them with the help of this guy here. But what's really spicy is aligning the shadows on the bottom like this. There we go. Reto, reto. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Nice. First, I know, right? Pro Gamer moves, Mystic. Pro Gamer. Justifying that book a little bit more with each moon. A little bit more. Ooh, watch this. Look at that. Oh. Bam. I'm sorry. Could Abdallah Smash write that book? No. I mean, he, actually, he could have, but whatever. It's fine. Hey, Todd. Theme is revving a tiny engine. I know this one. Uh, do I not have this one? Really? Huh. I guess I don't. That's interesting. Oh, no, I do. Hold on. RC car right here. Bear! Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Until break time night all. Have a good night. Actually, you know what? These ones I'm probably not going to wait around for, but I'll try my best. You should cheat. Well, I'm going to go to the next kingdom in a second here. And according to Steve, I can cheat. He approves the cheaters. Well, that, you know, not that, but, you know. The cheater, cheater, pumpkin eaters. Oh, I need to find Peach here. Speaking of you saying Peach, Noah. She is over here. Ooh, there's a moon here. Nice. I know, I've been going on for almost nine hours. The Bob Bonanza was, what, 12? That was a long time. 
Hi, Peach. No! I'll give my legs and arms for you. I totally agree, Noah, for sure. Do you have a VR headset? Will you do playthroughs with it? I have a PlayStation VR, but the VR videos didn't do that super well before, and it's not something people know me for, so I'm like, ah, you know, I could, but it isn't my, uh, you know, my top uh, focus, I guess. I could try it, but yeah, I already did finish the story mode a long time ago, actually. Cruising through. Look at this. On the sign we go. What do you think your last moon will be? I'm not going to pay attention to what the last moon will be. I'll just kind of go for it, you know? Whatever it happens to be, it shall be. Hi, Lugi. 165 more moons. That's not necessarily true, but... Up to 345! Less than 70 to go. Who should pick the next kingdom? Where to? Where should I go? If you never try, then you'll never know. Lindsay, where should I go next? Just ordered some loaded tots. Wow. Nice. We're at 345. Cloud Kingdom? There's not many here. I'll just get him done. Um, yeah, the loaded tots sound really good. Maybe maybe Domino's is the call later tonight. I don't know. It might be late. Save the leftovers for tomorrow. That might be the call. Easiest moons are in the shop. Oh, we're fully aware. Trust me. We are fully aware. There's one in the middle over here. Nope, just kidding. There's definitely one in the middle somewhere. Oh, I gotta talk to Peach and then the cube. Cold pizza for breakfast? Nice. Yeah, let me know how they are, Lindsay. I feel like those are gonna be super gross, but you'd probably be a better judge than me. Will Matt ever be back for a Dark Souls video? No. Those did not do very well, and he can play that on his channel if he chooses. I have no interest in playing that. Ever. Go talk to Hint Toad. You go talk to Hint Toad. Acting like I don't know where I'm going. I know precisely where I'm going. Okay? Okay? Why give... Why pay him 50 coins for a hint when I can use that to buy more moons, Jafiel? On Twitch he does, and it's not family friendly, so I technically cannot endorse it. Even though he's my friend. So I will not be recommending it. Jafiel? Meow meow. It's so quiet. It's like I'm alone with my thoughts. What? Just got the cheese ones. I have the Philly steak loaded tots, the bacon cheese one. That sounds like too much. Too much. You know? Too much. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. Basically, yes, the cheese tots are probably like poutine. Man, I want to go visit Nick in Canada just to get authentic Toronto poutine. Man, what a what a vibe. It's the only reason I want to visit him. Oh, but Brian, you can hang out with one of your favorite people on, on the internet. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. I'm just here. I'm just here for the poutine. You know? You know how it is?
That's fine. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh, that, I didn't realize that was right there. Smart. Baby. True poutine in Canada is better? Yeah. We had poutine at a place in Maine called Duck Fat. Uh, Kevin and I, when we were there for KidsCon Maine. And it was, that's one of the most overrated places I've ever been. I got a Cuban sandwich. And you know what's a pet peeve of mine? And I feel like a lot of people might feel this way as well. You know when you go to a place and they have, they, they seat you with like other people? Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Don't give me that nonsense. I don't want that. No, I want to sit at my own table with my own people. You can't even have a conversation. I feel like people are listening to you, you know. I'm not, no. Definitely not. Right there. Yeah, it's odd. It's definitely odd. I mean, it's definitely more commonplace in general than I'm making it out to be, I guess. But, you know. Oh, you know what? I messed up. Cody's family's from Canada, so I trust his poutine skills. There you go. What does it taste like? Uh, poutine is French fries dipped in gravy, literal Thanksgiving Day gravy, and cheese. Nope. Come on. There we go. Jeez. This one, you kind of have to be thorough. Kind of a cool little challenge. You kind of have to get it exact, too, you know? There we go. Not dipped, soaked, my apologies. Yes, uh, soaked. So it's like, take, take a bunch of... Uh, Thick cut fries, fairly thick fries, douse it in Thanksgiving Day gravy, and put cheese curds. Cheese curds are like cheese bits, basically. How on earth are you supposed to get these? Whoa, okay. Ah, oh, close. I guess maybe like that, like before? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely like that. Ah, uh, I messed that up. Well, actually, it might not have me redo the challenge because I already got the thing. How goes the moon's arc fox? I'm getting there. I'm less than 100 moons away. And then there's going to be a whole bunch of giveaways. And then there's going to be uh, good times in general. Uh, I do have to redo it. Dang, that stinks. Sounds delicious. It Poutine is delicious. If you have a chance to get it, obviously Canada is the main place to get it because it originate, originated in Canada. But, you know. You can get it someplace else. Just get it in general is good. You would enjoy it regardless. In the middle. What's this? What's this? I know, it is a skill issue, for sure. I don't feel like doing this. No, I'm not doing this. It takes too long. Nope. Uh, I'll try to call you Microphage. I'll try to remember. You gotta feel it in the force. There we go. Uh, is there any more obvious ones here? No, I'm gonna get out of here. Sorry, Lindsay. It's a cube! Hmm. Up here, there's one, right? Is there? Well, there's that, but... 
not necessarily what I was looking for, but hey, that's fine. Hello. Hello. 53 remain. It's going to be 42 soon. Oh, yeah. So, music is so excellent here. Yes, it is. It certainly is. It's almost like we were just here. Is that Captain Toad right there? I think it is. Is the music volume too high, too low? Let me know. Cool. Yeah, you definitely have to switch to the laptop at this point, Lindsay. I do appreciate you watching along, though. Easy squeezy. Squeezy peasy deezy. Full breezy. Would you rather have pizza or spaghetti and meatballs? Pizza, for sure. Pizza, for sure. Pizza is way more appetizing on a consistent level. Todd! Hi, Todd. Lou -de -de -do -de -de -do. I hope that by the end of the Mario movie, they upgrade Toad to be Captain Toad. That would be very fitting. Which kingdom should you visit next? Whatever your mind is set to, man. Yeah, I'll order pizza at some point here. Uh, and actually, just for full transparency's sake, I'm technically getting 11 moons here because I never got the first moon that was a, um, the moon for the kingdom, you know? So I'm gonna do that one for sure. Always a secret behind the waterfall. If you ever play a video game, if you ever play a video game and there's not a secret behind the waterfall, it's not a game worth playing. So in Fortnite, there were no secrets behind the waterfalls. Not a game worth playing. Just saying. No, I'm not going to have pizza on screen. Probably just going to follow through with all of it and, uh, you know, get this taken care of and get through the giveaways and stuff, you know? The moon of the cult classic. Yes, it is. Yeah, I had to get the cube first before going to the horn on the skull. But I did remember that one. Thank you for reminding me. Let's get to the top of the world. Hey. I don't think there are waterfalls in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Not sure. I see you. I see London. I see France. I see Rudy Toot 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 Toot. What's your favorite non Nintendo game? Minecraft. I'm gonna go this way first. I'm a bozo. I'm the biggest bozo. I'm the. Never mind. Jay, just kidding. Hey, just kidding. No, I did not let him. There we go. Under the bridge. Ha 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 ha. I'll have to look into the under the bridge one in a moment here. So make sure I grab. Oh, there's a coupe of the quick ones as well. Man. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. You know what one is over here? Some of the coolest moons in the game. Wait. Sometimes in life you gotta hit them with the yoinky sploinky. Hey, yo. No. Hey. Hey. Hey! Big Mumbo! Where are you flying to, man? Big Mumbo. Take forever, why don't you? Come on. Yeah, nice. Alright, so for this one, I'm gonna be getting... Oh, there's another one right here. 
See, I like how fast-paced this game is. You get so moons so quickly. Some people are like, oh, there's too many moons in the game. It's not, it's rewarding as stars. I d highly disagree. I'd rather have a lot of really cool micro challenges like this with the bigger challenges through and through. Absolutely. Absolutely, I'd much rather have this. Nope, don't want to do that. So, I'm buying one moon here because that's the one for ah, the uh, Cascade Kingdom. And then I'm buying what I can because you're allowing me to be a bozo. Actually, I can only buy eight. So I'm going to, if I can't buy ten, I'm not going to do it. How about that? I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to leave it at that amount for there. I'm going to wait until I get more. Until I have more uh, coins. Hello. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, right? Yeah, I like the micro challenges. I appreciate having longer levels too and longer objectives, but you know. Not always required. This is quite a, uh, a longer one, a little bit. By the way, shaking the Pro Controller is a very nice way to increase your movement speed here. I can make it up this wall for sure. Nope, just kidding. Whoops. I'm the biggest bozo. I can make it up that one, though. Nice. Go over here. No! I messed up. Retry. I know what to do, though. Did you get all the T-Rex moons? No, I did not. At some point here, I will. How many moons you at? Three... I don't know. Do, 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 do. Let me just focus on this for a half second. Brian, Can I do this? Stop it! Yeah, I totally can. Look at that. Yeah, totally. That's absolutely the way to do it. Nice. 32 seconds, Mystic. You're really bad at this. You're really bad at guessing my times here. You gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta, you gotta, you know? You gotta have more confidence in Mr. O'Brien here. Come on. Come on. Oh, I see this. I was being a obvious. <laughs> You're really bad at this. You you are just trying to give me a lot of room for error, and I appreciate your grace. But I can take the heat. Skill issue. Well, skill proficiency actually. Skill proficiency. Hey now, you're a meow star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey now, you're a meow star. Get the show on. Get paid. No! Oh my goodness, am I gonna lose? Under 30 seconds, there it is. Oh, you almost got it. You were 0.75 away, Mystic, and I, I give you that one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go. You were closer. You are getting closer. Good stuff. See, Lindsay believes in me. She knew. She knew. Lindsay's a true believer. Uh, I knew it was right there, but I had to get the, um... I had to get the cube first! I had to get the cosmic cube. Moon count, I'm gonna take a look in a second once I grab another one up toward here. I see that one on the bridge. Don't think I'm ignoring it, I'm not. Actually, you know what? This would be smarter to go to first. Hubbity hubbity. Nice. 
Brian, would you buy a Lego while Why would I buy a Lego Waluigi for $200? Why would I do that, you know? Z Gamer, have a good night. Nope. Nope. There we go. How you feeling? I'm doing okay, Anthony. I'm definitely running low, but I'm doing alright. Hanging in there. Meowing it out, you know. You know how it is. Definitely gotta hydrate. All this hydration makes me need to use the, uh, the thing in the thing, you know? Hot Pockets. Have you eaten anything besides the Hot Pockets? No, I have not. So I guess I haven't eaten all day. Uh, is this a secret? Up here? Maybe? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Bros living off Hot Pockets? Well, I am sponsored by them. I am a Hot Pockets brand ambassador. I don't live off of Hot Pockets, but I definitely do eat them. And they have a bunch of coupons that they gave me. Which, actually, the next batch of them are going to expire soon enough. So I gotta give some to people, or use them all, actually. That's the pro gamer move. Look at these moves! Wow. Look at those moves! You're allergic to Hot Pockets? Yikes. That's unfortunate. I meant because you're the only thing you've eaten in five hours? That's true. I need to eat a little bit more than that. Okay, moon count. Moon count, wah wah moon count, doobie wah wah moon count, ma ma moon, yeah 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 moon count, ma ma moon count, doobie da bye. Three sixty nine. Hot pockets. There we go. Thirty five away. Give it up for thirty five away, everybody. Bree! Pick the next kingdom, please. Kingdom, please. Sand. Coarse. Rough. Order the pizza. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just going to do it after stream. Gary, hello. Thank you for following. I'm getting, uh, no thank you for being here. I'm so sorry. Brian. Makes the moms getting happy. 404 moons in Super Mario Odyssey as part of my uh, Mario Odyssey 404 marathon. Right 30 something moons away. About to get this cosmic rock and be on my merry way, man. It's good stuff. You want to leave for the Metro Kingdom? There you go. Anthony, what's going on, man? Hey, man. You have a selfish request. Yes. Please state your selfish request, Anthony. I'm all, all ears, man. Always me on it out. Bye for now. Can you put the cowboy... I, I've used the cowboy outfit for, like, a bunch of moons, sir. Sir. Wow. Imagine. 
not following the stream for every second of the day. Come on. Bunny no. Now. You bunnies. I'm the biggest bunny. I'm the biggest bunny. Nope. Just gonna have to watch the replay, Anthony. Dang. It's me, Mario. Hey, there it is. Four hundred and four moons. No, definitely not going for four hundred and four moons in four hundred and four minutes. That'd be kind of oh, spicy. Cooter, be very spicy indeed. Is it over this way? Oh. Oh, I need the Jaxi. I mess this up royally. Uh. You said the stream was tomorrow? I literally didn't. I literally did not. Fake news. That was not what I said. What I said was to be here. 12 p.m. EST. The 25th. Look at that. 12 p.m. EST. Saturday, the 25th. Worst news. How do I remember where 404 moons are without looking them up? Because I'm that. I'm just up, up, that, that, I'm that good. Liar. Bop. Bam. CNN said it's tomorrow. Yikes. Or you could talk to Hint Toad. Well, Chad has allowed me to cheat once I have a thousand coins. So we're saving up the coins. To cheat. Butting. And by cheat, we mean buy moons. Jaxi better be in the movie. I mean, you see Tostarena was in one of those other trailers, dude. I'm hyped. Oh, that's wonky. Sometimes in life, you gotta hit him with the yoinky splinky, you know? First try. Yeah, Gary, so I'm not doing a speed run. I'm just going through the game as casually as I can and enjoying it along the way. In this game, how is it cheat? It's not cheating. No, 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 no. But like, instead of getting 404 moons, you know, the way, like, like, without buying them, you know? So I'm waiting until I have a thousand. Then I'm gonna justify, uh, buying them there. I watched the Metroid finale at work instead of tuning in. Hey, thanks, man. Love you, too. Can I go for it? Yes, I can. Ooh! Yeah, if I did a speed run, I'd be failing miserably right now. Um, go for this one instead. People who know me, who, what? People who know me knows who I want in the Mario movie. You want the Koopa Troopa, right? That gold Koopa's more annoying than the red Koopa. For ease of sake, let's call him Goldie. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Lindsay wants, uh, Microfage wants Rosalina, right? Rosalina cameo? Is Jaxi the fastest way? It might be, actually. I don't think it is, actually. Whoops. She wants Birdo. She wants Boom Boom and Pom Pom. 
You know, I, I'm just really a big fan of how Pom Pom was introduced after so many years of having Boom Boom as part of the lore. And it's great to have these two characters complementary to each other instead of just having always Boom Boom. Right? We finally got to have Pom Pom and Pom Poms in part of the Mario franchise because I've been a cheerleader since I was in the third grade. And I've always looked for a situation where I can... No, I'm not going to be doing a Pokemon Presents live stream because it's going to be 20 minutes of, hey, here's Gen 1 Remakes. Great. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You know? <laughs> boom, boom. Couldn't carry the mid castle alone. But... Pom Pom can carry the entire Mario franchise on her back. The Mario movie franchise, of course. I'm all in, man. All in. I'm just going to avoid the town this time. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, close. Koopalings are overused. Tired of them? Yeah. Goldie was always a look for the hidden shortcuts, so you do better the same if you want to beat him. Thank you. Yeah, Gary, I, luckily I played this game a bunch of times, so I know fairly what I'm doing, but thank you for the encouragement. So the next goal is to get all the coins, obviously. Uh, this one I was looking at before. It's wiping all the posters. No, is it really not here? These ones here. Isn't there one for taking all the posters off the wall? Pretty sure there is. I thought there was. Ah, oh, yes, content. Hello, Miss Sig. Hello. I thought there was. Whoops. Or do I gotta talk to you first? Oh, on this side. There we go. How you doing, man? He can't stand the politics. He's just advertising the wedding. There we go. Thanks, man. How many Chozo, I mean Bozo artifacts you got? I got however many people are looming in the chat right now. What, 96? There's 96 Bozo artifacts. Mm. On our way, man. On our way. Hmm. Oh, back here. Tis be back over here. I thought Harley wasn't a bozo. Right, 95 bozos. My apologies. Hmm. I thought it was back over here. Whoops. Ooh, that looks spicy. There we go. We're all bozos except for Harley. Yes, you're just now catching on. Tiffany, hello. Currently playing through Super Mario Odyssey, getting 404 moons. The Moai, the based Moai. Based. Moai's the best capture. I still like the Pokio. That's my favorite of any of them. No! I guess you could just go through this by jumping, right? Because you'll just land where you have to, you know? Oh! 
Whoops. Nah, I'm not in trouble. I'm a pro gamer. I wrote a book about it. Exclamation mark book. Can you do a Civilization 6 playthrough? We're at that time of the night. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going over on a trip to our favorite rocket ship. Zooming through the sky, little Einstein. So yeah, like nine hours, ten hours to get all these done. Sounds about right. Um, ooh, that bullet bill one over there, that's gonna be a spicy one. Can you do a Mario Odyssey playthrough, please? Brian, Mario Odyssey is my favorite game of all time. Can you please do a playthrough? Thank you. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. No! Ooh, look at that! Pro gamer skills! Can you play World of Warcraft on stream? Right? Exactly. That's the game I gotta play. Ben Tacular. Nice. Can you also write a book about the best speedrunning techniques? Uh, yes, I can actually summarize that as a haiku, and I only have part of it off the top of my head because I'm currently allocating my, uh, brain space to this, but the final lines of the get, uh, 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 get good. Bam! Since I got it for my birthday two weeks ago. Did I get this burn? I probably did. I'm the biggest burn. I'm the biggest. I'm the biggest. I'm the biggest. Yeah, I did. Ooh. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. Oh, man. That's a tuna, bro. Uh, maybe I got your fan mail. I'm not sure. Hopefully I did. Right there. Hmm. I was gonna say, I thought there was another one around here. There definitely is. Trying to get the biggest bird? Who's the biggest bird? Y'all just have to find out. I would play Stardew, that'd be cool. This bird I did not get. I remember that. Dang it. Oh, maybe I did get this one. Oh, well. Got to turn in all the moons at some point and get 407 right. That, uh, you know, that's as a likelihood, man. Let's take a look at where I'm at. Shroom. 384! You know, all in all, this did kind of stack up exactly to where I wanted to be, you know? I need 20. That's it. I forget where the cube is. Yeah, the cube is over there. Hmm. What's the easiest way to get over there? Definitely not uh, winging it, that's for sure.
Brian, buy your way to victory? I mean, that is the American way, man. That's how it's done. No, I'm not gonna buy all 20. I'm gonna get to a thousand coins. Buy those ones, and then we'll see where things shake out from there. Wunderbar. Back over here. Thanks for being a good streamer. I love your videos. Since the easy button. Nice! Well, thank you. That sounds like a solid idea, Lindsay. Shakum. Okay, so I need to stop midway through here. Yeah. Bubble. It's me, Mario. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Nice. Mm, puppy, puppy, puppy. Apologies for not being as uh, full of life and energy here. You know, trying to uh, cruise through doing the things, you know. Can you start selling the easy button? Uh, go talk to Staples, actually. Vacation home in the one place in the world, where would I go? New Zealand. Dude, I've been with you most of the time. You're a trooper for the long slog. Hey, man. I don't normally do long streams like this. But on special occasions like this, I'm okay with it. I, dude, I don't know how people do this all the time. There are some people that do this stuff day in and day out. They do, like, marathon live streams. I messed up. That's fine. They do, like, nine-hour days, eight-hour days. They're always- they're not as engaging, I feel like, as mine. Honestly. Like, they just kind of sit there and play the game or whatever, which is fine. But, like, eh. Not what I do. So I try to make it the most, uh, engaging stuff. Oh, it's your first time seeing me? Well, hi! Yeah, so I, uh, I do this... Not the long-haul stuff. But I do... A whole lot of content across all the platforms. YouTube being one of them. I have my own Roku channel, Kidoodle, all that stuff. So I normally do like an hour and a half to two hour live stream and call it a day because I, I give like a maximum energy thing and then Bye I dip now. and allocate that energy as much as I can. So I, yeah, I don't do like the long haul stuff. This So what the original plan was supposed to be for. I was supposed to do this as a- Henry, have a good night. Um, I was supposed to do this as a capstone for my, uh, plush campaign that was happening, because last year I did a similar thing like this for Mario 64, 100%. And I did that in, like, eight hours or so, whatever it was. Not that long. So, you know. I wanted to do this for the plush, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Because the plush did not pan out the way I wanted it to, you know? So... Nice. Yeah, exactly. And, and I do not have things like that, but... It's obviously very important to allocate your energy properly, and I would rather give 110% when doing a live thing like this than to, um, you know, go for super crazy long amounts of times, you know? Why 404 Moon specifically? My live shows are a combination of chaos, people coming together, 
um, to enjoy themselves. It's a whole bunch of stuff, really, in one. It's just kind of my life in a nutshell, you know? I'd like it to be more chill, but I know full well that my life is anything but chill, and I've uh, needed to just accept that. At least for the time being, you know? But as somebody who's new, I'm glad that uh, my stuff is at least entertaining enough for you, man. That's excellent. Means a lot. Bam. Brian, can you show the plush again? Cody finally is home to see it. Yeah, sure. So, it's very toe-like. Do you know what state Abdallah lives in? Why would I ever tell you that information? Bozo question. I'm not gonna dock someone. Come on. What are we doing? A little good. Yeah, yeah, Cody, it's goofy. Also, ha hey, what's going on, man? Um... How many moons do you have? 9,999. Hey, Brian, can you, sh can you tell me your social security number? Brian. I'm your number one fan. No, no, I'm your number one fan. Tell me your so social security hey, number. Mario. Oh. Hey, Brian, can you open the door? I've been waiting for an hour. <laughs> I've been waiting for an hour. I've been waiting for 45 minutes, Brian. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. No! I'm the biggest farter. I'm the biggest farter. Moon count? 9,865, Steve. Thank you for tuning in. Favorite superhero movie? Uh, the Super Mario Bros. movie. Brian, if your phone number was how many moons you have, how many moons would you have? Boop. You're supposed to get three stickers with your copy of Pro Gamer's Guide. What version of Pro Gamer's Guide did you buy? And why are you addressing it here in chat? and not sending me a support email many months after the fact, because I know it's that long. Polly, what are you doing here? Who's the biggest bird? Who's the biggest bird? Uh, you don't get three stickers with the plain copy of Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits. You get it with... a bundle I offer during Black Friday. But that's no more. Polly is the biggest bird. What's this one? Here? Is this it? No. What's this one? Hmm. Oh, I gotta get over there. I didn't know Polly had a cameo in the game, right? I know, right? Nintendo actually owns the Pro Gamer's Guide rights and everything. I was just being a goomba about it, you know? So we're closing in <clears throat> on the very end here of the moon journey. The 404 moons, I'm 20 away at this point. Well, less than that because I have whatever amount is about to be allocated to me here. 
which is sweet. Polly Chad is the biggest bird. Yes, he is. Taking notes, swimming in the magma. And I know that there is a secret little area behind this, so that's cool. Sailing through those toxic like a bunch of Pepto-Bismol, yes. And luckily, yes, that stuff does not affect me, which is cool. That would have been cool if I got a, uh, you know, thing there. Oh, I guess only one moon. That's okay. Boo -dee -dee -doo -dee -dee -doo -doo. Meow. The mushroom. This is what, something that I like about this game. One of my only complaints is that you could potentially stumble across the mushroom kingdom through here before you're actually able to get to the physical kingdom, right? I don't like that you can see this here. I don't like it at all. I think you should only have the opportunity to see this once you are, um, you know, actually at the Mushroom Kingdom. You know, I, I just, I don't think it's cool. It, it ruins the surprise, you know? Really ruins the surprise. So you know what? This actually works out perfectly. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go to here. Yeah, I don't like that aspect that you could see this before accessing the Mushroom Kingdom. So if I go into here, I have enough to get 19 total. How often do you hop? Okay. Thanks, pal. Hot pockets. Shopping in Mount Valbono. Beep, 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 beep. Oh man, that's a tuna, bro. So you're gonna buy another one. So I'm gonna get up to 19, cash them all in, and then there's room for one final moon. Hot pockets. So, with the amount that I can buy here, there'll be 19. Oh, I'll be man, one away. That's a tuna, bro. So, I want y'all to think, if you can, a moon I can get as the final moon for today. I need one more. What is the final moon for tonight? Which one should it be? Jump rope? I already- I got the 100 jump rope, actually. In the Mushroom Kingdom? Yes, it should be. I think I got the one on the top of the church. Brian, stop it! I already got the Mario sign in New Donk. You're buying another motorcycle? Nice. Oh, I can buy the final moon in the Mushroom Kingdom? No, it needs to be an acquired moon, actually. Volleyball? Nah, I'm not doing volleyball. Boss Rush would be a perfect finale, but then that's technically... Uh, isn't that a three moon at the end? That's a three moon one. I don't want to go over 404. Joke's on you, those are all fake answers, right? Get on out of here. Get the moon at the top of the tower and the darker side of the moon. That's a triple moon that put me over 404. Let's take a second here to see how many I have and are left. Four. Oh, three. One more moon. One more moon. One more moon! One more moon! One more moon! I think it'd be fitting to go get it in the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh. 
One more moon. One, might as well get the last 96 at this rate, bro. So about nine hours is exactly where I thought it would be. Nine, nine hours. And I started a half hour afternoon because I was talking about the plush and all that. I've taken a couple breaks. So about nine hours. Makes sense. What should be the final moon? What should be the final one? This is so emotional. Yeah, right. What's the final one? Hmm. I feel like there's one, uh... I just got the one in Yoshi's Island. Is there one at the top of the castle? I don't think so. Hmm. It should definitely be here. Maybe. Are you okay with this being the final moon? Is that good? No? Yes. 404 moons and nine hours and 51 minutes and change. Super Mario Odyssey 404 is complete. Hey! Brian, 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 Brian. Wowee! Beep, 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 beep. Well, let's make it official. Let's make it official. Let's make it official. Bam! There it is! Hey! There's the biggest bird! Quack. Quack.